You know Gilly and Jacobs. Plus, of course, our good friend Gary Marshall. Is it Comedy Bang Bang in here, or is it just this podcast? Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Ah, good catchphrase. Thank you, Mike Sebastian. Is it Comedy Bang Bang in here, or is it just this podcast? If you have a catchphrase submission, go fuck yourself. Uh, (laughs) Better the second time. (laughs) Uh, Fall has fallen. It truly has fallen at this point. We were waiting for the other shoe to drop on fall, and it has dropped. Ah! (laughs) The air is... Crisp. <laughs> it really is. The leaves, in my opinion, are falling, which is why they call it fall. Little First, fact. they turn color, and then goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, That's leaves. That's it. That sayonara leaves. Now the trees are nude. Because <laughs> they, they do it willfully. Which, by the way, I, I've been mean to talk to you about this. I Go ahead, a, I'm an open book. I have an initiative that makes clothes for trees during the fall and winter. That I would love to get some funding for. This I can get behind. Because, <laughs> frankly, you remember in uh, old timey times, sure. they used to put uh, covers on the table legs mm-hmm. because it would remind people of a lady's leg and then they'd Men be would having, get boners. They would have sex all over the place and women are like, come on, enough, I gotta get work done around the house. Yeah. But you get so turned on by those table legs. Yeah, I also remember that they would make... I guess my thought was finished. Oh, I thought it was. So I'm saying, you see these uh, nude trees all over the place, you're going out of your mind just walking down the street. Yeah. But do you remember... And in New York, forget Jesus about Christ. it. <laughs> all right, are you done now? I finally got it up. All right. But do you remember when they would make the table legs to look like a man's leg? Like they'd make it nice and thick and yeah, hairy that with, helped. With, with hair coming out yeah, of it? That yeah, that helped a lot. People yeah. calmed down. <laughs> yeah, except for, you know, 10% of the population. Some of those, And some of those ladies, too, who were yeah. aggressive. Back then, it was frowned upon. Today, you do whatever you want. Wear pants. I remember a glimpse of stocking used to be shocking. In olden days, a glimpse of stocking. Talking was looked on as something shocking. That's. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. You agree with that? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what happens now? Now heaven knows. What? Well, yeah. In, t- in terms of going, mm. it's anything. Anything goes. Anything, yeah. Well, I think you all know who my co host for uh, this week is. Of they do! Is just from his uh, Jewish dialect. Uh, we've been over this. I'm not Jewish. I'm Italian. Oh, that's right. I'm okay. from the Bronx. You're from the Bronx. I, for- I forget that. It's a Bronxian dialect. Right. This is what we sound like. Right. I just assume because you are in show business, you have so many shows. Yeah, on you got uh, prejudices. I understand. Yeah, just- You're not alone. Most people do. <laughs> You're but a you- monster. <laughs> <laughs> you know who he is. We've had him on the they show. They know who he is. Yes, we've had him on the show forever. We've had him on the show forever. He I is, can't remember a time when I didn't do the show. He was the creator of such television shows as... I'm trying to think of one. I'll Come get on. it. I'll this get it. Is absurd. I know there's one that I'm... It's on the tip How of my brain. How long do I let this charade go on for? It's It, it had that cool guy. Cool... Come cool, on. cool mode. Cool. Who, who am I? Who am I thinking of? You're thinking of Fonzie. Fo- right, Fonzie from Arthur Fonzarelli from Mork. No, that's another. Sh- Why are you being willfully ignorant? I, I look. It was a long time ago. I don't remember these things. Happy Days was the show. Happy Days. Fonzie, Richie, Potsy. He's advised to sit on it. The whole gang. It's the 1950s into the late 60s. But but coming out in the 70s into the early 80s. That's right. Right. It's confusing. <laughs> right. Uh, you are Up the- is down. Black is white. Yep. Well, that is evocative of the time. That as was well. the original title. Yeah. Do you remember about, I mean, first of all, let's talk about the 60s for a minute. Sure, I don't because care. Because in my opinion, the 60s, and maybe it's just me, but for me, the 60s were a time of incredible tumult and upheaval. And nah, the people, I, nah, it wasn't. You were there. I was there. And it was fine. Business as usual? Yeah, everybody was just living their lives. They were uh, working in television and uh, <laughs> everything was great. You may be just thinking of your own personal family. I'm old. I haven't said your name yet. 
No, don't ever. <laughs> okay, I great. forbid you to say it. All right. Well, you know who he is just from the description. That's of him. right. Gary Marsh. Don't. Uh, you said it. I, I forbid I did not. you to I write s- it in the description. I swear I didn't say it. You misheard somehow, Gary Marsh. Um, I feel like you're saying it. I have uh, ear- ear- earphones on. Oh, that's right. You do. <laughs> Gary, so, I mean. Gary Marshall is who I am. You there, are here. Said. I, what is this, Rumpelstiltskin? <laughs> I'm going to jump up and down and go through to the center of the earth. I think it might be Rumpelstiltskin. You're right. I, you know what? I wouldn't mind being called Rumpelstiltskin. It's not a bad name. You, I've always said that you are the Rumpelstiltskin of Hollywood big shots who have created Happy Days. Scott, this is how I think of myself. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Let's turn now. <laughs> Gary, you'll be interested in this. She's on a TV show. Oh, television. You know I got my start at television. I do indeed, and we can talk about that. Eh. But uh, you know her from Community, which is on back on this week, and uh, we are glad to have it back on. Please welcome friend of the show, Gillian Jacobs. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, have you met Gary Marshall yet? Never. It's this an honor to meet time. you. Oh, it's lovely to meet you, young lady. Uh, congratulations on all your success. Uh, congratulations on your more success. Thank you very You know what? Sometimes people forget when you're an old person. You've been doing this for a long time and you're very successful. People forget to congratulate you. But I accept your congratulations. Mm-hmm. Thank you. It still counts. I'm still successful. Yeah. Gillian, I've, I've always... And we're done with you, Gary. I get it. Well, she's our first guest, Gary. Oh, please, we have you. You're oh, my I'm co-host, co-host today. I'm the co-host. We're going to tag team. On We're both going to ask this some questions. That's yeah. right. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, as the host, I should probably start with the first. Yeah, th- that's only fair. I apologize. And then we'll alternate. Okay, I apologize. Now you're rubbing my face in it. No, we, what I'm trying to say is we have to strictly alternate, by the way. We have to I ask a question, you okay. ask a question. We can't deviate from I li- that I accept your terms. Okay, here we go. Gillian, I've always said that you are the Joni of community to Mikhail's Chachi. <laughs> How do you respond? Uh, thank you. I watched the opening title sequence for Joni Loves Chachi recently for the first time, and I was stunned. There's something magic in the way you hold me in your eyes. No one ever warned me love. It's a very serious title sequence involving them singing a duet over the span of years. Did you guys... Do you remember this about your show? I I do. I have a question. Why were you watching that? (laughs) I would like to say without hurting your feelings that I was watching title credit sequences to shitty shows. Hey! Um, No offense taken. I did that show as a goof. Yeah. Brady Brides was another one I watched. And sure. Johnny loves Chachi. It was it was pretty shitty. So just the two. I mean, yours was the worst. If that makes Out you of feel two. Any Thank better. you. Success again. I accept <laughs> your congratulations. Uh, all right. I guess it's my turn now. Can we do a follow up? We got to switch off. No, go ahead with a follow up because okay. I think follow I feel up. like I had a lot of follow ups about. Uh, you're from Pennsylvania, right? Correct. Have you ever seen the Jersey Devil? I don't even know what that is. So what? Yes. How how much cryptozoological knowledge do you have, honey? Ooh, not enough, but I like <laughs> I like right. the thought of having more. You know, I'm on the trail of these of all these uh, supernatural creatures. Oh yeah, we oh, talked really? about that. Yeah, yeah. last time one of the last. Yeah, times we're so on the far show. no luck <laughs> with any of them. Like the, <laughs> with any of them. The Wait, Loch Ness you, monster. Okay, Loch Ness like monster. The thing that uh, washes up in like Long Island every summer that they don't know what it is. Some people think it's like garbage. A, no, it's a monster. <laughs> it's the Montauk monster. Oh, the Montauk Guys, monster. Hey, wait, it was, it. what happens? It washes up on Long Island. It and looks then, horrible. Uh, people don't know if it's like a pig that got really bloated in the water or some kind of. How how close or how far to this thing are they? Close. That's on the beach. Why don't they uh, take it away and study it? They can't figure out what it is. Hmm. I can't believe you don't know about this. Yeah, here's the thing. A lot of these uh, bunk, right? A lot yeah. of these, uh, like somebody's got a lake and they figure we're gonna we're gonna plump up the tourist business. Yeah, we'll say, oh, we got a monster too. Nobody's ever seen it. It's all, uh, it's just it's, it's garbage. They made a movie about this, like Jaws. That uh, was a movie about this very subject about trying to pump up the tourism with a fake. Uh, yeah, show. the man. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the guy in the smart jacket with the anchors yeah. on it. He's like, I turned it off halfway through, but I assume that's what it was. They debunked the shark at the end. Is that how? It Probably. Ended? Yeah. I've, I I never finish a picture. <laughs> oh, really? I've never seen the end of a movie. Really? You don't say. It's a point. Weird point of pride for me. <laughs> 
What why, about- why do you even go to them then? I like the beginning. It's fun. Yeah. And they say, hey, there's going to be snacks. You can go get them anytime you want during the picture. And then uh, like halfway through, I'm like, I need something savory. I walk out there to refill my popcorn. And then I'm like, eh, I could go home. And then I do. <laughs> I like it. What's your favorite movie? Uh, probably three quarters of Cabaret. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. How's that in? Uh, pretty well, as far as I remember. Yeah, I knew you'd know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I'm trying to capture these, uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't, that Montauk monster, I think, is, uh, is not real. I got bad intel on that okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. New but Jersey like, Devil, what The are we Jersey saying? Devil, okay. the Mothman. Okay. Uh, what is the Jersey Devil? The Jersey Devil. He's this weird uh, creature. Springsteen the, sang about him. In the, oh. He's uh, he sang about everybody in the tri-state area. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a weird hellish creature. Lives in the Pine Barrens in uh, in Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. What's he do to people? Uh, he's not he's not pleasant to them. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. You don't want to run across him. He's caused a lot of car accidents and people get stranded by the road and they're never seen again. Did yeah. you hear about the guy who dressed up like Bigfoot to try and scare people and got of course run over I did twice and killed? Yeah, that like was you who did that girl? the second time. <laughs> Yeah. You hit him the second time. I hit him the second time. You were dressed up as a teenage girl though, because I read in yeah, it was undercover. Were- I was wearing one of Benny Marshall's old <laughs> Laverne sweaters. If you're one of these monsters, you know the name Gary Marshall. That's right. It's like if you're oh, a, a if you're a Dracula, you know who Van Helsing is. Yeah, I'm like yeah. a real life Van Helsing. I strike fear into the hearts of these cryptozoological He's creatures. He's got to go undercover. I'd love to see your teenage girl costume. I bet you make a very convincing. Can I tell you girl. something? Yeah. It's not very convincing. Really? Yeah. I feel like you'd make a very attractive 16-year-old girl. I don't do a wig, you which don't. would help. <laughs> yeah, that would be step one, I think. Do it do, on your scalp. I wear one of uh, one of uh, Penny's old Laverne sweaters with the L on it. I wear a big poodle skirt with the crinolines. Yeah. <laughs> Saddle <laughs> shoes and bobby socks and uh, <laughs> some glasses. Do What's you a- shave your legs? Nope. <laughs> What's weird is, uh, and by the way, they made a table out of uh, his legs, uh, which was really Very sexy yeah. table. <laughs> um, no one has ever taken a picture of you the same way that no one's ever taken a clear shot of the That's Sasquatch. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. In my teenage girl costume. <laughs> has, have you ever caught a, a monster? Not yet. No luck. But I feel like I got some good leads. Yeah. So is it the devil? You're on the hunt for the devil, the right? The Jersey now. devil. The Jersey devil. Not the devil from uh, the Bible. Who's, Guys, I've, that's not real. I've been to a Satanist <laughs> church ceremony. How was it? Boring. <laughs> church is church. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, no matter what you believe. Oh, it was pretty boring. <laughs> All right, I think it's turn, uh, my turn for a question. Yeah, can you tell us anything about this season of Community? Uh, debuting at 8 p.m. is Whitney, us 8.30, and then Grimm is at 9? Three shows that go together, like... The back of three different people's hands. <laughs> um, so if you're in the mood for a schizophrenic weird evening, <laughs> start it off at 8 p.m. Now, Grimm is uh, it's a fairy tale. I think guy. you'd be into it. There's a lot of supernatural creatures from fairy tales in there yeah, trying to kill people. From fairy tales. I like the real stuff. You okay, know? I understand. I understand. It makes a mockery of what I do. Oh, yeah. okay. I Grimm res- actually was based on his life. I mean, he doesn't like to talk it about it. It was originally called Gary. <laughs> <laughs> With an exclamation point. Yeah, it was like about, Cleghorn. It was about an old man in his 80s going around the world trying to find supernatural creatures, yeah. hunt them, capture them, and put them on display for the edification of other people. So you don't want to kill them. The goal is not to kill them. It's to capture no, them. No, who would want to kill these beautiful creatures? <laughs> no, he wants to do like a King Kong with them, or he wants to chain them up and, and yeah, do vaudeville right. shows. That's right. Capture them, bring them back to the States. Now, how did that movie end? <laughs> Pretty well, as far as I've heard. Yeah, yeah I, I remember they brought him into the theater, and everybody was excited. And, and everyone and then you and walked out. Home. You're yeah. like, ah, oh, happy ending for yeah, me. Yeah, it was the first film I ever saw. I was a little kid. <laughs> ah, and this was uh, the new one, right? The Peter Jackson That's one? right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Gil, can you tell us anything about uh, Community? Ooh, Gil now. This is exciting. Well, you called her Gilly. I did not. Yes, you did. When did I do that? In the, I thought it was very uh, per- impertinent of you. The listener Look. will know. You did. I did not. Did I call you Gilly? Do I don't remember. Yes. I don't remember. I, I have confirmation. I have confirmation what a from, young lady. from uh, uh, Engineer Cody here. Not you remind me of my granddaughter. That's probably why I did it. <laughs> I like Gilly, Gilly and Gilly. I don't have a problem with either one of them. By the way, uh, if, if, he, if you did call her Gilly, yeah. sorry. 
Watch that. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. That's the right. <laughs> <laughs> So happy about that bit. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, tell us about uh, community. Let's okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got Malcolm McDowell what? this season. Yes, playing our new teacher. Was he? He was the kid on the Cosby show? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Great. We got Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm Jamal Warner, who was mm-hmm. in A Clockwork Orange. Mm-hmm. And then we also were going to go to an Inspector, Inspector Space, Space Time convention on the show. So it's Ooh. like our version of Comic-Con for our Doctor Who spoof. We are going to <laughs> go see uh, Pierce's Mansion in our Halloween episode. Piers Morgan's Mansion? Piers Morgan's Mansion. Um, he's got a lot of money. And guys, do you... F- I was watching him, uh, you know, report from the DNC, and I was wondering, is this man going to ever get arrested for those, like, wiretapping British tabloid Rupert Murdoch? Piers Morgan? Scandal? I hope not. He's involved in it somehow, right? He prob- I, think it was, I think he's the architect of he's it. He's the architect? Yeah, he's like, oh, you know what we can do? Why don't we wiretap? <laughs> How do we hack these cell phones? He's, yeah. He had that glint in his eye. Yeah, he had that glint in his eye. He's probably a Satanist. That's right. He's got yeah. that He's, cell phone hacking glint. Yeah, that satanic glint. <laughs> um, well, I'm glad we didn't get off track when you're talking about your show that you're trying to promote. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the past, you've done uh, animated, yeah. you were video game people, you were claymation people, or whatever. Gary Marshall, you watch Community? I watched the first 10 minutes of it. I love it. So you can't even sit through a 22-episode... 22-minute episode? Com- yeah, I can't 22 sit... 22-minute comedy I, episode? I cannot sit through anything. Okay. Hmm. It's a miracle I've... Uh, does this podcast go on after I leave? No. No, we end it. Well, right. that, this is the only thing I've been you've able ever to been, finish. Wow, yeah. crazy. Isn't that interesting? 22 episodes, 22 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Who would have thunk? Wait, so what's We don't the, even have his, 22 this season. So we you have 13. Do, hold on a second. I'm not done with my question. Okay. Respect your elders. So, uh... <laughs> I'm older than you. You, uh... Well, that's... <laughs> Had a really good work. Strange. <laughs> you were a little baby when you saw King Kong. Maybe you were a Satanist. <laughs> yeah. no, that's true, too. <laughs> you just aged very rapidly. That's Those right. 80 years. It's You age in dog years, basically. You're 80 years old? I'm one... <laughs> One quarter Pyrenees. That's why I hate so quickly. I see, yeah. Uh, Hey, so here's my question. Okay. Uh, You've been uh, animated. You were the video game people. You were the Rankin Bass stop motion people. Uh, What's next? Light Bright? Light Bright. Light Bright? A whole episode in Light Bright. (laughs) Light Bright. The old toy from the 70s. Yeah, of course. Can you animate Light Bright or would it just be static (laughs) images? It would be static images. You would see a hand go into frame rearranging the pegs. Yeah. Or etch a sketch. A guy like making the etch a sketches. Eh. No, no. Eh. I like pegs. Okay, sure. I'll pitch it. (laughs) I'll pitch it to the children (laughs) that are running. The children? Yeah, they, uh, yeah. We got we got some four year olds that were doing focus tests. I don't even know what I'm saying it's anymore. Like Guys. Oliver Twist over here with this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was in a production of Oliver as a child, and I played a boy. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, I played was, a lot of young boys in musicals. That was, was the fashion back then. Girls become boys. She's turning, or he, sorry. And boys become girls. I <laughs> get my pronouns wrong sometimes. <laughs> yeah. That's you ever how uh, do it. feel like getting back into that sort of in your career Training after community ends? I'd like to play some young boys again in musicals, yeah. 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 Like, which, which young boys out there... <laughs> what are the good young boy parts? There's Peter Pan, obviously. Peter you could pa- do that. Oh, the best. That's Don't save the- that for Sandy Duncan. No, no, that's a golden standard. R.I.P. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure that out after we're done. <laughs> that's a real head scratcher. There should be, a, like, head scratch R.I.P.? Head scratcher R- I don't know. I'm uh, trying to get a, a hashtag going <laughs> for when you don't know if someone's dead or not. You know that I create hashtags. Is That's that my what? main source of income. Really? All right, yeah, yeah. possible. How do you monetize that? All right, possible. I'm going to steal it. Oh. That. Hold on a second. How do we monetize these hashtags? We You're not part of my, business. my business model. You should have mailed it to yourself, uh, stupid. Send it off in a letter God damn it. Now we're all partners. <laughs> all right, all right. We're going to make a blood oath. I want 50, and you guys each get 25, though. Is that fair? No. Nope. Okay. Don't like it. <laughs> He's a very 33. savvy businessman, Gary Marshall. You're not going to get something like that past him. That's right. How much money do you have? Oh, how much How much you want me to have? I, I, I mean, if you have enough- Because double it. Wow. 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 Are you huh. single? What's going on? Are I'm you a married? billionaire. I am, yes, I'm married to my wife, Barbara. Oh. We've been married for a hundred years. We got kids. We got grandkids. You just don't want to divorce Probably her. Probably great grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be interested in, you know, possibly divorcing her and getting remarried? Sure. Who you got? Me. What? 
This is outrageous. <laughs> this is how far we've come. That Have you ever been ladies, propositioned in this manner? Not so brazenly. Not <laughs> since, back uh, during happy days, back like back. Jo- Joni would come up to you and just sort of intimate it, and like Erin you know. Moran, sure, yeah, she would beat around the bush. She, you know, she'd be suggestive, but she'd never come right out and say, "Hey, divorce your wife and marry me." <laughs> I don't know how much time you've got, so I figure I better be direct. Not much. I'll be honest with you. But this, how much money do you have again? I'm like a billionaire. Okay, I think that we should get married. All right. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> I can afford to lose half, even if yeah, it doesn't work out. Yeah, even if you out. lose half, you got half a billion dollars. I think That's en- not the engineer season. Cody could perform the ceremony, I think. Are yeah. you inefficient? He is inefficient. How yeah, long yeah. do you think it would take to kill you with arsenic poisoning? Uh, probably not that long. Oh, yeah. great. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Let's My get... constitution is worn down from all the globe trotting, searching for monsters. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's get married. Let's At do the it. same time, you've been ingesting small amounts of arsenic your entire to life build to build up, up a tolerance. Up tolerance. Yeah, okay, so I got, I got, it's going to be tough. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about yeah, it. I, 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 I plan for every occasion. I got other ideas. I I, I got other ways You're to go. You're a smart girl. I like this. Yeah. Let, okay. We, we could. We don't have to kill your wife. It would be faster. Oh, I thought you were going to kill Wait. Hold on. Who talked about killing a wife here? Well, then I was thinking if we killed her, you wouldn't have to give her half your money. We wouldn't have to go through a drawn out divorce. You're not going to give your wife half your money, though, right? Oh, he's if, got if it. They've been married divorced, for like yeah, how, long? Long? California how long? State law. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We should kill her. That'll be quicker. <laughs> we get married. We don't I got to say, I mean, I'm mostly on board with your plan, but when you when you just put it out there, we got to kill her. <laughs> yeah. It, it sort of it gives little... me cause for pause. Yeah. But at the same time, good plan. I I can't argue with the planning. Think about it this way. I'm passionate about you, buddy. I want to be married to you. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. This makes me think of this movie uh, that I saw one quarter of called Double Indemnity. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Where these people- Happy ending. Well, was it? (laughs) Yeah, because- It seemed like these people had a foolproof plan. Well, they killed uh, her husband, and I imagine everything they lived happily happily ever after. Okay, so if we're as smart as those people, I think we're in the clear. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. yeah, We're going to be good. All right. Well, uh, we uh, we got- to take a break. Oh, we man. have to take we a break. We do. Enough time to go kill his wife? Will we have enough time? I don't know. How long do you think it'll take I don't know you? if it's a Where wife Where is she? Is she waiting in the car? Is she waiting in the car She's for you? Not- <laughs> is she waiting in the garage with the... Uh- she typically waits in the garage. Is the car I'm on? Done. Oh, it might be. Oh, oh no. Right. She has to listen to the she radio. She's the battle. Herself. <laughs> She's Jesus primed. Christ. All right. I, I got it all worked out. <laughs> all right. So we'll be back. Gil's going to... Uh, sorry, Gilly. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to we're gonna come back here with more from Gilly and Jacobs. More with Gary Marshall. We'll be right back with Comedy Bang <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang. We're back here with Gilly and Jacobs. We have Gary Marshall here on the... Hey! Newly Gary married. Marshall! <laughs> Newly married. You guys got married during the break. That break was a real wife killer. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm on my second marriage <laughs> with Gilly over here. I got a, I got a billion dollars. <laughs> That's right. You're a gillionaire now, right? <laughs> How do you like that? That's fun. I still got it. I started out writing yeah. jokes. Um, we have another guest. We uh, we are so uh, not proud, or but so happy to have in the studio. I guess. I, I mean, we're not proud mm-hmm. because you've never been on the show before. Thank but, uh, you. But um, and I don't know that much about you other than you uh, uh, you're a local. It says here. Um, not really anymore. But I just got back from studying abroad in Italy, so I kind of think I'm a little bit Italian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I'm sure we'll talk yeah. about that. But Tracy is yeah, here. Yeah, hi. I, I don't have a last name on you. Uh, it's okay. I'm trying a new thing, just being Tracy. Just Tracy. Yeah, because my last name was really hard to pronounce, and it was Polish, so I'd like to just drop that. So. Just going one name like Voltaire. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like Moliere as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. He wrote a play. Oh, so are you a lover of the theater? You know, I've definitely seen some, and I feel like... Um, All the way through? Yeah, I stay till the end. What's um, that like? Well, I like to get the most out of my money, and I guess since you're really rich, you probably don't really care about hey, money. Hey, I'm really rich now, too. Oh, oh so. this yeah. opens up a world of not seeing things to the <laughs> completion. Oh, that's also, nice. But, you know, the other thing is he's really rich and doesn't care, but he sneaks in to the... That's oh. a, something about Gary Marshall that you sneak into the movie theater like, through the exit door. That's right, and I... I also like the second act plays. I go in. Sometimes I see the end. Don't see the beginning. Yeah, that's what you do with plays, of course. You yeah. sneak in an intermission that's and just right. pretend like you belong there. That's You've been right. out having a cigarette. I always get caught because I'm very loud. <laughs> hey, I'm just going into the theater here. I have a ticket. Don't I've, bother to check me. I've been here this whole time, I yell. Excuse after me, the sir, curtain can rises. I, <laughs> after the curtain rises. <laughs> I let the actors know. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> we're, ta- we're cutting into this young lady's time. Yeah, Tracy. So fine. So sorry. Anyway, Whatever. Tracy, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming. Thank you. What did? Uh, what are you here to talk about? I don't well, have a lot of notes on you. You know what? Like, I just feel like I learned so much in Italy, and I feel like really blessed to have the opportunity to share this with you guys on this mm-hmm. podcast, which probably reaches like a bunch of people. Yeah, it so does. I thought I could just share a little bit about what I learned in my travels and just my experience. You know, I'm about to be a senior in college, and oh, okay. and I had a junior year that was unforgettable so so you spent your entire junior year and in- it's been eight months eight in months. Italy and I was there you know with my school but I definitely explored a lot of my own and I grew a lot so oh, cool. yeah which I mean I think anybody would like I'm guessing you guys haven't really traveled much on the country I personally have not been to Italy yeah um, I can tell what about uh, what about you Gary have you ever been to Italy I've been to Italy yeah which yeah, is yeah, where yeah. you're from supposedly my ancestors okay. supposedly Marshall Come on. is a Italian <laughs> I changed thing? it for show business. What was it? Marcia and Petty did too. It made me angry. <laughs> well, why didn't you guys go the uh, Shirley MacLaine and uh, what's his Warren fart? Beatty route? Yeah, Warren Beatty route, where you pick different what's last his names. You mean why didn't Penny do that? After I already changed my name to Gary Marshall. Yeah. Oh, I'm already sensing some what, tension. Yeah. I'm what about this Charlie? Yeah, good because I'm putting it out there. <laughs> Charlie Sheen is another one of them. Oh yeah. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah, Stick be, with Estevez. He betrayed his family he and did. his heritage. That's my opinion. Is Ethnic yes, heritage. I agree. Right. So have you uh you you have been to Italy, Gary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay and well, Gilly, have you been to Italy? I have. I w- we were sorry. robbed on an overnight train okay. from Monaco to Nice. <laughs> okay, what I know from Monaco to Venice. <laughs> okay, sorry. okay, whatever. No wait, Tracy, where in Italy did you go? Because it's uh, a whole big boot full of a country. It sounds like you haven't really been rock. there that much if you're calling it a boot. <laughs> Cause like if you really spend time there, like you won't really use the stereotypes of the place. If he was from Canada, he could yeah. call it a boot though, and it would be because of the, their dialect, right? Well, it's so bully, yeah, I guess. Anyone? I guess I get that. No anyone, one. Anyone? No any one. listeners out there? <laughs> no? no? <laughs> All right. A great nope. silence envelops the nation. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I forgot what you asked me. Well, like, so, what, uh, what, uh, yeah, where what you parts been in Italy? of Italy did you go? Well, I was in a few different parts. I spent a lot of time in Firenze and Venezia, and I was in Milano. So, I was in three different areas. Fre- and Frenzo, Venezia, Frenzo, where, where mm-hmm. was this? Frenzo? Frenzo, she means, uh, Florence. Florence. Oh, 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 Florence. Florence. you Americans, I guess and, you don't really know. You are, you're an American, too, okay, though. Okay, but I spent a lot of time abroad, so. Okay. <laughs> Eight months. Yeah, it's a long time, so I feel like I changed a lot, and I learned a lot about, like, Italians and, like, mm-hmm. just, like, that culture. So, Well, what's the uh, main tip that you have for anyone going to uh, yeah, Italy? I would say, first of all, like, <laughs> don't look like a tourist. Like, I saw so many embarrassing, like, Americans there that I just was, like, I had to turn my head because people wear, like, sneakers, which are clearly from America. They wear what? Sneak- sneakers? <laughs> Wait, sneak. Hers. Sneakers. A lot of women wearing they're, sneakers. They're sneakers for women. Sneakers. And <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That, wait a minute. We're all in on this uh, uh, business, right? Sneakers. I think they already exist. Yeah, they're, we, they're we invented ones, it, guys. They're the ones that look like a high heel, but it feels like a sneaker. Yeah, uh-huh. Isabel Morant, sneakers. Yes, okay. thank you. I guess you do know a little something. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I think these, you know, you see people and they're just looking so lost and confused. And I think one of the things I would say if you're traveling about it. Always look like you know what you're doing and always look like you live there. Mm. Did you sleep with a lot of Italian men? I did meet a few men that I felt very strongly for. <laughs> what, what what did you do to blend in over there? Because they're not not f- you know forgive me, but it's not you don't exactly look like a native. No, oh, thank you. Um, I spoke Italian the whole time, and I think that was something that really helped me. I was put in with a host family, and mm. I learned Italian very quickly. So can we hear some? Mm, sure. Um, what would you like me to say, or do you want to just have a conversation? Uh, let's have a conversation. Okay. And um, <laughs> I feel like you just said the same thing twice. <laughs> well, yeah. She, how are I, I'm well. How are you? You did understand me. Wow. I guess you did spend a little time there. I didn't really believe you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. It was very traumatic. We were all robbed. <laughs> wow. I there. wish we had time this to. The story took a turn. Yeah, I wish we had time to go into that. But Too Italian bad. train thieves stole my game. Well, no, games. we. I'm sorry. Sorry, uh, sorry Gilly, but uh, we don't have okay. time to go into it. My, that somebody else on the train chased down one of the. Thieves, we don't so. have time. Okay, we, we got to talk to Tracy. Okay. We have okay. time to discuss how I uh, almost stumbled upon a nest of vampires in Venice. 
No. Is that what you I'm call so a sorry. group of vampires? Is a nest? Yeah, it's a nest. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We gotta talk to. We have sorry. to talk to Tracy. Sorry. Tra- sorry. <laughs> we have to talk to Tracy here. So, um, I want to have you back on the show just so I can say sorry no. over and over. Sorry. See, now we I have another it. basis for our friendship. Uh, Wait, did you learn any sexual tricks from Italian men? Do they <laughs> wow, you are oh, really focused on the men. Oh, Is that oh, why boy. you went to Italy? Well, I gotta keep Gary here happy. I don't know. A lot of Lola <laughs> over here. <laughs> well, there is a lot. It's a different kind of sex that Italians have. Yeah. And it's true. They don't have sex in the same way Americans do. And I was not a virgin before I went there. So really? I did have sex with some American men before I went on my trip, or I should say time abroad. But I did have sex with them, and they like it very differently. And a lot of times they like you to bend over and not speak during it. And most of them didn't kiss me, you know, so I think huh. that's a local thing. Oh, wait, I, 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 your parents might hear this. You're not, uh, you know, this is a little... She's thank European you, now. The European sensibility it's is more very, open yeah, about true. human sexuality. It's very true. true. It's very true. You know, you don't have to cover your breasts as much in other countries, mm-hmm. which I found a, a blessing for me because I'm very well endowed in the breast region. Yeah, I, was, I didn't want to say anything, mm, but thank you. sometimes I like to paint a picture for our listeners exactly, yeah. you know, how endowed the women yeah. guests on the show are. <laughs> My breasts are humongous. Yeah, the, I mean, yeah. it's you're right on the money. And um, how many how many of these men were you with? You say that they all treated you like this? Yeah, well, they were all friends. Um, so I was with about five. That was just a, that was just about one occasion. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was pretty much the only um, experience I had there sexually. But it was a lot, and it was just, this was one night. Yeah, but it was oh. very overwhelming. You know, yeah, so I, they, I grew, as gang bangs usually are. Well, I mean. it's not called that there, but okay. I grew I grew a lot. What do they call it? What do they call it? Term over there. Um, they call it in the main chi. I think that means bend over, bitch, in yeah. Italian. Oh, my God. Well, that's not This how is I all am. very unsavory. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry, Gary. This is, I like to run a clean podcast, as you know. That's the reason yeah, you're yeah, here. Yeah, that's what I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but that's just all I know from my experience. So all yeah. you can pass on to me from my now sex life with Gary Marshall is to be quiet and bend over. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah. Wait, are you guys going <laughs> to... I mean, well, we're going to get married. We are you, married. You got married during wife, the break. I mean, yeah. I we're going to get married on our anniversary. We're going to renew our <laughs> vows. Okay. I just want to keep you happy, Gary, because oh, you have a lot I'm, of money. Look, I'm happy. It's just nice to have a young person in the house. And, uh, I can imagine, nice. Gary, at your age, I mean, sex is more of a Theoretical. chore. Ah, you know, it's a nice memory, right? Yeah, you know. I had my fun. Yeah, now and, it's and just, now it's time for more fun. Now it's just about having some arm candy. Do you think maybe I could kill you? Do you think maybe you would have a heart attack and die if we attempted to have sex? Oh, probably. Okay, we're having sex in like 10 <laughs> minutes. 10 <laughs> minutes? In the middle of the show. Oh, yeah. I need that money real bad. Oh, boy. I need all of it. Saying it's Community's next, uh, drying up? I have a billion dollars in gambling debts that I need to pay off. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Next yeah. break is I wish we had time to talk about maker. that. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yes. Yeah, Tracy, so yeah. so that's it's, so. Any other tips for the listeners out there who? Yeah, I mean, endless. You know, I think one of the most important things for Americans is to travel and to leave in your comfort zone. And you know, that yeah. was a huge thing for me. And I, I live. Where are you a- from? Mm, from Modesto. Okay, Modesto, California. Yeah. And you had had you ever traveled at all? Um, no, I had not because due to my family's circumstances, I oh. had not traveled. So, what are it, your? Uh, is it rude of me to ask what are your family circumstances? We have zero dollars, very very mm. little. I sleep. That's the the most little. Yes, and I have to just stay at friends' homes. But now I'm planning to move back to Italy as soon as I graduate college and just kind of you know get back to my roots now and just kind of live there because I'm most comfortable there and I really found myself there. How did you get the money to, to actually get there? I if... got a scholarship. Oh. A what? A scholarship. Oh. Sco- scholarship, I think yeah, you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I they didn't penetrate it first, but now I understand what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, I got saying. a scholarship. So now you, ugh, it's, it's getting farther and farther away from human speech. <laughs> so uh, what? Are you, you, how are you going to live over there? Do you have a mm. job set up? Or? You know, as a woman in another country, it's very easy. With very large breasts. Yes, it's very easy to find work. So I'm not worrying. I probably work in a bakery. And I'm really so, excited. There's a lot of them over there. Yeah. yeah. And, and Italian true. pastries, one of my favorite breasts. Breakfast. Cannoli, right? You like a cannoli? Oh, every morning. Yeah. Every morning. That's <laughs> not good. No, I'm. <laughs> every morning. I have ballooned up since the TV show. You're very honest. fat. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say anything, but yeah, uh, I like to. You. I like to paint a picture for the sure. listener. Yeah. You're morbidly obese. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> 
I think I'm going to die very soon. Oh, my God. Uh-oh, and you're rich, right? And I'm rich because oh, of the wait, TV wait, show. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where is polygamy legal? <laughs> hmm. We need to go to some African country right now because I'm going to marry you. Go back to Africa. Hey. <laughs> oh, well, I feel like I need to marry one of them now because if they're both going to pass, I could use the money as well. Honey, you've got much larger breasts than me. You're going to be fine. Oh I need this. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. you're going to be good at your <laughs> bakery you. in Italy. Yeah. I don't know why, why I do put you put in quotes, quotes like that. <laughs> I feel like maybe she's saying that she's going to be a prostitute. Oh, my God. Is yes. that? Wait a minute. Is that what the whole... Uh, five guys. That was for free. And that was I actually paid them. Are you saying the Five Guys Burger Chain is a prostitution front? That's what I'm trying to say. I eat there and do mommy burger. They're in cahoots. That oh one God. I see. Yeah. Umami. <laughs> and speaking of umami, that's what you said to your mom when you told her you were going to Italy, right? Yes. You said you said who, mommy? I'm going to Italy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for confirmation on that. Well, um, gosh, so so you're going to go back, and yeah, uh, what's the wait. timetable? Well, I have to graduate, unfortunately, so... What are you studying? Why, wait! <laughs> go be a prostitute in Italy now! Well, on, I am Gilly. dedicated to, to graduating so that I can also lord that over people. Mm, um, smart. Yeah, so I'm studying many different things. I haven't chosen a major yet. You're a senior, though, right? Yeah, so the time is of the essence, <laughs> but I am thinking I'm interested in communications, and I'm really interested in, in performance, and oh. <laughs> What? Performance. In performance. Performance and speech and debate. Speech. And uh, communication. What's poor vermins? <laughs> poor, poor vermins. So like rats that have been, what? Performance. Like a performance on the stage like Moliere. Oh. Like what you said. Oh, okay. I yeah. didn't think that if I were you. Yeah. Why? Your, your voice is very grating. Oh, thank you. I, until you said that, though, Gilly, I've never noticed how grating your voice is. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse how about me. my voice, you guys? <laughs> You're, Everybody's on oh, board. the dulcet tones of Gary Marshall. We You're all like a you. morning dove, honey. Oh, I'm doing a bunch of audio books. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Which ones? Yeah, or name one. I'll do it. The whole Harry Potter series. You got it. The Bible. I'll, I'm going to record it. The Hobbit. <laughs> sure. The Da Vinci Code. What's that? The Da Vinci Code. The Da Vinci what? The Da Vinci Code. I don't know what you're it's saying. It's a film with Tom Hanks. The Da Vinci Code. Yes. Sure. Okay. You know Tom Hanks. Uh, of course I do. You know The Da Vinci Code is directed by uh, Ron Howard. That's right. Little Ronnie Howard, he grew up and then he directed that stupid movie. <laughs> right. Honey, honey, did you... <laughs> What's that, dear? <laughs> did you create Bosom Buddies? Is that one of your shows? No. Oh, okay. he I wish that I had. Oh. Yeah. But... I feel like uh, Tom Hanks owes me a debt of gratitude because uh, I had him guest on uh, Happy Days one time. Really? And that this led to... After Bosom Buddies. <laughs> so, wait, what kind of famous people am I going to meet now that we're married? Who are you friends with? Oh. Joanne Worley. Ugh. What? G- Gina <laughs> Lola <delight>. Brigida. <laughs> May not still be with us. Uh, are I possible? <laughs> That's a real head scratch. <laughs> That's a real head scratch R.I.P. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to meet Robert Stack. I don't know who that is. Uh, so, so Tracy, yeah. and it's, feel free to sniff right into that mic if you could. <laughs> Do you have some sort of cold? What? I am just smelling the microphone. Oh, see, okay. Because the air smells different here in America. Oh, in what way? Yes, it's very, very dirty. In other countries, it's very clean. So that's the so difference. That's the difference. <laughs> dirty to clean. Interesting. I feel like Tracy's an old friend now. Yeah. It's great when friends get together. Can I yeah. say something? I think it's okay when friends get together. Not great. I didn't say if you could say something. Honey, wait but till you, you know meet what? my friend. Fair enough. <laughs> Robert's rules of order. I yield. You know what? You may say something. Uh, I think it's okay when friends get together, but I wouldn't uh, give it great status. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't have a lot of people over to the house? Never. Boy, mm. this is that's the gonna change. That that's gonna change. I'm honey. a bit gotta, of a hermit. Well, you oh, like to entertain? Oh, I got a lot of I've got a lot of rowdy young friends that are gonna come over and break your dishes. I'll get the ashtrays out. You've even started talking like him. I love him. <laughs> He's my husband. I love him. I feel like we've been married forever. You're you're driving me crazy, Gary. This is what my life, my Barbara got uh, with the soul. This is what she sounded like yeah, at she, the end. She went real quick. She didn't have much will to live. Like, that's it about Barbara. Yeah, we killed her on the oh my first break. Do a lot of people die in Italy? 
Yeah, it's um actually way more people die there, so it's actually just really Not progressive. Safe. No, it's like just a lot more happening at all times. Oh, I see. Progressive yeah. meaning people progress towards yes, death a little faster. Yes, it's actually a, it's a it's a good thing. Yeah. Do wow. they still kill people in the Coliseum? Um, you know what? Like, my time spent there was not really spent at that location, so I can't really tell you. Hmm. Okay. What are your feelings on Italian political corruption, like Berlusconi and well, the- uh, My opinion is I mostly that, like, I believe that, like, all politics should be kept personal and inside your brain and not really shared with other people because it's a very, very up for debate all the time. <laughs> Hmm. So you really lost the thread there. <laughs> do you know who Berlusconi is? I mean, yes, I do. Okay, but you don't I had care. A Berlusconi once is delicious. You did? Yeah. You don't care about moving Every to a morning. country with rampant corruption and the mafia taking on larger. I'm pretty sure you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, um, Ooh, so. meow, claws in, cat. <laughs> you probably never really experienced a life there, and you probably don't really know. Like I did spend eight months there. Um, I did come home for one month for Christmas, but I was there for eight <laughs> so months. Seven months. <laughs> Seven months if you're counting the month that I came back to California, but I was there for eight months and I did experience a lot of things on a day to day basis. Uh, how many euros do you do you own? I own twelve euros. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well congratulations. Let's go around the table and we'll talk about the foreign money we could not get rid of. Yeah. When we've traveled overseas. No. Oh, yes. Start with you, Scott. Well, um, I tell you, I had uh, a couple of loonies that I couldn't get rid of. <laughs> From Canada, Gillian, go. I've got twenty cents of America of Canadian money in my wallet right now. Hmm. Okay, we heard your story about the yes. euros. I of course have some British pound sterling uh, mm-hmm. that I cannot get rid of. Oh, we should pool it into a big pool. I would love to take a that. A money on. pool. A foreign currency <laughs> money yeah. pool. I will take that off your hands and do, really? and do what I will with it. Do they accept uh, different Ooh, what types an of... offer. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> the most polite mugger I've ever met. Allow me to take that and then have it. That's <laughs> and what she do learned what I will in with. Italy, how to mug people. Yes, um, well, I will take it to the bank and then use it into American currency for while I'm here and then I will spend it on food and housing. Hmm. Where are you living right now? Very sensible. <laughs> I've been sleeping on the metro. Hmm. <laughs> what? what? You've been sleeping on the metro here in Los Angeles. Yes. The red line. What about Modesto? What about your parents? And they also have nothing, so I've been sleeping on the train. And I find that it's exciting because I meet many people who are foreign, and I can talk to them about my travels. Tracy is right about this. It is always exciting to sleep on a train. Mm. Yeah. How many? How many trains have you slept on? All of them. Every single one? Yeah, I was on a mission to sleep on all of the world's trains. The Surfliner? Yep. I didn't want to... The The Super Chief? I didn't want to tell you what I was watching you sleep uh, last week. You were asleep on the Metro where I was. That was you? Yes. I should never have included subway trains. Yeah, that's that's right. How did you know someone was watching you sleep? I always know. I sl- I'm like a snake. I sleep uh, with one eye slightly open. Mm. To guard against predators. <laughs> right, and you didn't think she was a predator? From the movies. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Are you chasing them too? <laughs> no, they're chasing me, I think. Oh, so it's a little circle. Sometimes you're, you're chasing the Jersey Devil. Yeah, they're chasing you. Exactly. Sometimes I feel like I see a little blur out of my peripheral <laughs> vision. I'm like, uh, what's that, an invisible predator? Uh. And I hear this that sound, you know, like, yeah. Whatever sound they make. Yeah. Why They're- do they have dreadlocks, honey? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a fashion choice. <laughs> yeah, really? you know, just because they're predators from another what, world. they can't have fun. Yeah. <laughs> dreadlocks are very fun. Do, a lot of guys uh, in Italy with uh, different hairstyles? Um, no, I wouldn't say most guys in Italy have a faux hawk. And most guys from America have <coughs> different hairstyles that they bring. And you can tell they're American. Um, mm. Mostly anybody who's balding is American. Oh, yes. yeah. And anybody who has a long ponytail with no hair on top is American. Mm. Hmm. You got to admit, though, that's a good look. <laughs> It's, it's 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 just very very certain you know to be American when you see it you just know like that person hasn't really traveled much they hey, know what's going USA on USA number one here's my favorite look is a uh, guy who's got a ponytail never takes the ponytail out he's got long hair pulls it back at the ponytail tucks it into the uh... well you never you just never know it doesn't tuck it into a shirt but it's never <laughs> not a ponytail like right. why did you grow your hair that long 
if you right. never gonna unfurl it, let's just you let it fight, all fly. out. Yeah. That's for formal occasions only. That's for naval like dress. A satanic mess. <laughs> yeah, of or course. Or showering. Oh, or showering. Sure. If you want to get it clean. Unless you're in the rubber band laundering business. Which I hope you're not, <laughs> God willing. We should get into the rubber band laundering business as it's well. It's not as lucrative Are as I you would think. Possible? Uh, rubber band laundering business? I don't know that people would really make the connection of why it was titled that, but okay. I'm on board. Well, you think that's the name of our rubber band <laughs> laundering business? I was business. listing our joint business oh, ventures, oh. but I think it's actually a great title for our Are rubber, I band rubber band possible rubber band laundering? It sounds grammatically unsound. <laughs> That's why people will like it. Oh, okay. I get it. It will be memorable. I understand the people. Toys are us, yes. right? It's like Papu's Hot Dog Show. You don't know oh, what it means. Papu's Hot oh, Dog Show. All right, show. possible? No, it's still there. No, no, it's gone. What? what? I this, live by it. This is how I find out? I live by it. It's gone. What happened to Papu's Hot Dog Show? Shut down literally a few months ago. Why? By the health department? I thought they no. had an A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know as well as I do they had an A. Do you know that system was based on Fonzie? <laughs> <laughs> so if a restaurant was really good, it would get an A. a. Yes, because he was cool. That was his cool sound. He would look around at the restaurant and give uh-huh. it the old A. If it was... <laughs> If it was a B, it was because he is moderately scared of Bs, and that's worse than yeah, an just A. Just B comes F day. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Gillian, good luck. Thank you in my marriage. Good luck in your marriage. I hope it works Thank out you. for you. Yeah. How long do you think? It's going to work out for me. Yeah, boy, you Very are malevolent. <laughs> uh, uh, Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Please come back. I'd love to hear about your travels and yeah. your sad, sad life. Thank you. <laughs> and Mr. Marshall, always a pleasure. Uh, for you. <laughs> Welcome to the show, and, uh, and and we have a great guest here on the on the uh, podcast today. Um, we have a long and storied history, and we're going to get into it. But uh, before we do, let me talk to uh, my co-host here today, uh, and uh, you'll know him just from his voice. That's right. <laughs> of course you will. <laughs> who else would it be? <laughs> who else would it be? Who, who do you? Uh, let me ask you this: Do you have other people who co-host this podcast with you all the time, L- almost every week? Who would do it? <laughs> Besides me, I'm a big hearted why, guy. Why do you do it? Why do I? I'm look. I'm a big hearted guy. I'm trying to stay in touch. Your heart is abnormally oh, large. Oh, was I finished my sentence? I, believe I guess so. so. Oh, yes. you believe so? Well, we all have different beliefs. Some people, it's like, hey, you got a head of an elephant. I'm gonna pray to you. <laughs> Those weirdos. <laughs> can, can we be candid? Yes, they're weirdos. All right, good. So you're a big hearted guy. I want to stay in touch with the younger people. Sure. Uh, my grandkids are always telling me, Poppy, you got to check out these uh, podcasts. Uh, everybody curses. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, if you're one of Gary Marshall's grandkids, enjoy I'm this Gary one. I'm Gary Marshall, by yes, the way. Gary Marshall is here, and this one's for your grandkids. Please, everyone Fuck. listening, think of me as Gary. Yes, please. Uh, by the compact of please think of you. By the sacred compact of please think of me. I abjure thee, call me Gary. <laughs> Thus the spell is completed. Now, Gary, it's... Please it's, call me Mr. Marshall. Mr. Marshall. First, the listeners get to think of me as Gary. You have to address That's me right. as Mr. I, I Marshall. Am very, very Then sorry. I will say, please call me Gary. But should you start with Gary, <laughs> then... then I, am I forced the entire program to call you Mr. Marshall? Please call me Gary. Oh, okay, thank you, Gary. Gary, if I may. Gary! Gary! Who was? Gary! Some people don't pronounce the, the double R correctly. Oh, that, how do you do it? Gary! Gary! No, what uh, are you making fun of it? It's a mockery what you're doing. Uh, I, I'm a, I am a comedian. That is my trade. Is, so. that, is that all it is? <laughs> just mocking stuff? Yeah, that's all you gotta do is just go, that's stupid. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize Say it was anything. so easy. Uh, let's see. Uh, I voted for a senator yeah, on election stupid. day. Ugh. Hey, it works. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, not bad. <laughs> well, welcome to the show, G- uh, Gary Ree. And it's uh, not Gary Ree. <laughs> that's three R's. It's Gary. Gary. It is. Here's what that second R does, uh-huh. Scott. It allows you to take your time 
and enjoy saying a name. It's like a vacation for your mouth. That's This is what I'm saying to you and to everyone who's listening to me. That's how I feel about the second T in my name and the Scott. You know, just take your time on it, Scott. It seems dismissive. Yeah, it does sound a little sarcastic. Are you but selling you can be a, yourself short? You can be a comedian if you say it like that. Oh, that's true. Which you are? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, welcome to the show. The last time we spoke, yeah. we had our special guest here on the show, and I'm interested to oh, see- Oh, I think I know who this is. Uh, yes, you're staring right at that's her. That's why I think I know. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> but uh, I'm interested to see what happened with your relationship. Oh, because I bet you are! She's sitting here looking very uncomfortable- Yes, uh, as she should. Yes, of Catch course. Catch the audience up. Previously on Previously comedy, on comedy ba- what's it? Bing what's bong. it called? Bing bong. Comedy <laughs> bing bong. And it's funny. <laughs> it is funny. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, you know her from her work in film. You know her from television. I'm really uncomfortable. Gillian Jacobs. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thanks. Very declarative. Hello. <laughs> I'm really uncomfortable. Baseline being... greeting. You didn't tell me he was going to be here. That's right. Never. Surprise. <laughs> now, for, for the listening audience, mm-hmm. you two, listen up. Here's what it is. The last episode, uh, Gillian and I met for the first time. Uh, she convinced me to murder my wife. And marry which you her, did during the commercial. Which I did during the commercial. Uh, we then embarked on our marriage together. Well, long story short, we're not married anymore. Mm. It did not go well. Mm. I think, but and let me say this: other people may disagree. There's different schools of thought on this. I'm not. I'm not a marriage expert, clearly, but I would say. <laughs> Murder is not a good foundation for marriage. For a second marriage. Now take yeah. it for, hey, you know what? Good point. Because it's not how my first marriage started. No, you did. Yeah, and that one lasted a good long, how long were you married Oh, for decades. Until you murdered her, it was That's a great right. marriage. They, what, you know what it was? We were like a uh, comfortable old pair of shoes. Yeah, just slip them on. And then until the one and... shoe murders the other shoe. <laughs> Commits suicide. <laughs> Oh, that almost sounded like a pun, which was not my intention, but I still- I'm going to enjoy it, though. I feel compelled to tell the audience that was not a pun. Um, I want to hear both sides of this story. Oh, you look physically ill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. She is physically ill. Life Art. is short. Now, what do you think the ultimate point of life is? Uh, living in a gated community in Bel Air. <laughs> so mission accomplished. See, that was the one thing we agreed upon in our marriage. That's I, true. too, was very interested in living in a gated community in Bel Air. What happened? And we talked about it all the time. Yeah. We'd be in my, we'd be in the house in Bel I was going to say my house. It's back to my house again. It, yeah. We'd be it in was the house. Our, that was a problem. You never referred to it as our house. Mm. That's Didn't true. Didn't pull a madness on well, it. our house in the middle of our street. Or a Crosby, Stills, and Ned. <laughs> I'm a bit older than you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I never, fa- you know, I look, I lived with uh, my wife, Barbara, there for Ugh. many, many years. Please, uh, she's a uh, Do you have uh, Gillian, that's part dead. of the problem, If I gotta Mike, hear let's... her goddamn name one more time. Oh, and the language. Uh-huh. He murdered her for you. Yeah, it's over. Now. His kids, his grandkids, the relatives always talking about... Barbara, I couldn't stand oh, okay. it. She hated it most of all when Penny would bring up Barbara's Ugh. name. Oh, so you're seeing you're talking to Penny again? No, we don't talk. She comes over to the house. <laughs> Just, we stay in separate rooms. <laughs> I like Penny's my favorite, though. Actually, I have to say, yeah, she's a pistol. Mm. Now, yeah. kind of cute. Here's what. Hmm. Here's what the. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Does she have some money that you're trying to that see that was the that was the basis of your relationship. You heard how rich Gary Marshall was. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty rich. <laughs> yeah. And you said, hey, let's uh hit yourself to that wagon. Yeah, I wanted to live in Bel Air, don't yeah. you? I guess so, but not everybody a, does. Not Come enough on. to marry Gary Marshall. Nah. Well, no, it's because uh, we're two fellas. What are you gonna do? That's you're gonna no, uh, you dress can, up in drag honey, to fool the authorities. Honey, we can do that now. What are you talking about? Not in Bel Air, though. We can get married. Not in my, not in my Bel Air. <laughs> um, we got our own system of justice and laws. So what happened? I want to hear from both both sides here. Who wants to start? What? 
Ooh. I'll I'll stop. All, All right. right. Well, All as right. always. As always, I like to start. She likes to start. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the problem. Every time we go out to dinner with another couple, uh, you know, uh, you know that point when the two couples sit down across from each other, and somebody says, "Who's going to start talking?" <laughs> usually, always, you draw straws. Usually, you ask the waiter for yeah, three but, regular straws and one uh, straw that's a little shorter. Yes, but with old he takes friends, his scissors. Like, old yeah. being the operative word. Yeah, well, old. We, All his friends are old. We'd we'd go out with uh, Jack Jones and his wife. <laughs> I don't know who these people are. <laughs> He's a singer. He's a famous singer. Stephen Eady. Stephen Eady. Oh. Steve, Jesus. Steve Lawrence, Lawrence Eady Gourmet. Gourmet. Jinx. I, <clears throat> you should have married him, Scott. You get along great. Maybe I should. Do we, it. We, not in Bel Air, though. Not in no Bel Air. No gay marriage in Bel Air. Gillian, what do you expect when you marry a man who's that much older? Do you, I mean, he's not going to have young friends. clubbing with me. Go raves. Sweetheart, with me. I'm set in my ways. Ugh. What I can't. I don't. I ha- got you to murder your wife within knowing you for thirty minutes. I thought at least I could convince you to, you know, go to Sayers with me. Well, this <laughs> I might as well tell you now. I faked Barbara's death. What? Yes. What? She's not really dead. It was a. It was a, a form of non-lethal curare that I ejected her with. She is. Not- she. She. She was just put to sleep. Oh, Killian, you are. Br- what is happening here? She is uh, in a state of suspended <laughs> Wait, so you... Are you telling me you Romeo and Julieted her? Yeah, except they're just Julieted. <laughs> Fucking Christ. So wait, so we were never even legally married? Uh, what are the laws on that? In Bel Air, you- yes. I'm not entitled to any of your money, is what you're telling in me. In Bel Air, no. Oh, God. You so shouldn't the- have married me in Bel Air. Oh, the the laws on that is if if your first wife is in suspended animation, you cannot marry a new person. Yeah, it's covered under. No, well, that's that's the law of the land. Okay. But the law of Bel Air, I'm entitled to as many wives as I want. <laughs> okay, I didn't know oh, that about well, that. Then, never mind. Then if bigamy is allowed in Bel Air, then I'm legally married. To no, you. we're divorced. Fuck. I did the ceremony when you weren't when you weren't looking. <laughs> what is that ceremony? The Bel Air divorce ceremony. Yeah, how does that go? It's uh, you. You have to go to Denzel Washington's house. Okay, sure. You say, hey, Denzel, get Paul Reiser to get... And he says, <laughs> <laughs> my man! Oh, did Denzel Washington just walk in here? No, that was me. Oh. Ah, oh, Gary. You're a regular uh, Frank Gorshin over there. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, uh... <laughs> The Riddler. So, sure. For the <laughs> Once again, who the hell knows who these people are? You Learn your Hollywood history, young no, lady. No, learn my history. What is your history? Clubbing, partying, ecstasy, staying up all night, spending a lot of money, jets, drugs. Jets. She spent so jets. much money on glow sticks and jets. So once you filled up an entire jet with glow sticks, didn't and you? And I coated the outside of the jet in glow sticks, oh, too, man. so it looked like maybe a UFO. Fly. Yeah. I thought he'd be into it. I thought I could get him out of these monsters and maybe into some alien you know, hunting. A- so. Aliens, that's a hoax. That's the other thing. No such thing as extraterrestrials. But the Wolfman's they real. Yes, he is. I'm going to find him. <laughs> that's the other thing we haven't talked about is Gary Marshall spends a lot of his free time hunting monsters. Yeah. What else am I going to do? I mean, <laughs> if there were some monsters at Teddy's, then maybe I could get into it. But Jesus Christ, am what I going to go to... these places you're talking Are they even clubs, real places? Teddy's? drawing room. What is that, like hide. the Brown Derby? That's not... The drawing room. <laughs> Teddy's. That bar on Hillhurst that opens at 6 a.m.? <laughs> hey, I know a lot of people that are there at 6 a.m. It's a fine I, establishment. I think I know a lot of the people that are there at 6 a.m. <laughs> So uh, back to back to the ceremony. You go over to the Denzel's house. I go to De- the ceremony is you must go to Denzel Washington's house. You knock three times on the door. Denzel appears. He says, "May I help you?" I say, "Denzel, uh, can you summon Paul Reiser? Uh, I need to divorce someone." Mm-hmm. Uh, Denzel walks across to uh, to Paul Reiser's house, taking care to shield his eyes from Sylvester Stallone's house. They mm-hmm. all live in this radius, right? Mm-hmm. Can I interject one second? Yeah, sure. You say knock three times. I, I saw this on a James Bond movie the other day from Russia with Love. He said, he said, uh, don't answer the door for anyone. I'll knock three times. Uh, knock three times sounds like this. 
How'd you know the secret knock? Wow, wait, that, that's well, how everyone knocks. Well, One, two, like three. A baby. What, what are you? Since when? God, what are you gonna do? You're gonna come up to a door and knock once? That's what I oh, do. Who just came in? <laughs> how would you hear if anyone just knocked once? You would think it was a mistake. You People would be, should I listen hear? more. Another that's thing. That's what we agree on. That. Yeah, I. We agree that you should listen to me more. And we agreed I wouldn't do that. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking worst. All right. So uh, anyway, you're on your way to Paul Reiser's house. Yes. So then Denzel and Paul Reiser, they get together and they say, whom do you wish to divorce? that's Denzel, one more call from Denzel. Do you need to take that? I do not need to take that. Uh, I I talk on my terms. You carry an actual rotary phone. Yeah, it's a rotary phone. That you would get from like Sardo's. Wait, Sardo's? Sardo's. What what am I thinking of? Sardo's? What are you You mean Sardis? Sardis, yeah. What am I saying? Sardo's. Sardis. He's uh, the Green Lantern's foe. (laughs) <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so uh, Denzel and uh, Paul Reiser say in unison. They count down from three to one, and okay. then in three unison. two. Do they do three two one and then the thing, or do they like three nose one, or what do they do? Yeah, I think it's three nose one, <laughs> and then the thing. And okay. then they say, "Whom do you wish to divorce?" I say, "Oh, such fancy grammar." <laughs> they say, "Come on, this is serious. This is part of the script. This is all part of the script. Right, yes, okay. this is this is an ancient ceremony." So then uh, I say, "I got this wife. She's a pain in my neck." <laughs> They say, I hear you. Mm-hmm. You are now divorced from her. You didn't even have to give him my name? Nope. I just got to be thinking of it. <laughs> Who's the mayor of Bel Air? Uh, it's more of a council. Right. Uh, and it's a, it's, it's a, a council of elders. Yeah, it's a council. That's yeah, yeah 13. old. Read old. Yeah. Yeah, the elders. <laughs> yeah, what do you expect the elders? I think there would be more people my age in Bel Air. In Bel Air, you thought there would be young people. What a yes. naive child. How are young people ever going to afford property there in Bel Air? Did, do what I do. Marry a rich old man. Who put his wife in suspended animation. Yeah. That's right. Go back to that. I want to hear a little bit about what? that. Oh, you find that interesting? Where is she? <laughs> She's in an undisclosed location. Under Disclose Disneyland? it. It's under Disneyland. That's right. I knew in it. That one, in that one restaurant where they serve alcohol. I knew it. That's I where... wanted you to take me there. He wouldn't club take tw- me there. Not even a Club 23? No. Wouldn't do it. That's uh. why I have to go to the drawing room at 6 a.m. <laughs> well, wh- you're still awake from the clubbing. Yes, exactly. That's why the drawing room is the most useful bar in L.A. Is that the only suspended animation facility in the United States? That's why I guessed it, because that's it's where one Disney of, is. It's one of three. Oh, okay. Where are the other two in the U.S.? The original- Continental. Chi- yeah. The original Chia's Bar, the Bull and Finch. Oh, okay. Under there? Uh, or or under just there. inside there? But, under the bar? I can't remember if it's above ground or not. It might be in plain view. Okay. That's a big thing about these uh, secret suspended animation locations, is uh, nobody g- can process it with their mind, so sometimes they just stick them right out in the open. Oh, really? You mean if you look at it, you can't actually... You uh, Your mind will uh, make up an excuse for what it is. Mm, okay. That's why the other one's <laughs> on uh, Lincoln's lap in the Lincoln Memorial. <laughs> what? Yeah. Lincoln's lap? Yeah. Just oh laying gosh. across his lap. <laughs> really? And he's like stroking it, like petting it, like a cat? No, he's still just a statue. I know, but I mean, his hand is in that position? No, his hands are on the chair. His hands are on the on chair. On the arms of the chair. Okay, but are they, or are they on the on the thing? Because I've I don't know. I, I know what I see. <laughs> How did you become so attuned to being able to see these things? Oh, I'm one of the Illuminati. <laughs> what? Yeah. We are getting some major revelations I here. Know we already knew that. That's news? I think people assumed it. Right. Maybe you guys talked about it Slow on, one, on of the your, uptake over here. one of your dinners with Stephen Eady. So who else is in the Illuminati? Uh, boy, a lot of people. It's actually there's more people that did it than on in it. As oh, a matter of what? fact, in the United States, yeah, right? it seems like it's an exclusive society. There's like six, but, uh, tons six of people. Uh, uh, billion or million people in the United <laughs> States. <laughs> Why don't I know? Billion Neither. People. I don't know. Neither. Neither. How many? Thirty-two. Are you million. going by the McDonald's hamburger sign? <laughs> I'm trying to remember because I looked it up the other day. I hate I when remember. you make me laugh. <laughs> if there's any consolation, that sounded like a polite laugh. <laughs> I'm looking it up. How many people in the United States? Yeah, this is great uh, podcasting. Too yeah. many. You guys just hold on one second. All right. Too many? <laughs> there's another thing. We talked about genocide all the time. It was unpleasant. I would just like to have, you know, no traffic in Los Angeles. And if that means killing millions of people, I'm fine with it. I was way off. 311 million. Yeah. That's a lot of people. like 6 million people in Manhattan. I knew it was three something. 
I thought it was three billion or three million. That's China. <laughs> three million Turned out it was three hundred and eleven million. I don't know. Come on, I'd... eleven million people are in the Illuminati. Eleven. Wait. Yeah. Wow. But that leaves three hundred million who aren't. Yeah, that's right. It seems fair, right? But I thought you, you said, said that there more were more. In... It was a figure of speech. All Let's right. not crucify Gary Marshall. What would happen if we did crucify you? Well, uh, you'd find out in three days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that- I either come back or I don't. I'm just as curious as you, but please don't crucify me. It's like I wonder I wonder if I'm bulletproof. Do you? I do, but no one's ever shot me, so I have no idea. Maybe that will be found out by the end of this episode of Comedy Bing Bong. <laughs> I wonder. Um, I wonder too. Now you got me wondering. <laughs> so guys, um I, I want to get to exactly what happened with the the marriage here in just a second, but we have to take a little break. Is that okay? No, yeah, but I, you know, I don't do care. Do we for have it. any do I have any choice in this? I wonder no, why I you came. Is it just to promote community on this Thursday? Mm, yeah, we need it. Yeah. Okay. Well we'll talk about that too when we come back. We'll be right back with a little more Gary Marshall, a little more Gillian Jacobs. Just a little more. Just a touch more. Just a scooch. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Comedy Bing Bong, we are back here with Comedy G- Bing Bong! <laughs> Gary Marshall and Gillian Jacobs. And uh, Gillian, you're on Community, which uh, returns to NBC this Thursday. And- Allegedly! <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the plot of this uh, season premiere? Uh, I think it's senior year, so people are having some senior year anxiety. You guys are about to graduate college, and will what happens, we, what will, happens after? Who will graduate? Mm. Do people want to graduate? What is graduation? See, That's this true. doesn't sound like a story. In my, in my day when hey, we were doing yeah, sitcoms. Yeah, back in your day, you just get a guy and a shark hey, in the surfboard. Hey, oh. How many years did hey, that hey, run? Hey. It ran for a million hey. years. Oh, hey, to be, to be fair, though, Gary. Uh, Please, happy call days. me Mr. Marshall. Okay, Mr. Marshall. If you're, if you're being confrontational. So sorry. To be fair, Mr. Marshall. Please call ha- me Gary. All right, Gary. Uh, happy Days was in trouble. Yeah. Happy Days was in a lot of trouble. It was a single camera sitcom, and you had to switch it to a multicam in order for it to get any traction, like we Up All Night. elected to switch it to a multicam In the middle sitcom. of season two, much like Up All Night, you switched it to, to multicam because you were just trying anything. You were throwing shit against the wall. I beg your pardon. That's that, how that was I for describe your grandkids. most of your programming. Yeah, just throwing shit up my, against my the wall. My grandkids will enjoy that curse. If I had to listen to one more episode of Joni Loves Chachki, I Chachki? Why are you listening to Chachki? Chachki? That Joni was the Loves original Chachki. series. Was Joni was in love with a Hummel figurine? <laughs> and only she could hear it talk. I can't understand his accent. It sounded like Chachki to me. Here's here's a here's a classic sitcom plot. Okay. Somebody writes a letter that, uh, in a fit of pique, they send it, uh, oh no, that letter, uh, I sent it, and then it took the person I sent it to turned out to be a nice guy, and I read it all wrong. I gotta get that letter back. Right, assassinate right? the mailman. <laughs> yeah, that was a early draft. <laughs> it was a spit draft. The, the network didn't care for it. Okay, so uh, then what? They said, take out the assassination of the government employee. <laughs> Another classic: uh, uh, two characters they don't like each other. They're trapped in an elevator together. They learn a little bit about each other the before the elevator. The is worst. Repaired. You don't like the these plots? Worst. It sounds like community could benefit no, from this. This is the plots. quicksand upon which situation comedy is built. This shit programming that he put out for so years. So what's so much better Ooh. about community? Character <laughs> callbacks. Easter eggs. <laughs> what What was the first TV show to have Easter hey, eggs? Well, well, you need like a glossary to watch this show. It's like, what is this, Frank oh, Herbert's it's... Dune? <laughs> <laughs> I know that you like to turn your brain off when you turn on the television, but the loyal, small band of viewers of Community enjoy comedy. No. Listen, <laughs> I, I watch the television. I just want to be entertained. He never I, watched an episode of Community. That was Whoa, thing. why would I? I had to watch Joni Loves Chachi. How could he? <laughs> How could he? By the time... You the, got to watch Joni Loves Chachi. By the time you guys got married, it wasn't on the air, and it hasn't been on the air till this week. I, got I have the DVDs. In, in Mr. Sony Marshall's made. defense. The one time... Please call me Gary. The one time I tried to watch an episode of the show... Uh, in the first minute, I was lost because there's so much history about the characters. I'm like, I, what does that? Why was that a funny joke? She says, it uh, was because the of pilot, something. Scott. This is how little grasp he has on reality. We watched the pilot. Right. Hmm. 
Sorry, my blood sugar is dropping. You know, just being around him sends me into a diabetic have, shock. Have a okay. score bar. Yeah. It's not a score bar. What, is what that are you exactly? eating? It's what are you eating? Think Thin Divine. Yeah, is that what a Hollywood actress has to eat? Think Thin? It's smart decadence, like me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, can I get my lawyer in here? I don't want to have to sit in a room with him anymore. Mr. Marshall is a great director. Tell me yes. about cinema, Gary. Tell me your thoughts on cinema. Hey, he is a great... Mr. Marshall is... I'm sorry, I called you Mr. Marshall when you told me to call you Gary. Uh, please continue to call me Mr. Marshall. All right. Mr. Marshall is a great director. Mm-hmm. Frankie and Johnny. Ugh. That's right. Really, you don't like Frankie and Johnny? Ugh. A pretty pe- Woman. One of Pacino's of, greatest all headbands. All of you young actresses love Pretty Woman. My mom wouldn't let me watch it. Why is that? Because it romanticized prostitution. And what's wrong with that? Nothing for men. Could you chew right into the <laughs> microphone, please? <laughs> Your divine decadence. This is what divine decadence it sounds like. It didn't so like. much romanticize prostitution as it exalted it and exonerated uh, the Johns. That's right. They're just guys that are looking for companionship. Please, Gillian. I would think you'd, you would relate because you ma- you married me just because I was rich. I married you first, and then I got your money. Wait, so how much money Wait, did you end up with, of I Gary's? guess that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it goes. What, you don't think that... Listen, when I found out that he was going over to Denzel Washington's house, I tried to grab as many valuables as I could, put mm-hmm. them in my car, and drive away quickly. Would you make a little, some office equipment? The stapler? <laughs> I got a fax machine. Okay, good. And I got a, one of his hundreds of rotary phones. That's all I could grab. Everything else is nailed down. <laughs> nailed down? Really? You nail everything yeah, down that's other right. than your fax machine and rotary phones? What would you do? <laughs> That's true. Well, I also know things about, uh, you know, thanks to being in the Illuminati, uh, about things that are going to happen to the Earth in the coming years. Okay, and so you want your stuff nailed down in case. I would say nail your stuff down. Tornadoes and stuff. Take it from an Illuminati. (laughs) Oh, you'll you'll wish there were tornadoes happening. Oh, my gosh. You should uh, put out a PSA. Take it from one of the Illuminati. (laughs) Nail your stuff down. Tie your shoes tight, kids. Yeah. Um, Talk to a policeman. You ever do one of those more you know things, Gillian? They don't want me for those, no. What? You're yeah. one of the bright, shining crown jewels of NBC. <laughs> Are they... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are they still doing them? Yeah, the they're more doing you them. Yvette Nicole Brown yeah, from my show has done them. The more you know. They don't want me for those. What's going on? What's wrong with your attitude? Listen... I've First of all, it year. may be that you say listen to people, which is kind of a rude thing to do. <laughs> okay, fine. Maybe if you feel like it, listen to what I'm about to say. If not, go about your day. I'm saying you don't need any kind of... It's a little long. What? It's a little long. Okay. I've had a really rough year. Okay, I... Okay, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. (laughs) Yes, master. Listen to this. I marry a man. I think I'm set for life. Sure. Community may or may not be ending. No, listen to this. You're not listening to this. Listen to this. I'm worried, you know, I'm worried about my future, okay? I don't have as much money as I'd like. Huh. I have very expensive needs, tastes, desires. Divine decadence. I'm into divine decadence. I am divine decadence. I marry a man I think is very wealthy. He's going to be t- able to take care of me. I am, by the way. And he's going to die soon. So That's also to, true. Or is it question mark? And he's going to come back three days later. Yeah. Maybe. Allegedly. Maybe. Allegedly. We'll see. But then if I'll I'm have crucified. superpowers, and that'll be even better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'll have a rich husband with superpowers. Right. Okay, not only do we get divorced, my show gets pulled off the ear. Y- ear. <laughs> my show was going to air on an ear. They were going to project my um, show on Mel Rushmore. Yeah, that's not happening anymore. It's not on ears. They got or sued television. by the uh, Alfred Hitchcock estate. Yeah, <laughs> I get divorced. I have no he owns money. Mount Rushmore just from North by Northwest. Uh, yeah, just he doesn't own Mount he Rushmore, but doing stuff on it. Oh, the film model. Of yes, it. that's right. Okay. Well, my wives divorced me. Why? Oh, I think they said I led two dollar life. I, I got nothing now. My show's coming back, yes. Very happy about that, excited. And all of a sudden, you'll get the paychecks from that. You do, By the way, a lot of people don't know, you don't get paid until your show actually airs. So you've had no money for almost a no year now. Money. Also, I should tell you now, uh, under Bel Air Law, I'll be garnishing your wages. See? <laughs> Who knew? Do you Who have a lien on knew? her car as well? Uh, I let that go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, See, it was yeah. too shitty. You didn't want it. That's true. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, Scott. I'm in a bad place these days. You're in a bad days. place. What? Yeah, I was flying high the last time I saw you. Everything's gone to shit now. Well, here's what I suggest. I think that we should uh, have some sort of a contest to be your next husband. 
here on the show. You That's know? a great idea. People love to get involved. It's interactive. Yeah. Right. I think that we could put up some sort of a, uh, a thread on the Comedy Bing Bong message boards uh, where basically people sort of woo you yeah. and, and give a resume. And Could they now, provide bank statements that, I mean, yes, I don't absolutely. need a- Good idea. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Is there any possibility people would react to this in a creepy way? <laughs> I don't think no, so. I no. don't see how that would happen. Mm-hmm. I, I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, probably not. What is it you like in a man? Other, other than Okay, other than money. What do you... What? I like a man... Wealthitude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love a terminal illness. Okay. I, I die for a terminal illness. Okay. Um... Creeping senility, I also enjoy if okay. if he's not going to die. But they, they have to have fresh. They have to have young friends, though, according to you. Just be open to going to you know clubs. Why with can't me. you go do your clubbing by yourself? Why do you need to drag poor Mr. Marshall? I get really drunk and I don't want to get a DUI, so I need someone to drive me home. Get I'll, a driver. I, I had a young friend. She didn't enjoy him. What's it? oh? Who's this? Thomas what? Gibson. Wait, from Dharma and Greg? From Dharma and Greg and, and Criminal, Criminal Minds. Minds. Criminal Minds, more importantly. He's a fun guy. Young, he keeps me young. <laughs> he is kind of young. What is he? Maybe about 45 at this point? Uh, close to 50, I think. Close yeah. to 50, yeah. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, that's a step nice. in the right direction. He was nice. You seem kind of in, uh, like you softened a bit when you Remember thought about Remember that time yeah, he Thomas asked Gibson. you if you like nice. uh, baseball? He's got two shows in syndication. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. He or, was nice. He's yeah. older than you. Thinner than you. True. He's not sick as far as I know. He, no. He seems could get fit sick. as a fiddle. He could get sick. Could well, get sick. What would you think if, if Gillian here started dating Thomas Gibson? Are you more of a bros before hoes kind of guy? Would that affect your relationship with I don't with know Gibby? what those words mean. Uh, I would say uh, Tommy is a, is a good guy. Uh, his life is his own. Uh, I'm not going to stand in the way of two people who uh, are potentially happy together. Uh, I probably would say, uh, hey, don't let her talk you into murdering anyone. Mm. Who would I need to murder with him? He's not married. I think he's single. Yeah. Yeah. That would be f- that would be a smooth transition. He's got mm. an ex-wife. I don't know if oh, uh, that God. matters to you. Mm. Alimony. Like- Ugh. No, see, that's what I liked about murdering your wife is no divorce no, settlement. Yeah. You didn't have to split up your estate. You don't get half of the half. Yeah. You get half of the of the pot. How, wait, what do you get for like Dharma and Greg like syndication checks at this point? What, what do you think he's getting a month? What are you getting for those, Dharma uh, and Greg? I do uh, because checks. of uh, ABC. Uh, yeah. I made a deal with them. Very smart back in the day when they said, uh, hey, you got to make your show a uh, multi-camera show instead of a single camera show. I said, okay, I just need in return for that a cut of every future sitcom you ever produce. <laughs> right. So uh, – out of Tommy's check, this is how we became friends, by the way. He's, he confronted me. He said, who are you to take my money? I said, I'm one of the Bel Air Illuminati. <laughs> right. So he shut his mouth. Um, I get I get a, a roughly a quarter of every check that he makes. A quarter of every check he makes. Yes. Oh, interesting. 25 cents. So I still think that I got to kill you. I mean, really, for hey, me. Hey, you're welcome to try. <laughs> Why would you kill him? Because You're that divorced. Way, yeah, but if I marry Thomas Gibson, I don't want to be giving a quarter of his checks to my ex-husband. It goals you, doesn't it? Ugh, uh, everything about you goals me. Don't right? marry anybody from the ABC uh, TGIF family. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my favorite shows. Who, who They're everybody's mar- favorite don't, shows. Don't marry let's Urkel. Li- let's list them now. <laughs> Family Ties. Family Ties. No. Wait a minute. That's, no, and that's NBC. NBC. Oh. Thursday night NBC. Oh. In your old time slot. Your new time Family slot. Matters. Family, family Matters. Family Matters. That's what we're saying. We got Family that's Matters. That's right. I get a quarter from everybody. Full Urkel. House. Full House. That's right. That's about. That's all I can think step of. Step by Step. There, sure. Yep. What about uh, do you get do you get stuff from new shows like Don't Trust the B in Apartment Twenty Three? I still don't know what that B stands for. Uh, I think it's Bitch. an actual B. Wait, no, no, no! Please don't curse on this show. Bitch. <laughs> um, oh, I don't like the way you looked at me up from under when you said that word. I'll use it in a sentence. It was chilling. You. Bitch. <laughs> Wait, how about uh, <laughs> that's not really a sentence? You can't say. How about a sentence like Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment Twenty Three? <laughs> no, I like just you. Bitch, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so you get some of that, that though. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. How about happy endings? Get some of that. That's right. 
All right, pretty much any. Hey, by the way, did you ever consent to uh, appearing on that show? I remember Casey Wilson (laughs) asked you. Yeah, if I would be on that show. You'd be interested. Has not happened yet. As of yet, but we will see. It's nice nice that the writers were speculating (laughs) that uh, you might be willing to appear on a television show. And have not got got that call. This guy, do you know this guy named Paul Tompkins? Oh, careful. You score any higher on this thing, the Rylands are going to recruit you to fight against the Kodan Empire. I do. Who's he's that? A, he's a pretty good comedian. Yeah, pretty good. He was on Community. Yeah, one that's episode. right. I yeah. remember that. Uh, in a bar, right? Yeah. Would you like to have gay sex with me? Oh, no, thank you. Wow. Okay, so what is wrong with you that you can sit here this whole time and never pick up on the fact that a man is hitting on you? Oh, I actually did pick up on it after a while. You actually... And? I really, really like talking about Farscape. It's a really good show. Stargate's better. Yeah. yeah. How did he do? Was he asked back? Nah. <laughs> do you, how much control do you have over that? 100%. 100? <laughs> oh, interesting. Um, I, why don't you make your own money? I don't want to. It's Do you have hard. Bad investments. You're a well-paid I'm Hollywood very actress. Very tired. Okay, I just want to sit back. <laughs> listen to this. It's true. She does. Oh, please, just stop telling no me to energy. listen to things. Listen to her. I'll listen. listen to anything you have to say without you commanding me to. Let's. I, I, Gil, I'm Gillian. To Gillian. What? I know we've had our differences, but if you want <clears throat> him to listen to you. I will prompt him to listen to you. All I right. think he'll respect it more. Okay, yeah, from I probably me. will. So, hear me, hear me. I'm tired. <laughs> Scott, listen to this. Oh yes, yes, sir, Mr. Marshall. What the? You guys are sexist. That's what this is about. You won't listen to me because I'm a woman. That's why I have to say, listen look, to look, this. I grew up at a different time, so that's my excuse. This guy is just a jerk. <laughs> he should know better. Rosa Parks and so forth. What? Um, uh, Mr. Marshall, I did want to ask about Barbara. Please she was in. Oh, thing, uh, Gary. W- what happened with Barbara? Is she still in stasis, or is she's she- still in stasis? Laying. Why haven't across- you unfrozen her now that we're divorced? Uh, it's nice to have the quiet around the house sometimes. I got the house to myself. Mm-hmm. I can watch all my sporting events. At what point do you think you'll wake her up? I think what I miss her. I think uh, I think probably <laughs> when you miss her. Well, when I really miss her. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? When I feel like, all right, enough of the boys' night out. It's time to have boys' my- night out. Good old Barbara back with me. Boys night out. More like you know, boys night out. You guys are right? Denzel Washington and Euchre. Euchre? Bob Euchre, that's right. <laughs> Sweet Denzel and Bob Euchre. <laughs> the Bob Euchre is very rich. He was grandfathered in during those uh, Taste Great Less Filling That's right. And then, was- of course, Mr. Belvedere. I earn a quarter of every check that he gets for that. Yep. Of course. Oh, boy. Well, you guys, I, I wish that you weren't going to go to sleep angry tonight with each other, but it, I, I don't He's know. not mad. Look at him. He's happy as a pig in shit. I'm the one who's this on the street. This is how I am. That's right. On the street. <laughs> I've got, I'm going around pawn shop to pawn shop with a rotary phone and a fax machine. That's what I've got. What is your situation? Where do you live? Where, in where? my car. That's right. Oh. She's the only <laughs> working sitcom actress living in a car. Wow. What did you spend your money on? Listen, my wedding dress was very expensive, and he wouldn't pay for it, and I really felt like I had to look great on that day. I thought it was every girl's dream to buy her own expensive wedding dress. That's true. What was it like? It had diamonds. It had a lot of glow sticks sewn into it. Very expensive. A couple Swarovski crystals. Some shot glasses that I stapled to the back. Mm. I was like a shot dinosaur, you know? Yeah, a shot dinosaur. Yeah, we all know what that is. You don't have to explain it. Come on. Stop right there. A shotosaur. Uh, <laughs> it was a fun party. I mean, people were just, you know, yeah, it was all right. drinking shots off the back of my dress. Went on too long, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long 20, did it go? 20 uh, minutes. We're up there until 9 p.m. <laughs> well, like, I got to be up in three hours to start my day. <laughs> I feel bad. He wakes up at midnight. Wake oh. up at midnight. Greet the day. Ask him what he does from midnight to 5 a.m. Ask me. Okay. What's Listen going- to this. Mr. Marshall, what's, what's going on from midnight uh, to 5? I continue to write scripts for Laverne and Shirley. Why? I'm interested in seeing these these characters are still alive. They're for still me. living with you, yeah. yeah. And yet you don't talk to Penny, which is the real life Laverne, you can find out for yourself. You know, Scott, I guess in a way, I write these scripts as a way of talking to Penny. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey, can I uh, please kill him? 
Please. Sorry. We're, we're it's getting nauseating. to the good stuff here. We're getting to the good this stuff. This one always making that noise and saying, gag me with a spoon. Uh, <coughs> it's like you married Moon Zappa or something. Who? Okay, so. Valley Girl, you have you Have you ever thought that maybe your problems with women are a result of the relationship with your sister, Pam? Ding, 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 ding. You know what? I haven't, but it sounds, uh, sounds like you're right. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. So maybe that's the first step in order to... Uh, I'll call Penny tonight. How much money does Penny have, just to go back to... Oh, she's filthy rich. All right. Yeah, that league of her own. Their own, <laughs> her own? League, league of, of his there, own money. There. There was more than one woman. It was their league. <laughs> yeah, you, You're exasperated with everyone. I don't know how anyone can stand you. How would you feel if you were living out of your car and your only worldly possessions were a fax mas- machine and a rotary phone? It wouldn't come to that with me because I'm nice oh, to people. Oh, so lucky. Scott, I live in a pile what? of money. You don't. First of all, congratulations on living in that pile of money. Thank you so Everybody's much. Everybody's talking about it behind <laughs> the you. gates. Yeah, I know. Well, I hope to make it there. Secondly, you never know what's going to happen. It's yeah, easy exactly. to say, oh, that wouldn't be me living in a car with a fax machine, a rotary phone. Never say you that you're going to You bet it all on a diamond mine. Next thing you know. Hmm. Wow. All right. Well, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry I'm just, that you, you know. I had hoped that this might be the the first comedy bing bong marriage. You we know, all people who that. met on the show. Yeah. That's right. There's a there's UCB babies. People what? who who meet at UCB and do improv together. They have oh, babies I thought together. UCB babies were uh, it was like a condition where babies are born addicted to pot. <laughs> It's also a cartoon in the works with a tiny Matt Besser and uh, a tiny Amy Poehler, and you just see uh, the mother's shoes and legs. But um, uh, yeah, I had hoped that the maybe- mother is played by Viola Spolin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deep cut. Yep, I had hoped that you guys would be the first, uh, you know, comedy bing bong marriage that lasted. You know, I mean, The Bachelor has uh, Trista and Ryan. It's true. They're still together. Gillian's crying. Right She's now. literally weeping. What's wrong? What's going on, Gillian? What's the matter, honey? I can't do it. What's, What's the happening? matter, honey? I can't do it. What's going on? My car. What's happening here? Carrie, I made a huge mistake. Would you have me back? Listen, the best I can do, because my wife is coming back any <laughs> week now. The best I can do. The best I can do is you can stay in the guest house. Really? Yeah. Have me in the guest house? Now, the guest house, you should know, it's a modified car. Okay. It's up on blocks. Okay. And it's behind the Hollywood YMCA. Oh, that's so better than what I got now. It's got a toilet in it. Oh. What is it? A, hol- right. a hollowed out car it's with a, a, a toilet, toilet, in the, toilet in the rumble seat? In the rumble seat. That's right. <laughs> Oh my yeah, it's an old packer. That's where uh, the real rumbles are coming. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gary didn't like that one. <laughs> my grandkids sure like this. Yeah, they love it. I, Your grandkids love me. They do. You, not so much. You know, they talk about you. Like, ah, you're a good kid. Come uh, on. Thanks, I, look, I got, thanks I was, so much, Mr. Mark. I was a young, please call me Gary. I Will was do. a young guy once, and uh, yeah. it was fun to, to, you know, say things you weren't supposed to say. Back in, when you were with the outsiders, with the- uh, That's right. We used to go around stabbing each other. Yeah, you know, yeah. the the Essie Hinton uh, Rumblefish years. <laughs> yeah. You know? Boy, I see him, the woman author. Yeah, the woman author. We know that's a woman author, yeah, of course. Of course it is. Yeah. I don't even know why I said that. Of course why she's wouldn't a woman. we know she's a woman author? Because you two pricks don't there. think that women can write books. Sorry. Sorry. Have you ever written a book? Yeah. What's your book? How to Get By. <laughs> With four wives? <laughs> <laughs> well, look for that on audible.com. Who narrates that one for the audible uh, Gil audio Bellows. Mm. <laughs> Gil Bellows. Uh, all right, we have to take another break. When we come back, we'll be right back uh, with more Gillian uh, Jacobs, uh, a.k.a. Gil, Gil Bellows. Gonna, Gil Bellows. <laughs> I almost said Gil Gillian Bellows. Gillian Bellows. Gillian Bellows and more uh, Gary Bellows. We'll be right back after this. Bellows! <laughs> Comedy Bing Bong. We're back here with Gillian Bellows and uh, Gary Marshall and... Uh, Gary Marshall Bellows, please. <laughs> Gary Marshall Bellows, of course. Uh, you're going to be... Uh, when are you moving into that guest house <laughs> slash hollowed out I car mean, toilet? I mean, what do you think, listeners? Should should I move into a car in my on opinion, cinder blocks parked near the Hollywood YMCA? And for those of you that don't live in the Los Angeles area, it smells like vomit by mm-hmm. that YMCA 
all of the time. In my opinion, you're opening yourself up to just a world of pain, just being around these guys. You know, you're going to be looking at Gary saying, what could have been? Bean, yeah. And uh, you're going to see Barbara Marshall Bellows, and Ugh. she's going to be there That's right. just taunting Eventually you. Eventually she'll be back. You bitch. You know, and well, I, she'll never know what happened. <laughs> I think you should move on to someone new. And there's plenty of Hollywood contenders out there. Well, we know? did say earlier that we were going to have some sort of contest in the comments contest. section. What is, what is the- Tim Conway's wife is not doing so well. <laughs> What's the cutoff for you? How famous does someone have to be in order to date you? Like how many, if you put their name into Google, how many unique searches have to come up? Four. Four? Anyone has four these days. You could be very rich and have four Google results. It's more, but to be Maybe fair, it's more grid. about the money than about yeah. the fame. Okay, so it's, yeah. it doesn't have to be fame. So just you have to have a certain level of wealth. What is your annual income that you will accept? Because we don't want just any random jerk on the internet here who thinks, hey, I got a shot I with can Gillian buy Gillian Jacobs. for yeah. 40 bucks. No. No, 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 no. How, what can they buy you for? To purchase me... I'd say you have to have an annual income after taxes. Don't try and okay. get by with you know your pre and, and after commissions as well. Yes. Okay. Good. Your Ooh, agent, good catch. your manager, you. your lawyer, your me, your publicist. <laughs> yeah, the quarter that goes to Gary. Business manager, branding expert. Sure, uh, all these personal things that we all assistant. have. Yeah. Yeah, all that. I'd say <clears throat> two billion dollars. Two billion dollars. So if you have two billion dollars a year, a year, and are spending your free time listening to podcasts, um, and everybody's you know when they're when you're working out, when sure. you're walking down the street, everyone works out. Everybody. Road trips. You got to listen to podcasts. Worships? Is that what you said? Worships. What? Well, here in church, worship. yeah, in a house of worship. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Wood chips? Wood chips. Where working are you going? Out, to what did I say? Chips? Walking down the street. Working. Road trips. Road, road trips. trips. Road Got trips. it. Road trips. But right. if you are a gigantic uh, sentient guinea pig and you're, you're rolling around in some wood chips, why not listen to a podcast? Yeah, why not? The one on. commercial that I auditioned for and really wanted to get was a Dasani water commercial where I would have played a, a guinea pig. Wow. You really wanted it. I really wanted it. Spike like Jones it. directed, or no, what Wes Anderson directed all these commercials where people were dressed up as animals. I really wanted to play. Oh my and were these animals <laughs> wearing corduroy? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, Only well, foxes wear corduroy. If you have $2 billion a year, please uh, go head on over to the Comedy Bing Bong message boards yes. and just type up a resume. And Gillian, you're going to be, uh, how often do you promise you'll check the message boards? For? Every two to three minutes. Two to three minutes. Okay. So uh, try to get in there as soon as possible because you may be shit out of luck. Uh, Things that's are going to be, that's quite a turnaround. So yeah. you better squeak your wheel and get to the yeah. grease. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's time to play one of our favorite features on the show. It's time to play a little something called Would You Rather? Must you pound your pen into the table while the Would You Rather theme? All right. Okay. Bro. Time to play. Bro. <laughs> Wait, who's What's said, that? Who What's said that, that at the end? Who said that, Is bro? Is a remix? I believe it's a remix. It's time to play Would You Rather. We all know how this is played. People send me Would You Rather scenarios to our Twitter, which is at CBBWYR. Comedy Bang Bang Would You Rather. Comedy Bing Bong Would You Rather also works for that. That was a close one. Whew. And uh, don't send them to me personally. And uh, But they can I, send them to you personally. Sure. And then I'll yeah. read them out loud, and uh, I will open the floor for questions, and you are free to ask me any question you like in order to narrow down your selection. I will then close the floor for questions. Uh, you will vote. I will tally up the points, and that is how it goes. You have a question before the questions? I, I don't have a question, but a statement. Yes. The last time I was here, yes. I revolutionized this game. That's right, because we didn't even read the questions out loud. That's right. Yeah. It was very frustrating for the listener. Yeah. We all looked at it on Scott's phone, and then we debated these two topics and no one knew for 10 minutes. what we were talking about. Nope. And people were not happy about it. Well, then let's do that. <laughs> Why are you so contrary? I'm still poor. Until I'm rich again, I'm going to be very you angry. Get, you, have, you have to get uh, your mind. No one's going to want to marry you. <laughs> I mean, yes, you're a Hollywood actress and you're, you're divine decadence and, you know, you're, you're, you're obviously keeping your diet up, which is good. But Yeah, I need another obviously. one of Obviously. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you need to be happy. That's what people want is they want to be happy with someone. Do they really? I don't know. Probably not. All right. This comes to us from Jeff Israel. Hmm. 
<laughs> Wait, do you have a problem with the Jews now? No. Just trying to find another one of those Think Thin bars. I uh, found it. All right. Did you find it by Thinking Thin? <laughs> No, I just thought divine, because that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. I was actually thinking of the drag queen divine, but it works. Oh, right. she's never far from my thoughts. <laughs> Gillian, can you try to wolf that down and chew it completely by the time I'm finished with this question? Sweetheart, okay? can I try Jeez. a bite of that? I've never tried them. Sure. Please don't. Oh, play. oh, God. It's like young people food. Gillian! What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> no, I think you should apologize. I think you should say, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. It's time. Yay. Gilly. Oh, thanks. I am going to have a little bit of this. All right. Everyone take a break for a second. We're all going to chew into this. Hmm. It's not bad. Chocolatey. Some mm. coconut in there. I am tasting a coconut flavor. Something fibrous. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It's like army food. Why do you have to take off your glasses to... Because every time you guys take pictures of me for this podcast, I look terrible on your website, so I decided that I'm going to wear my sunglasses. I like this. And you have you chocolate just... all over your teeth. Please take a picture while she's smiling. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Those sunglasses make all the difference in the world. <laughs> you dressed up today, by the way. Yeah. You look great. You're wearing a uh, Royal Tenenbaums outfit, mm -hmm. you said? Cosplay? I'm doing Royal Tenenbaums cosplay. Izod sweater dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shirt dress. It's whatever. what the men like. I don't know. It's Some... fantastic. Is it because we take pictures? <laughs> a little bit, yes. It's got it's a little something for the fellas on the website. You know, it's frightening looking at those pictures of myself on the comedy Bang Bang Earwolf website. Yeah, I don't look great either. But, I, you know, I, I, I stopped trying. I know I don't. <laughs> All right, so this comes to us from Jeff Israel. I know, Jeff, you've been breathless in anticipation since we <laughs> mentioned your name. But uh, he's at Jeff Israel 25 A lot of Jeff Israels out there on Twitter. <laughs> he asks, would you rather eat every meal on the basketball hoop at Madison Square Garden? What? Or give every person you see directions on how to get where they are going? All right. Would you rather eat every meal on the basketball hoop at Madison Square Garden? I don't understand that. We'll get to it. Or give every person... But right person... now I don't understand it. Okay, but I haven't opened the floor. I mean, you are. it is just a declaration, so you're within the rules of would you mm -hmm. rather at this point. Uh, or give every person you see directions on how to get where they are going. I'm opening the floor for questions. I, like I have cake. a question. What did you say? I, I like cake? Yeah. It's questions time. It's snuck, not declarations time. Not another time. declaration under the wire. I have a question. <laughs> yes, of course, Gary. Uh, these people. Thank you uh, for letting me call you, Gary. Of course, these people uh, to whom I'm giving the directions. Mm -hmm. Do they uh, always need the directions? No. And in fact, you every single person you see, you stop them. You grab them, you shout in their face, tell me where you're going! Oh, so I don't automatically know. No, you have how no idea. How is that idea. different, though, from how he walks down the street? Oh, my God. That's true. It's not Another that. Thing. It's true. I walk Can't down go the street anywhere. and I yell, and I'm constantly grabbing people Assaulting by the Assaulting strangers. Mm -hmm. He thinks everybody wants to talk to him. Let me tell you this. 90% of the people you meet don't know who the hell you are. Ah, but that 10%. Mm -hmm. They're thrilled Sweet. to get uh, Gary Marshall yelling in their face. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And plus, you probably tell the other 90% who you are. Of course I do. And then they're thrilled. I, listen, I start, Your words. I start every interaction with a stranger by grabbing their lapels and screaming in their face, I'm Gary Marshall! Good. Okay. The, you would still start with that. And okay, then you would good. say, where are you going? Right. And then they would tell hey, you. What, did I just walk in here? <laughs> <laughs> they would tell you, and then you would say, all right, here's what you're going to have to do. Okay. <laughs> And then you would do a, a, a breakdown of exactly turn-by-turn -turn directions of where they're going. Okay. Even if they don't need it, they would just kind of, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So the people, uh, are they patient with this? Uh, everyone is patient because, first of all, it hits the trades that you have come down with this affliction. So the famous Gary Marshall must now give every single person he sees directions. So people are pretty patient with it. Oh, so are we playing spin the glasses, by the way? Of course it's I am. pointed at you. Uh, Who are you going to kiss? Mwah. Oh, yourself again. So uh, uh, in this reality, I'm still me, Gary Marshall. Oh, of course. No, you and don't I get still, to trade but, bodies. But I still have the same career. It's uh, it's not like history has been altered by this. No, 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 no. no. It's not like we've 
gone back and you've killed Hitler or anything like that. When do I develop this uh, this uh, compulsion or whatever it is? You have it from the moment that uh, you pick either scenario. So if you pick the scenario, it would be the moment in your life that you're currently in. in I which see. You, in All which right. you currently are. So okay. from this point on. Yes, from this point on forward. From this day forward, I would have to do that. Yes. Okay. Uh, do I still live uh, where I live? In Bel Air? Yeah. Next to Denzel and yeah. uh, Bob Euchre and Riser? <laughs> That's right. Yes. Okay. Also, yes. does it happen wherever I go? If I go to Denmark, does it happen there? If I go to Italy, if I go to Mongolia? You uh, basically download the GPS into your... Uh, oh, so he's giving real directions. He's he- giving real directions. No, he's not giving fake directions. Well, I don't he's know. He's not a trickster who's... That's a good question. He's an Illuminati. What are they but tricksters, liars, Uh, Satanists? You got me dead the right there. (laughs) You're giving real directions. Uh, The minute you go to any different town, any different country, all of a sudden you get downloadable directions in your head. Uh, What about from room to room in a building? Yes, of course. You know the floor plan of every building anywhere you go. So I might grab someone and say, where are you going? He goes, the fifth floor. We're on the third floor. I give him directions to the elevator or the stairs. To the elevator and then which halls to go down. Uh, in order to reach his ultimate death, his or her ultimate death. What de- is you know, it's, so, that's it's it. not just, don't be it's not just men that's who are right. walking around office buildings. Ladies go to different rooms and office buildings too. Oh, really? They're Do not, they? They're not getting paid as much. <laughs> what about what about if someone's moving within a room? Mm. So they're crossing from one side to the you other. You know exactly how many steps that they have to take in order to get to where they're going. So somebody even looks like they're, they're moving someplace. I grab them. I say, where are you going? They say, over by the window. Mm-hmm. I give them directions how to get over there. Take five steps northeast. And they're delighted by this. They're yeah. fine with oh, this. They, yeah, most people love it. Because who doesn't want directions? In this scenario. Yes. Uh, the giving direction scenario? Yeah. Not a lot about this one. Not a lot about well, the basketball. I'm, I'm, hoop. I'm curious about. It. I'm getting into the basketball. Hoop. Sure. In this scenario, where do people eat meals? <laughs> In the direction scenario, yeah, uh, they eat meals at Center Court, Madison Square Garden. All right. I'm glad I asked. Yeah. All right. Every now, single meal. If someone reaches for a fork, mm-hmm. is that technically? Uh, enough movement for me to ask them where they're going and then give them directions to the fork. No, they have to be in movement with their feet, or if they don't have feet, then they have to be... Basically, their heart has to be moving towards... Because the heart is the center of... of it is that is a spleen. A spot. You are not romantic at all, are you? This is another problem with why your relationship... She thinks we're the spleen, this one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Elizabethan hey. about things. <laughs> Um, no, a person has to be in progress. So a person can't just be sitting there and you go, where are you going? A person has to be in movement. Uh, how will people know when I have uh, entered dementia? <laughs> Meaning once once you enter dementia. This sounds like crazy behavior. How is anybody going to be able to tell? It? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the people who know you best, like your Barbara's. Ah, Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're Gillian's. Maybe she would know. You got to know me. <laughs> I feel like you know me pretty well. <laughs> do you Do you find that to be true, Gil? Yeah. Gilly? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> any questions about the hoop scenario? Yeah. Is it, Gilly, uh, you've been, you haven't asked a single question. I'm you've just declared two things. I'm letting my once and future husband talk. Oh, get a load of this one. Mm. Pretty saucy. Mm. I like it. You know what? You keep me, you keep me young. <laughs> wow, you and Tommy Gibby. <laughs> hey, Gil Bellows. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm eating every meal uh, on the basketball hoop at Madison Square Garden. Yes. Uh, is it uh, uh, including during active play? Oh, yes. Uh, if you decide to eat, then all of a sudden they... Uh, they make room for you. Oh, so people aren't upset about this. No, I mean, it's a fun little trivia thing that is added to the sports history books. Which which hoop is it, by the way? Uh, is it the home team or the away doesn't team? Doesn't it switch each it, period? Each, it, well, not each period, but or each, each half. half time. Yeah. 
<laughs> each I don't know each half time they switch it. Each of the one half. Come half-times. on, honey, honey. I don't know. I basketball. took you to that Lakers game. I know. My you and Jack fa- Nicholson. Come on. I don't know. You it's nice to sit with old people, but uh, my favorite sport is still rugby. <laughs> it's the one closest to the Empire State Building. Uh, okay, and uh, what about during a concert? During a concert, like a fish concert, for instance? Well, take that, for instance. They will, if you're ready to eat, they will stop the concert, and Trey will say, What's going on, man? And uh, they will erect the hoop. Uh, they'll clear everyone aside. They now, will... is it, okay, because it is, a, is it a problem? All these people at the fish concert, they're on mm-hmm. drugs, and they see my food, and they're like, Oh, I got those munchies. I want to eat that yeah, food. Yeah, but you're perched up on a top of a... It's a bit well, sure, but they but they might start up. shaking. Yes, it down. it's like yeah. look if a bunch of uh, brain eating zombies uh, try to get at you. Eventually, yeah. they're going to form their own pile that other zombies could climb up yeah. on top of. This and is get a, at you. This why is, are you defaming fish fans like this? I don't I'm understand. saying they're like brain eating zombies. <laughs> <laughs> but this is why you're constantly checking the Madison Square Garden schedule if you want a midnight snack and you see, uh oh, fish concert going on. I better not risk it because uh, those those concert goers got the munchies, man. So how many meals am I skipping uh, to avoid these zombie-like fish fans? I mean, it's up to you. You can skip as many as you like. I, but uh, Seems y- to me you would have to move out of Bel Air. No, no, no. You're instantly transported oh, the minute you come get, on. the minute you want to. Uh, oh, how convenient! In both scenarios, is it? Oh, what? because you're you're at the half you're at the half oh, court. half court. That's right. Yeah. So is it a uh, instantaneous teleportation? I don't believe in this. It's a. Uh, it's it's instantaneous. You mean, and, hold on a second. Let's explore. Uh, yeah, okay, Gilly. What beliefs. don't you believe in here? Teleportation. I don't believe in magic. <laughs> What about hypothetical situations? <laughs> you don't believe in your heart leading I believe the in body. My you don't believe in magic. No. What what did what, what happened to you? Truth, life, facts. Walking down the street, finding a cigarette on the ground, picking it up, putting it in your mouth, lighting it, getting a bad infection, dying. That's what I believe in. <laughs> What a horrible worldview you have. What are the creative discussions like with the uh, the writers of the show that you're on? Because do you do you read a script and you say, hey, this is fake. None yeah. of this happened. <laughs> why, why do I want to bother with this? Yeah, none of this is real. My name's not Britta. There's no Greendale. Yeah. No. Yeah. Every week it's like Every this. week. So what? How did they finally convince you to uh, to act in to the show? To get a nice little cattle prod over there. <laughs> <laughs> so when people are watching the show this Thursday, they should just imagine you having just been cattle prod. So was my yeah. was your life with me so bad? When that's your working life, no, I never prodded you with a cattle prod. It really wasn't that just bad. a regular people prod. No, it was really nice, <laughs> honey. Do you want to come back? Yes. All right, let's get back to this. Would you rather, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap this up. Why don't we make a wager on this? If she wins, she gets to come back. If you win, what do you want? I want to take her back. Okay, great. Here we go. All right, let's find it. This is exciting then, (laughs) because the stakes are high. Um, (laughs) Any other questions here? Uh, Either of the scenarios. What's my favorite dinner in Madison Square Garden? Uh, On which scenario? Either. Uh. You have pineapple pizza on the uh, just eating California the, style yep, and Hawaiian style, honey. By way of California, in the directions, it's uh, spam and Hawaiian. Eggs. All right, Hawaiian style. All right. Any other questions? No. Nope. Oh, any poi in there? Uh, you get a Good little catch, sweetheart. Get a little poi. Get a little poke. Okay. Sure. Why what not? about shave ice? Mm. Sure, a little shaved ice. Shave ice. Shave. Sorry, sorry. Shave ice. Shave ice. All right. Any other questions? Otherwise, I'm closing this down. How much money do you have currently? Oh, I am bound by would you rather laws. <laughs> to answer truthfully. To answer truthfully. You've caught me out. How much money do you have, Mr. Marshall? This is embarrassing, and I hope it doesn't sound boastful. I have $300 billion. What? Yes. Wow. Between An- my is own- that your annual income? or That's to- my daily income. Daily. I thought you meant how much do I have on me? Oh my God! You got it. You got to get in there. I know. I'm wearing my gold so my gold ingot belt <laughs> under my shirt. Oh my goodness! All right. Well, in your ermine socks. Now that you've answered truthfully, let's close the floor for questions. Uh, no more questions may be asked of any of us, nor are we bound to answer them truthfully. Chung chung. All right. <laughs> so now uh, Was we're gonna that the Law and Order noise. Yeah. We're gonna vote, Gilly. How do you like to vote here? I vote Gary Marshall. 
You vote just Gary Marshall, whatever will make you win this so you can get back at his heart. Yep. All right, great. Gary, how do you like to vote? I vote Gillian Jacobs Bellows Marshall. <laughs> you know what? You're both the winners. Oh! Of course we are! And Comedy Bing Bong is the winner because we're finally going to get this Comedy Bing Bong marriage going. <sighs> That's right. I have. A, I think this is the time it's going to work. It's time oh. to have a baby, honey. All right. And uh, that's how we play Would You Rather. Oh, new Would You Rather theme. Bro. <laughs> hey, hey, another remix. Another remix. See how happy I am now? I told you as soon as I got money again, I, know, I was you're, so cheerful. Oh my gosh, it's you're true. sparkling. Honey, here, hold on a second. Uh, Here's a $1,000. Oh my God. Uh, that's for you. <laughs> what about for me? <laughs> eh. All right. All right, there's only one last thing to do on the show, and that is plugs. Beautiful. That is the Battle of Plugs Mountain by Nick Crafting. Nick, thank you so much for that plugs theme. If you have a plugs theme uh, that is similar or even dissimilar, we'll take dissimilar ones. They don't have to be. What exact. if I have one? Yeah. Can I? I could send in a plugs theme. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to record one right now? Let's, uh, let's yeah. Put on the uh, freestyle rap uh, battle. Here we go. And. All right. Mr. Marshall. Plugs theme, 2013. Well, my name's Gary Marshall, and I'm here to say it's fun to rap in a promotional way. Got some stuff that you like to plug? Uh, say it out loud, not under the rug, where you sweep things that you are ashamed of. Maybe you've murdered someone in your past. Don't do that. It's nice to let people stay alive. Plugs. Go fuck yourself. Whoa, for the grandkids. That's right, for my grandkids. Bro. That was wonderful. They love cursing. Bro. Bro. Uh, all right, so we'll use that on the, uh, maybe we'll use that on the next episode. Uh, I dare you to. Okay. All right, guys, what do we have to plug, uh, Gilly? Um, I'm going to be burning hundreds in Bel Air. Mm. Today and every day. So nice. All right. Yeah. Um, and community, obviously, yeah, yeah, this yeah, Thursday. Yeah, yeah. What time? Eight. Eight? Really? Leading the uh, entire night? Yep. Sorry, so, sweetheart. A.M. or P.M.? Oh, honey. <laughs> I need to know if I'll be awakened. Right before bed. <laughs> P.M. So oh, a late night program. My mom actually used to have to call my grandpa and wake him up to watch the show at 8 p.m. Because oh, he cute. was already asleep. Um, and what? Why? Why no longer? He died. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> was this the guy with the brittle bones? Yeah. Oh. Uh, so you suggest people should finish Wheel of Fortune, then switch on over to uh, NBC. Yeah. And watch. Isn't com- it the same network? Community. Isn't Wheel of Fortune on NBC? It's syndicated. No, sorry. It possibly is in some. Honey, markets. you're the syndication god. I haven't gotten there yet. You and Thomas Gibson. You hey, talk- <laughs> one day. That's right. <laughs> Gibson and I, Gibby. the syndication club. Gibby. I can't wait to join. Sorry. Um, Gary, what do you have to plug? Uh, I'm just, uh, if you're a monster, give yourself up. Yeah, we didn't talk about that a lot this No, that's episode. all right. It's, it's, a, it's a constant interest of mine. And uh, I tell you what, you would make it easy on an old man if you're a monster. Surrender yourself to so me. So you're, you're not in it for the thrill of the hunt. You would rather just capture these guys. You want them to give up. I'll be honest with you. I, I've been doing this for a while now. I have yet to catch a monster. What? Yeah. You've never mentioned that. I've gone to all the places. You've said they're, they're all scared of you. They all know your name. You're like the Van Helsing of monster hunting. Yeah, I I'm guess assuming, he was the Van Helsing I'm of assu- monster hunting. Yeah. <laughs> You're like the Sherlock Holmes of detectives. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, like I'm the assuming. the Robin Hood of archery. I'm, assu- I'm assuming they're all scared of me, mm-hmm. uh, and my name strikes fear at their hearts because I've yet to catch one. Or, or honey, magic one. doesn't exist and there are no monsters. Oh, gosh, Gilly. This one again. <laughs> boy, oh, but boy. No, 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 no. Let's say, yeah, come on, Mr. Barshall. She's a, a one. She's a wonder. She's a, a delight. Please call me Gary. <laughs> Um, so just if you're a monster, give so yourself yeah, If up. you're a monster, please voluntarily surrender yourself uh, to my gated uh, home in <laughs> Bel Air 
and I promise you I will treat you very well as I put you on display for all the world to see. <laughs> all right, fantastic. Good, good, good program, guys. Good program. Oh, you were happy now. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. She, had, sorry. she had to pretend to be happy there for a second because I was looking at her like, come on. But she hasn't, she's, uh, give, give her a break. She hasn't touched money in 30 seconds. <laughs> she's only, what happened to that $1,000 that you had? It's Burn already it? gone. She burnt it. You burned it. Oh. Yeah, she loves, she loves burning money. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm all cold right. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks so much. Uh, thanks so much for dropping by. And uh, I hope the next time you guys are on the program, you'll have uh, kids mm. that your grandkids can be related mm. to. I bet and- we will. Oh, I get so much more money if we have kids. Yeah, please bring the kids next time you're here. I, I would, would love, love to, to give you. my uh, my <laughs> gra- my middle aged grandchildren uh, an infant <laughs> aunt or uncle. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you then. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs> If driving a convertible is so cool, then why do kids always throw eggs at me? Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. There we go. Yep. If driving a convertible uh-huh. is so cool, then why do kids always throw eggs at me? Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Thank you so much for, and to, more importantly too, but thanks to Colt Barton for that catchphrase submission. If you have a catchphrase submission, then send it to you know where and do you know what. And guys, what a show. I'm Scott Aukerman. I want to introduce myself and a look of consternation is upon our guest's face. We'll sort that mm. out. But uh, I want to introduce myself. I am Scott Aukerman and we are back. We are back. I've been putting out podcasts, but we are back. This one actually is being live video streamed on YouTube currently what? as we do it. Why? Do you know what you... <laughs> who who asked for this? <laughs> do you know what a YouTube is? It's uh, people... Uh, it's like America's Funniest Videos or whatever. It's uh, people uh, falling down and then a bunch of people discuss uh, different races in the comments. I wonder if America's... Funniest Home Videos is not upset that they didn't invent YouTube. Sure, it's, they should be furious. You know, it seems like it's a natural fit. This is the, they, they created the template for entertainment of this sort. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Knights template. <laughs> is this really the show? <laughs> is, is, there, is there some <laughs> no, value to be gained by seeing you say that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. All right, guys, let me explain what's happening. People are dropping their computers in the tub. (laughs) Um, This is Comedy Bang Bang. I have been out on uh, assignment. I've been uh, filming the cops. Okay. You got your <laughs> safari jacket on, and now you're Dan Rather all of a sudden. Those of you who are just listening to it, you're missing out on the safari jacket. I have to say that. But uh, no, I have been, I've been away. I've been doing the uh, Comedy Bang Bang TV show. I've been recording these in my spare time and putting them out. But now we're, we're, we finally are done. Tuesday, we wrapped. Uh, all 20 episodes are, are, as they say, in the can. Yeah, that's the lingo. Yeah, you've said that many times in your many career. Many times and I know I've I, said it. I'll introduce you in just a second, but I just want to set the scene a little bit All here. All right. But Comedy Bang Bang You're is- the host. Sure. It's a show. Go ahead. You're either listening or watching to it. Uh, I'm the host comedy- No, I'm the host Scott Ackerman. <laughs> but think a lot of yourself. <laughs> I'm the host comedy- <laughs> One name, comedy. It's been a while since I've said these words, and so I'm getting back into this. So here we sure. go. Sure. Yeah, hopefully muscle memory will take sure. over. Sure. Mouth muscle memory. Yeah, there's um, muscles in your mouth. Yeah, the most muscles. Is that so? Yeah, you have the most muscles anywhere on your body in your mouth. What about, uh, I guess that sounds good. Wait, what were you going to I was going to say the foot, but I was thinking of bones. The foot? Hey, look, you need a lot of muscles down there. You weirdo. Just to stay uh, upright. So Just you don't to fall stay upright. Over. You, you need one muscle in your you foot. You got to grip the earth. No, 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 no. Check out your anatomy books. You have one muscle in your foot. You have a lot of bones. Uh, You're right. but I'm, you have... I'm too old for homework. <laughs> so let me explain. I'm looking right at the camera even as we do this. But, yeah, explain uh, why this should be happening. Okay, so it's a, it's a podcast. Uh, I have guests on. We have very a very special guest here today. Sure. I don't know quite what else is happening, but let me introduce you. Here you are go. 
an icon. Is that safe to say? Uh, it's not for me to say, but it is for me to listen to you say it. You are an icon, Mr. Thank Markle. you. And Please call me Gary. Oh, I wanted to hear that. I will call you Gary when I introduce you. For now, you may call me Mr. Marshall. All right, Mr. Marshall is an icon. He is the creator of such shows as Laverne and Shirley. That's right. Joni and Chachi. Joni loves Chachi. Other two-person-in-the-title shows, Mork Mindy. Mork and Mindy. Happy and Days. Happy Days. There was not, what, like Rizzoli and Isles? Was there a thing, by the way, for you where you like, you know what? We need four syllables in the title. Joni loves Chachi. Well, okay, I guess that's five, but like Mork and Min D. Okay, that's four. Was there a thing it had to be three words? Happy day. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but you you were the king of like two. Has it been a while since you thought things too? It's tricky. Well, you stay away from it for a while. But you know what I'm saying. You had happy and days. Those are two words, and they're both in the title. You have Mork and Mindy, Joni and Chachi, Laverne Shirley. You yeah, see what I'm it saying? was it was a thing for me to have words in the title, <laughs> but not so many. That was words. my signature thing. But you know, you're not a show that's like you know you have uh, a sentence in the title. You know, you're not. What show has a sentence in the title? Well, you're not Fiona Appling this up. You know, where that's you have like a, a ninety-word poem. That's a record, and she's you know she's a crazy artist whatever mm -hmm. i'm look here's what i do i make entertainment for regular people everybody can enjoy it sure and we'll get to who you except are critics second. apparently <laughs> you, really the critics were unkind to you uh, you know they uh, they don't appreciate things that other people enjoy I think that in retrospect, they certainly would say that you were uh, a massive influence upon the television landscape they have to say it or else they would be lying. Every critic must say it. Yes. Okay. We'll or get, else they would be lying. We'll get to who you are. And also but, there uh, will be repercussions if they do not. What? Hmm? I haven't heard about these. What? Okay. We'll move on. But uh, not only did you work in the television medium, but then you went on to have great success in the film medium. Conquer TV on to movies. <laughs> Young doctors in love. <laughs> that was your first. Right out of the gate. A modest hit. Made sure. its money back and then some. And you were trying to capitalize on that uh, airplane That's right. Type. I saw those guys doing it, and I was like, ah, it's easy. You make a bunch of horrific jokes every 15 minutes. Maybe there's a genuine laugh. You call it a movie. <laughs> right? And that, and you've sort of taken that uh, thought process and, and stretched it out over your entire career uh, from Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. This, this Pretty Woman... Is a legendary film now. Is uh, Julia Roberts' big break? This uh, made I mean, her America's made, sweetheart. She had made movies before that. She we had five, okay. Steel Magnolias. Boy, oh boy, Atticus Finch over here on All the I'm cross trying examination. To say is it's not necessarily a big break as much as it was a big hit for her and something that catapulted her to the stretch. Hold you, on a second. To Kill a Mockingbird. It was a book. Yeah, Frank. Come on, Engineer Frank. Don't give him those kind of looks. Uh, so, uh, what, what was it? Harper what? Lee, Frank. Harper look Lee. It up. A woman, by the way. Yeah. Sex is probably the Sorry. Discount. Sorry that all books can't be written by men, Engineer Frank. <laughs> yeah. Why did you say that? Not even the Bible was written completely by men. No, it Ruth. was. It was. Ruth. It was the, well, she didn't write it. It was about her. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. It was, it was a biography, not an autobiography. That's a I, there might have been an as told to. That's a sexy chapter of the Bible. Ruth? Yeah. A lot of stuff going on in there. <laughs> a lot of people laying with other people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Beginning if you, happens. If you want, if you're that particular type who wants to both read the Bible and get a boner. That's right. That's the oh, chapter. To, crude. What? What was your point? You pretty my, woman. Pretty Julie Roberts. She had made other movies. Yes, but this made her a star, right? Well, I mean, Name? she was a star. This. What were, what were the big movies she had done before then? Jekyll and Hyde. No. Number one. Not, not at all. Not at <laughs> that all. Jekyll and Hyde movie. Also, that it wasn't called Jekyll and Hyde. Mary Worth Francis. What was it? Mary Worth Francis. <laughs> That's most of a comic no, strip. No, no, no. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein? Mary Riley was the name uh, of Ah, Mary she Riley. She was the maid to, uh, to Dr. Jekyll, mm -hmm. and she was scared of Mr. Hyde. She all, okay, so but one she did do before that was I Know What You Did Last Summer. She was very big in that. Not in that. <laughs> what? Why don't you pick up uh, Variety sometime? 
Pick up the Hollywood Reporter. Check the trades. I don't know that those are still being published. Why don't you look at uh, the Internet Movie Database? <laughs> so, Mr. And I'm going to introduce you in just one second. But You, you still have yet to introduce <laughs> me. You are a legendary director. Icon. So, legendary director. You, you've acted. I'm also an actor. Hey, you were just, saw me on Louie recently. Just in Louie. I, I don't know. I don't know how much you know about me. I know you're a working class stand-up from Boston. You do stand-up. You make maybe uh, $80,000 a year on the club dates. But you're on the back nine of your career. Except for a, once in a while a special on cable. I think you, five years ago you probably peaked. And now you're waiting around wondering if something's going to happen before it gets embarrassing. Am I right? They that's woke right. you up long enough to be in Louis. Hey, that's my joke. <laughs> it's one thing when I make the old man jokes. You haven't earned it yet, son. Uh, Louis can do it because he's a big deal. Gary Marshall is here. Gary Marshall, please call me Gary. Uh, thank you, Gary. That's right. It's me. Welcome to the show. You haven't been on in a while. New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day. Oh, I thought you were saying it was the New Year's sister. Eve. I got, I got very... Uh... No, last time I was here was uh, February. Oh, you don't say. That, around uh, Valentine's Day, one of your other hits. That's right. That one uh, was a big hit. That was a big hit. New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve, Eve not so much, but it might have a cult following on uh, DVD like an office space. I don't think so. Time will tell. <laughs> at, at what point do we decide, well, it hasn't got that Not following. yet. No, really? We're still not holding yet. out hope. The jury is out. <laughs> Atticus Finch, Engineer Frank. Ugh, this guy. Uh, what were we talking about? Can you remind me, Mr. Marshall? We were t Please call me Gary. We were talking about Gary. my career, how I'm a legendary uh, director. How you were Julia here. Julia Roberts. Uh, I'm here. <laughs> I said that at one point, that Gary Marshall is here. I think I agreed. Did I, did I sign off on that, that I'm here? <laughs> so you said call you I'm Gary. I'm here, everybody. Okay. And uh, what? You were here in February. Yes, and you uh, you had, at that point I remember you had dropped some bombshells about your dating life and uh, the last couple of times you've been here I've I've just heard a lot about who's zooming who in your life. It's who's who's zooming whom, <laughs> whom is zooming, <laughs> whom is being zoomed by who. <laughs> uh, look, uh, I, I've been married to the same woman, Barbara, for right? decades. My wife Barbara, I love her to death. Was she Barbara Marks, by the way? Originally, no, that no, that was Frank, Frank Sinatra. Sinatra's wife. He married Barbara. There's Marks. more than one Barbara in the world. <laughs> Isn't that weird to think about, though? Not that there's one more than one Barbara in the world. We all know that. Hold right? on a second. I expect them to be high, but not you. <laughs> but isn't it fucking weird? Hey, oh, what's going on over here, it's Lenny <laughs> Bruce? No, that's for your kids. We all know that your kids listen to this podcast. My, my they grandkids, like, my grandkids love this they podcast. They love the salty language they love occasionally. Cursing. They love cursing and all the pee pee poo poo, all that stuff that you guys do. So when you pee pee poo poo, no, but what not it weird to think about that like Frank Sinatra, he's hanging out with the Marx Brothers, right? And he's looking at, at which Marx Brother was she married to? Zeppo? But he's just like checking out one of the market, and he's like, "Oh man, I would love to have some of that action." Like he's getting sloppy seconds from the Marx Brothers. What? What, what is this? What are you doing? <laughs> this is uh, this is beyond unseemly. This is uh, it's I just, horrible. I just think that sometimes, you know, I mean, you uh, you choose a wife, and you like to think of them as unsullied. A Mia Farrow is a young woman, and yeah. he, he probably, you know, uh, plucked her from obscurity and, and perhaps even deflowered her. But Barbara Marks has, you know, been around the game for a while, why, you know? Why, and are you she, why are you thinking about these old people and their <laughs> sex lives? I don't what know. What is this sickness with you? Well, it's when you're around, I think of, you know, old people. And hey, how about that Dolly Madison, right? You oh. think she ever uh, gave uh, Ben Franklin a go around or whatever? What is this? I mean, you know, who cares, you could say, but I, I'm fascinated with the lives of celebrities. And, you know, when you run out of thinking about modern celebrities, you got to think about the old Oh, you're out already? Yeah. I'm done. A to Z, you got through everybody. I got, I'm done thinking about Kanye and Kardashian, you know? Like, let's talk about Barbara Marx and Frank Sinatra. Because, no, these speculations, uh, nobody got around to them yeah. at the time. Well, you, you know, I don't know. Just think you're, about the one day that he was like, oh, man, I wish I had what Gummo you're, has. You're, you're, you're demented. 
You understand? <laughs> like something's know. wrong with your I, brain. Okay, I guess so. I, anyway, but you were talking it's about like, your yeah, sex ship life. This guy to Alcatraz. Oh my goodness! Don't do that. It's out of service. <sighs> That's right. There's a sign on the door, <laughs> and the prisoners have to swim back to the mainland. <laughs> Um, but tell me about your sex life because you've been married to Barbara. Boy, oh boy! For for your entire life, things got stale. Hold on a second. I haven't been married to her my entire life. You took eighteen years off or so at the beginning. I, we got married young. Yeah, we yeah. were uh, we were in our twenties. You know, you you felt something about it's people her. married young in those days. You, you you looked at her. You felt uh, a twinge. I said, "Who's this beautiful girl?" Mm-hmm. And she said, "Who's this uh, ugly guy from the Bronx? Who's this Jewish? Uh, are you? Have we ever I'm not figured Jewish. that out? I'm Italian. I don't know. You see, you see the world in a very strange way. <laughs> I don't know, Gary. I don't know. Please call me Mr. Marshall. <laughs> All right, so we're back to that. Yeah, is yeah, I ju- think so. Is it just the opposite of whatever I do? It's not. It, I think we could use a little propriety. All right, in this Mr. Marshall. Place. How's that? Is Please that call better? me Gary. All right, Gary. Gary, tell me about your sex life. Who are you fucking now? Listen, <laughs> this is. I'm I'm married to the same woman. I, perhaps. You are alluding to a strange relationship. It was weird. That I embarked upon with a young lady. It was an illicit affair. Yes, you could say that. This is a young young lady. Uh, Yes, I grant you that permission. I appreciate that. This is a young lady. She's an actress here in Hollywood. We we met doing your podcast. Mm -hmm. She found out that I'm a wealthy uh, older man. She uh, conspired blatantly right in front of me mm-hmm. uh, to have me murder my wife, uh, marry her, and uh, and then become rich uh, due to being my wife. She would be rich, not you. You would, would be, be as rich. rich as you were before. But, uh, Slightly yeah, I less. Mean, I'm just always getting richer. So, uh, right. you know, I, I get paid uh, these residuals. It's crazy. As far as I know, the rich get richer and the poor, well, yeah. they, they get poorer. They get poorer, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good setup. <laughs> yeah, for the rich. Sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now for the poor, I could see how you wouldn't like it. What percentile of richness would you say you are in, oh, in terms of the world? Bring back the sex questions. This is even more crass. <laughs> uh, probably one percent. One. You're in the top yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must be nice. It is. Must be nice. It is. I live in Bel Air, gated community. Yeah. I got a house that's like uh, a castle uh, blew up. A castle blew up. Yeah. So it's so wide and expansive. That's right. It's like meaning blew up like a balloon. Like it's yeah. Bi- oh, I it's see. like the, it's like a castle had a, an allergy to something. Okay, so it's not like a castle that someone bombed it's and there's like, rubble everywhere. It's like if there was a royal family, they were made of peanuts. Uh huh. If they moved into this castle, this castle had a nut allergy. I see. So the, the 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 royal family was made of peanuts. It's a, a race of peanut people, and they're sure. led by a king. So is it an entire town of peanut people? Meaning, no, it's a whole country. It's a whole country. Yeah, you don't have a king of a town. And That's a mayor. They've been wandering what the desert for forty odd years, and he's nah, led them to they're, this they're castle. They're dumb. They're made out of peanuts, so they never lived in shelter. So they're just kind of wandering around in a circle, and at one point they stumble. They just, upon uh, they're just like all sitting around, like, "Hey, uh, Your Majesty, uh, mm-hmm. what do you want to do today?" And he's like, "You're looking at it." <laughs> and then uh, you know, it would rain, and everybody would say, "Ah, this stinks." I would think a peanut in the rain, that gets soggy. That's, oh, what a beautiful turn of phrase. <laughs> oh. A peanut in the, the rain. rain. It gets it's soggy. Uh, and so then At one point game, they wander into this castle. They rub up right. against it. Here's, here's, the castle no, has no, a peanut. No, no, no. Here's what, what happens. There's like a guy in the, in the court of the peanuts who's like, uh, he's like the Da Vinci of, of the peanuts, right? Oh, okay, sure. So he's like, uh, hey, idiots, it's simple. Here's what you do. You build a structure. Everybody uh, can live inside it. Um, so uh, you don't have to get wet in the rain. We don't have to be a peanut in the rain anymore. Exactly. We can be warm, dry peanuts. Mm-hmm. Toasted even. Toasted, roasted by the fire. Salted. We'll sprinkle salt on ourselves and we'll <laughs> eat each other. We're a cannibal kingdom. <laughs> sure, of course. Last man standing. First to man, the victor goes the spoils. That's right. Mm-hmm. The old saying. Yes, to the yes. So, is this how? By the way, is this how Mr. Peanut came to be? This is, is later. Is he the last? This is Peanut later. Standing. He's the he's the last in the line 
of the peanut king. And yet, he advertises for other peanuts, inanimate peanuts, to be eaten. Interesting. Yeah, because he's a cannibal. He he can't help it. It's in his nature. Sure. But you'll notice he dresses in a very elegant manner with the top hat, the To disguise his nature. No, to, to, to flaunt his nature. He's, he's you don't descended say. of noblemen. I thought it was because much like all of us, any time we put on clothes is to disguise our very base, human, disgusting nature. I mean, uh, look at you. You have an argyle sweater. What are you trying to say about yourself? You're putting on airs of like, I'm a classy gentleman? Much like Mr. Peanut, what I'm trying to say is, don't eat me. It would be a hassle to get through all this stuff for you. Right. Move along. Move along to another peanut. That's right. This is the shark theory. Sharks, they see uh, a guy in a scuba suit. They're like, ooh, a delicious seal. Mm -hmm. They bite into him. They're like, hey, you're not a seal. You tricked me. Yeah. They move along to something else. You ever seen the movie Jaws? What's that? Let's get back to what you're talking about. Yeah, you, what are you, we talking about? You had, you had an affair with a young woman, but that's all yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, you know, it's over. We, we uh, you know, we came back on this program. You guys had split up. I revealed to her I didn't actually murder my wife. Uh, I put her in suspended animation. Mm-hmm. She was, of course, very upset. I uh, granted her a Bel Air divorce. Which uh, Morgan Freeman gives to you, as I recall. Denzel Washington, uh, yes. but... Uh, Nice try. <laughs> okay, I guess I have yeah, a problem. Who was it, George Washington Carver? <laughs> Peanuts. <laughs> Call so, it back. Um, uh, yeah, so then we got divorced, and, um, and, you and that was sense. it. And she's not coming back on this program because- Well, uh, as a matter of fact, she's here right now. She's here. Honey, you want to come in here? She's here right now. Come on in here, honey. Uh, yeah, it's Gilly and Jacobs. Hey, Gilly. Hi. Gilly, how are you? Sorry. I'm okay. Hi. Just catching him up on a history. Hi. Hi. It's Hi. Not, it's not, uh, I'm surprised to see you. Well, yeah, you didn't invite me, but I'm, yeah. I'm here nonetheless. Uh, for Hi. the record, I also did not invite her. What uh, What is happening right now? Well, I, I, I sent him a text message. and um, Do you receive texts? I received them. I don't send them. Mm-hmm. What does he text back to you, Gilly? He usually it's those three dots, like he's writing something, <laughs> but nothing ever comes through. But... I, don't know, I don't know how to make it go. So you you press on the thing, and then it's just yeah, you have yeah, no idea. I get like the little balloon means yeah. you mm-hmm. talk here, stupid. <laughs> right. And then, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you're supposed to do after that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I texted him that I had something really important to tell him, and I wanted to do this in private, but I guess, you know, this is the only time you could. Whoa, so this is happening. In. Whatever is happening is happening right here. Yes. Live on our show. My God. I don't like the sound of this already. Well, <clears throat> Gary. You have a, what Please. You have a sweatshirt. What, oh, yeah. What were you going to say? Continue to call me Gary. <laughs> Um, why Gary, do you? It's so hot in the studio. Why I do you know. have a sweatshirt? And um, oh. what I wanted to tell you, Gary, is that you're a father again. What? This is crazy. At my age, that that sperm's good. Wow, that's nice to hear. That's, uh, oh, by the way, that's what she said. Yeah, it's what that's I what did said. say. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I guess that's not really a double. Well, one. I guess. No. Uh, yeah. I guess this is to be expected. Yeah. So you you don't uh, wrap a, a Jimmy on that? Who who has the time anymore? You know what I mean. I don't I don't expect to be alive uh, five minutes from now. They don't make them that small, so we just didn't bother. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this. Regular uh, uh, Toady Fields over here. <laughs> Regular Shields and Yarnell. Hmm. They were mimes, honey. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Here's what happens. <laughs> they were mimes, honey. Another great turn of phrase. <laughs> After the a last peanut in the rain, they were mimes, honey. <laughs> After the last time we saw each other, uh, you know, we're waiting in the elevator. Mm-hmm. Uh, stone cold silence. Yeah. I mean, it is thick in there. It's like a madman. Yeah. A fog of silence. Yeah. So. Uh, we eventually get stuck in the elevator. It's like something out of a sitcom. Wait a minute. So the elevator stopped yeah. after this program? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It got stuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were here in February. That's right. We're <clears throat> yeah. forced to talk to each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So eventually we're, to- we're making nice. Mm-hmm. Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're talking about work. She's on a sitcom. I created the modern sitcom. Um, 
At this know. point, uh, you know, she doesn't know if Community's coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a show. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just on... about to premiere at that yeah. point. Yeah. It's on the bubble, right? Sure, yeah. So In the uh, prime time panic. <laughs> Do you need that uh, adjusted for well, you? Well, I'm not I'm more this annoying. I'm short, but I'm not this let short. Me help, let me help out this. Here we go. Maybe someone thought you had Talk terrible wh- posture. Talk they while just I'm doing assumed it. They assumed you were going right. to slouch. They saw your army jacket. They're like, hey, Travis Bickle over here. Let him uh, slouch <laughs> into the very microphone. Very funny, very funny. I'm wearing right? a safari. Movie. You know what? I'm a new mother. I don't have time for, you You're know. You're not very good at it so far. What? They You're like that. You're holding the baby upside down. Scott, you got to watch out for this, the Fontanelle, which is not a girl group, by the way. It's not. It, it, was that Fonzie's girlfriend? Pinky Tuscadero. Oh, okay. Aww. I thought it was Fontanelle. Sorry. You remember the girl with the motorcycle all dressed in pink? Pinky put. Pinky putts. <laughs> Um, so, uh, so, so, my gosh, look so at that she thing. says, he's a beautiful little, uh, she's, she's boy, taking, for those of you just listening, I, that was something I didn't want to get to till later, but our, our child was born without genitals. Oh my God. Look at that. Can I, can I feel that? Yeah. Get look in there. There's that. nothing to do. I'd rather nothing hear. there. Nothing there. Very, nothing there. making me very <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> nothing there either. That's just a dent. There's no hole. There's no butthole. Uh-uh. I'd love Everything to, I'd love to tear him a new one. Here's, here's, here's what happened. I said, I'll make you a bet. If Community gets picked up for another season, hmm. I will have sex with you. Yep. I never thought in a million years that show would get picked up. No yeah. one did. No so, one did. It's all references. <laughs> hey, this guy, he's like, he loves the movie so much. Let's do the movie. They do the movie. All right. That's the story. Yeah. It's like, you know, hey, I love Reservoir Dogs. They start it, and then by the end, you know, Mr. Pink gets shot. The end. What? <sighs> so anyway, uh, so here yeah, we are. So, so what, I, what I'm not understanding so is- months is later- You're trapped in the elevator in February. Yeah. Yeah. You promised to have sex with her if it gets picked up. It was picked up maybe three weeks ago. That's right. Yeah. And there's a baby here. Yep. Thank you for uh, walking me through the timeline because this does seem strange. Seems a what little are you strange about? because how old is this baby? This baby's this non-gendered baby. This baby's like nine hours old. You you say what? you just said this baby? Yep. Today. Yep. So d- tracking nine months back, that's uh, November, which is when you guys were. <laughs> Okay, so maybe this is. Oh, did you hear that? Oh my it's goodness, talking. it's talking. So, so maybe this baby was conceived while you guys were still uh, in the throes of passion. I think this baby was conceived in February and hold, was born. Hold on a second. That's when all babies are conceived in the throes of passion. Yeah, no, it wasn't but, conceived on the phone. But my well, it could have been rape. Boy, oh boy! I don't think that word has ever been said on this program. Please, boy, Gilly. What? Gilly. <laughs> Gilly. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I can't believe that actually happened. <laughs> but uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> let, did you guys have sex in the elevator? People yes. want to know. No, 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 no. We didn't have sex. We in had the phone elevator. sex in the elevator. With no. whom? Each With other? each other. I said, "Hey, I'm getting a signal. Are you?" She said, "Yes." We turned our backs. We sat back to back, and we had phone sex in the elevator. Yeah. So you were sitting back to back, though, so you could sort of feel the vibrations of what it what. You yeah, know, you it was guys very erotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So wait, you had phone sex in the elevator. Yes. Yeah. And uh, then five months later, there's a baby. No, well, yeah, we had penetrative sex. When did it get picked up? Like two weeks ago, or something like that. I think so. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, and we you, had sex you two weeks ago. Penetrated her, she says. This is we're talking about sexual intercourse. Yeah, yes. but just a... like, like burst in hey, there. Hey, I'm not Barbara Marx. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, I, how does this happen, Gilly? Well, he undid his pants. Oh, my goodness. Continue. I pulled down his underwear. Oh, God. Please go on. I mean. It sounds less erotic <laughs> now what, in the telling. Yeah, tidy whities or what's uh, he Uh He wears loose boxers. Mm. Very loose. Barely held who's, up. Who's, who's texting you? The professionalism council? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> so good. Um, and... He wears loose boxers? Loose boxers. Yeah. The, I like like one size too big? The elastic's kind of worn out. They're barely they're barely holding on. They're perfectly good. Why should I throw them He's away? He's got a tight belt over those pants. <laughs> so 
you penetrate Gilly here. Yep. And how does a baby, do you have like some sort of super sperm? Is that what we're? I told you the sperm's good. That's not for me good. to say. The sperm is good. How many, how many of your kids came about in this manner where they were born within two weeks? Uh, all of them. Sorry, it's hungry. I got to. Oh, my goodness. All our, of my- uh, Our viewers are getting a right, treat here. Right through the clothes. <laughs> it's a strong baby. Uh, yeah, um, I, all of my children uh, had a gestation period of uh, two weeks. Can I- Okay, and this is going to sound really crazy. Eh? And I, I hesitate to even say it, hmm. quite honestly, because it sounds fanciful, and I think the answer has to be no. All right. Uh, I don't think it's possible what I'm asking, but mm. I'm just going to throw it out there anyway. Okay. But are you- from some sort of race of alien super beings? Whew. Never been asked that before. I can see why not. It couldn't even be possible. I don't know why I asked it. But are you some sort of alien super being that comes from another world that has come here to impregnate our women, our Hollywood actresses? I mean, that's not the only thing I came here to do. <laughs> oh, sir, so, yeah, yeah, I am. You are? Yeah. God! Yeah, from outer space. You, yeah. Why? What was the other thing you came here to do? To create uh, uh, Hollywood create television tel- shows and direct that, movies. Uh, and what about the Loch Ness Monster and the Bigfoot? I'm trying to find that <laughs> Loch Ness Monster. Why are you trying to find them? Are they a threat to your super being? I want No, I want to bring the Loch Ness Monster back to my home planet as an example of uh, mythology. I was, I was going to say, as an example of Earth creatures, it's not an example of Earth creatures because no one's uh, been able to find it. Well, it, I, it honestly is the thing. I've become very attached to the Earth, and uh, I don't want it to be destroyed. Aww. So I think if I bring the Loch Ness Monster back there, everybody will be afraid they won't destroy the Gary. Earth. Gary! Well, I'm not so bad after all! Gary! Oh, I ju- I'm just a simple guy from another planet. Oh. I want to impregnate Hollywood actresses, <laughs> make movies, and find the Loch Ness Monster and scare my home planet. Oh. Two-part question. What is the name of your home planet? And B, are we under threat of being destroyed by them? I'll take the second part first, Scott. Um, That's fair. Yes, you are, uh, you are in danger of being uh, destroyed by my planet. Looming? Danger? Uh, imminent danger. Imminent. And uh, number two, the name of the planet is Gregord. Gregord. Yes. Gregor? Is is that with a hyphen at all? Nope. Just just like it sounds. And are all the letters <laughs> right after each other? No. No, they're all mixed up. Not on your planet. Mm-hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Wow. And so this is an al- half alien. I mean, I'm assuming you're a human I mean, being. Wait, I have a question for you. Sure. This makes a lot of sense now. Now, on your planet are babies born sans genitals. Yeah, we don't need them. Okay. So then how did you so get your- So what's that your... beautiful dick of yours? I mean, wh- where'd that come from? Uh, you're sweet to say. <laughs> um, that that's beautiful a... sweet dick, where did it come from? It's a thing that I can grow mm. if I need to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're compatible with any species in the universe. Huh. Under dire circumstances, you can grow that. They weren't dire. Mm. So can this baby grow what it needs to grow? No. It could start to because it's only half. Oh, Haley. he's a halfie. Yeah. What oh. do I do about the lack of butthole? You won't have to worry about it. <laughs> All right. Do I feed it? Do I keep feeding it? Nope. Oh. Don't ever feed it. Oh. You didn't feed oh. it, did you? Well, I You've held been- it. Yeah, that like you've that. held it like that. That's not really that's, been doing. It. That's feeding. But it was through. I mean, through my shirt. So why have you been doing it? It wanted to. Oh, Mommy, we got to feed me. It's talking. Was again. that you? I don't think no. so. Her mouth wasn't moving. Obviously, it wasn't her. I wasn't paying attention. Feed me. Well, this is a fascinating story, and I want to know more about yeah, this. I'm sure people are bored. You think people are bored by the revelation yeah. that there's alien life uh, here on Earth? All right, yeah. well, you are uh, you have a shorter attention span than I. But when, we j- Hey, when you get to be my age, every th- you've heard it all before. Yeah, you've heard that there are aliens? Oh, okay. Yeah. How old are you? On your planet? Yeah. Quite old. Your planet. I'm a spring chicken oh. teenager. So you're going to live forever? Joy, right? Well, on my planet. On this, if I stay here much longer, I will die. Oh. On your planet, rich or poor? Uh, poor. Oh. Uh, yeah. So this baby doesn't have a stone's throw. <sighs> what are you going to That's not a, that's <laughs> not a thing? thing. No. It's got to be a, a thing. A stone's throw? It's got to be a thing. It's within a stone's, a stone's throw. throw. Here, catch. 
Hey, come on. We should. Oh, look, guys, we need to Beautiful. take a break. I'm going to examine this baby, try to see what the butthole situation All right. really is. And uh, we'll be right back. More Comedy Bang Bang. More more uh, uh, Gary Marshall. Please call me Gary. I will. I did. And more Gilly. And uh, we'll come right back after this. <laughs> All right. We are back. Comedy Bang Bang. Welcome back to the show. Uh, we are here with, of course, mm, Gary. Yeah. I'm trying to figure this out. What are you trying to figure out? I'm trying to tell my grandkids uh, how to watch this. You want them to... Do they know you're an alien? You want them to hear about this? Well, I want them to know eventually, and uh, this seems like a good enough way to do it. (laughs) Okay. Uh, We also have Gilly here and... uh, Child. Child. Yeah. Have you named your child yet? Big boy. Big boy. (laughs) Sorry to spit on you. Did I spit anywhere near you when I just laughed like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, like, Gilly, you're into some weird shit I've noticed today. Yeah. Um, she's, uh, she's quite an adventurous young lady. I love that. All right. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about... What are you glaring at me for? Oh, he, he, he strike me as a creep. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a new guest we what? have to get to. Hey, there of fact. sitting right here, yes. And I don't know anything about him, but uh, his name is Ducky Powell, and it says here you are an extreme adventure skier. That's right, Scott. Thank you very much for having me. I mean, I'm ex- an extreme adventure skier. My name is Ducky Powell, and um, when I'm not on podcasts, I'm spending my time cruising down the nastiest slopes, thrashing some tasty, tasty powder, and grabbing nasty bits. Of tasty, tasty air. Ugh. Okay, and how often are you on podcasts? Then I'm trying to figure yeah, out exactly. I'm curious as to, the, as to the what time, is the ratio of the time? breakdown of time. Yeah. yeah, this is the very first. <laughs> okay, so the the majority of most your time, of my then. time is spent okay. grabbing that tasty air I was talking about. Okay, just moments Great. ago. Fantastic. So, what uh, are you a uh, in competition? Or? I am a sponsored uh, extreme adventure skier, meaning I will. Uh, Go off huge mountains, grabbing uh, air as far as 70 to 50 feet. <laughs> you just went backwards. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dropping 70 to 50 feet. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. All the while doing Daffy's back scratchers and 180 hose bones like. I munch powder. Mm. So you eating both that I ski, munching powder means ski, but I also eat snow. Wait, you eat? Do you eat regular food as well? Like, there's powdered foods. Uh, well, of, of course, like I the eat astronauts. Curry. Yeah, yep. I will. Uh, anything an astronaut gives me, I will eat. Uh, but my preferred. Wait, the astronaut has to give it to you personally? I thought that was yeah. I thought that was the case with astronaut food. Wait, let me ask: Was your father an astronaut? Yes. Was he the astronaut who handed you all that food? That was my question. No, no, no. This, this was uh, that. Yeah, that event was at a uh, astronaut ski outing. Oh, okay. That your father happened to be at. Now Dramatic it's making explains. a little more. No sense. wonder you're running into so astronauts. many astronauts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. no, Small I should have explained that. Yeah. Mm. Now that I've heard that, Mr. Marshall is worth. Please call me Gary. Now that I heard that Gary is not worth a lot of money on his alien home planet, and he's not long oh. for this world. I'm an alien, by the way. Yeah. No, I heard that outside. I oh. think that's fantastic. Okay, mm-hmm. thank yeah. you. What is your alien name? Oh, it's unpronounceable. Really? Is it the N word? Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and. <laughs> Yes, and it's not the N-word you're thinking of. Oh, really? That's right. Oh, which one? Oh, it's a word we have on my own planet. Mm. Is it nasty? <laughs> now, uh, you like things that are nasty. I enjoy things that are nasty. And tasty. more slang. This is the, the slang that I know, yes. This That's must right. be a tough time for you, uh, these summer months. I, of course, am still wearing my uh, ski outfit right Perfect. now. We all want yeah, to be as hot yeah. as we possibly mm-hmm. could. Yeah, so I we said, all are wearing yeah, layers. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sweater. I, well, I do want to be ready at all times in case uh, a flake of snow should drop. Just one flake. It's not going to. Los Angeles. Yeah, and no it gives. Yeah, then I'll zoom into my car and up to the mountain I'll go in case, mm-hmm. you know, 20 uh, feet of fresh powder should fall. 20 feet? <laughs> That's no, a lot of snow. There's no sense in, uh, there's no negative in dreaming, is there? There's no negative in dreaming. That's <laughs> no, true. A lot of wonderful turns of phrase, yeah. this show. Yeah. There is no negative in dreaming. There's no negative Indeed. in dreaming. There's Indeed, not a stone's there throw. <laughs> There's not a stone's throw of negative in dreaming. 
I hope someone puts that on a pillow and smothers me. <laughs> I want that on a pillow. Right? That's not bad. Uh, Use the right for Dick Van Dyke. We're going to take some uh, uh, questions. And uh, oh. we're actually, why don't we take a break right now and we'll go to uh, the board and the comments and all that and try to get some questions. We'll be right back. We'll have more Gary Marshall, uh, more Ducky and more Gilly, more Baby, more me. We'll come right back. We'll see you soon. I. <laughs> we have Gary Marshall here. What an amazing canonical show we are in the middle I of. I don't know about that. <laughs> we have Gilly here. We have the baby. What are you doing with the baby there? <gasps> oh! <sighs> sorry. Sorry. It was going for my face. Gilly. Gilly. I'm sorry. This thing is strong. <laughs> They're very rambunctious at that age. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I wish that some of you people could see this. <sighs> Um, and we have uh, Ducky something. D- Ducky Powell, indeed. Yeah. Ducky Powell, yes. Who uh, we have Ducky some? Ducky Powell, indeed. We have some questions for you, Ducky. Oh, I'm surprised. We've gone to Twitter for some questions. I am. I am surprised. Fervil Lankman, aka Ad Accused Wizard, asks: Snow in Denver, Colorado? Uh, I c- can answer him only honestly. Not just yet. <laughs> It is the summer, after all. It is all. the summer. I will say that... Uh, not just yet. I could No, no, not, not at this moment in time. I've heard report earlier this morning that no okay. snow has fallen. All Patience right, at accused wizard. Spaceman Spoof <laughs> asked, who are, the, who, who are the fans of this show? <laughs> Cartoons. <laughs> Spaceman Spoof asks, I'm going to go grocery shopping at 3.23 p.m. on November 12th, 2013. Can you ask Ducky what the snow will look like then? Oh. Is he skiing on a mountain? Let me see where Spaceman Spoof is from. Wisconsin. There will definitely be some tasty, tasty drips uh, okay. on his way to whatever destination he chooses. And uh, uh, Jay Spanbauer is asking. Oh, I, know I don't him. get that one. Is asking Gary, is there snow on Gary's home planet? Ooh. There is a snow uh, that comes out of the ground. Hmm. That's different. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't and fall alien. from the sky. Can I ask you a question about that snow? Sure, ask hey, me any question. Let's, let's just agree that we can all ask each other questions, and we don't have to ask if we can That's ask them. That's fair. Can I, I be I frank? I want to be polite. <laughs> let's, ag- let's agree that we can all be frank. Hi, I'm Frank. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Love it. My question yeah. is, is the snow thrashable? The snow thrash. Yeah, I get this a lot. Uh, <laughs> the snow is- really? uh, You seemed like you uh, didn't want to talk about snow at all. Or no, like. well, I didn't want to talk about your earth snow. <laughs> because I'm sure you think it's very thrashable, but- uh, Crucible indeed. Not man. like the, the thrashable snow on my own planet, which you would love. Because really? it's like, uh, it comes up right in front of you. Ooh. So you go up, 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 It's like up, flowers up. bursting it's out of like the ground, It's like flowers right? bursting out of the so ground. So, like, you can come off, I bet, the ski lift, and there's no snow, and then the minute you get off, it's like... <laughs> That's exactly like, right. Oh, it goodness. anticipates where you're going to be. Oh. Does it anticipate grabbing tasty air? Of course it, 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 uh, of course it does. This is some very smart snow. Listen, son, I think you would like uh, my home planet a great deal. What's it called? Wait a minute, are you... Yeah, what is it called? You know what it's called. I told you earlier. <laughs> of course I don't. I don't listen. Gre- Gre- I know it started with a G. That's all I remember. Gregord. Gregord, of course. Now, on Gregord, are you trying to take Ducky to Gregord? You <gasps> keep inviting I'm, I'm him. I'm offering him an invitation if he'd like to go. I would indeed love to go. Wait. I would take you on my spacecraft and fly you to my own planet. Would Qu- you constantly probe him oh. while you were f- flying? Not constantly. <laughs> Define constantly. Uh, around the clock. <laughs> so not that. It's how it's it's, the, it's how my uh, my spaceship is fueled <laughs> with anal probes. Fecal All matter. Kinds. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean that's what you're getting up there, right? No. You can probe a We're nose. Not taking any samples. You're We're not just probing. You're not scraping the walls. No, no, no just looking. <laughs> you're looking just around look. all the orifices. So merely make sure you clean your ears too. Merely the no, sight of do, it is powering it your ship. I'm not even looking. <laughs> then what is powering your ship? It's just the motion of the poking around. The motion of the ocean. Uh-huh. All right, what were you going to ask, Gilly? Um, I was going to ask the motion of the poking. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> don't they want to kill earthlings on your planet? Might it not be dangerous for Ducky to go there? Yes, great is question. This a trap? If I, it's not a, <laughs> listen, it's not a trap. 
I, you know, if I wanted to trap uh, and kill Earthlings, uh, I wouldn't be trying to bring the Loch Ness Monster up there, right? Mm. Uh, I would just say, guys, come on down, kaboom, that's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's why I want to take you up there. Uh, and uh, don't take offense at this. I never would. I'll get you up there. They'll say, oh, they're not worth destroying. Ah. Uh. Uh, or or might they see the beauty and the majesty of him grabbing some tasty air? No, it's what I said. No, okay. So uh, they wouldn't like to see a back scratcher or Daffy. They might, but uh, probably what would happen is you'd end up in a zoo. Mm. Okay. I have a question here from Twitter. Uh, Joshua Agerstand asks, "What religion will you raise your alien child?" Oh, that's a good one. I was uh, raised Catholic here on your planet. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this a deal breaker? What are you? What are, Gilly, what are you? I was baptized Catholic. Mm, that's uh, right. Confirmed Presbyterian and then chose to be Unitarian. Mm. A 180 in your own right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Hunter Tour, a.k.a. at Bango Skank, asks, why doesn't... Much, much more preferable. <laughs> why doesn't Mr. Powell... Go somewhere else in the world. There must be thrashable slopes on Everest. Please, call him Dougie. I don't have the funds at the moment uh-huh. to be world traveling and air grabbing as I uh, would like to be. This is uh, not exactly shocking to hear. Dougie, Dougie. How much money do you make in a year? Well, I, I do make a uh, handsome amount. It's about 80000 sponsors included. Uh, mm-hmm. But I have blown a lot of that looking for, well, my father who rocketed off that mountain all those wait a minute ago. i wonder if your father has ever been to his home planet oh he is an astronaut have you uh, on your planet ever seen a guy who is six feet tall mm, sounds familiar narrow it down <laughs> That's really his only distinguishing trait. Oh, his only distinguishing he, trait is he, he, he might he's be an Earthling old. astronaut. Who's Getting warmer. He's wearing yeah. skis. <laughs> and, and an astronaut suit, right? Mm-hmm. That does sound familiar. <laughs> Have I met that guy? Is your father's name Krabby? Close. Ah, uh, it's not him then. Oh. oh, you definitely met an astronaut named Krabby. I met a guy on my own planet. Uh, he was flying around in space in a capsule, mm-hmm. full astronaut uh, uh, getup, skis. I <sighs> says, "What's your name?" He says, "I answered a Krabby." Okay. And what is your father's name? It's it's Gabby. Hmm. Oh, maybe I couldn't hear him so well through the helmet. You were wearing a helmet. He was wearing no, it. I mean, it was, Were you both wearing helmets? Be honest. I was also wearing a helmet. <laughs> All right. It was I worth a shot. I, I, I knew it. I just took yeah, one look at my, your face, and my, I was like, this motherfucker's been wearing right. a helmet all, as well. On my planet, we all dress like spacemen. <laughs> Is that fun for you guys? It's a lot of fun, yeah. Yeah. You know, we sit around, we're like, hey, guys, we're on an alien planet. Let's have some fun. <laughs> you consider your planet to be alien. Oops. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you... Did you colonize that planet? Are you not from that planet? I'm not from that planet. I'm from here. This what? Yeah. What? What? Watch. This is way too I'm much. just regular old Gary Marshall, but when I was a kid, I built a spaceship. Wait a second. And you you went to that planet? Yeah. And you are an alien upon that planet? Yeah, but with, I disguised myself as one of them. With, what? Wearing the helmet? Yeah. <laughs> which is why you love Earth so much. Yeah, because it's my hometown. Ah, the Bronx. Planet wise, the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, that ties into a question I have here from Macintosh RJ. Oh, is sure. Penny Marshall also an alien, or was Gary raised by a human family like Superman? Penny Marshall is not an alien. She is a ghost. What? That's uh, right. She's a Victorian ghost. Uh, wait, what happened? This guy's sunglasses exploded. Wait, wait. Oh, I, I had to open them up when I heard that you were <laughs> that rubbed my eyes. From pure surprise, <laughs> blew your sunglasses they shot apart. shot open. <laughs> <laughs> Did not expect to see that. For the listeners who cannot watch us, my glasses are open in front of my glasses face. Glasses are open. So she's a ghost. <laughs> I think they'll understand from that description. Penny, His glasses are now open. Penny's a ghost. We'll just uh, move yeah, on Penny right Marshall, past that. Penny Marshall, Victorian ghost. We'll talk about that another time, I would imagine. Sure. We'll figure out exactly when yeah, she died. It'll and, keep. Yep. Okay. And, uh, okay, here's one from uh, LM23, or Midris. 
Will the half-alien baby age at a normal Earth rate, or will it mature super fast, a la the film species? Please, mature. <laughs> hey, and, and, Juilliard over here. That's right. And how, here's another question. If you're an Earthling, how did you have an alien baby that was born in two weeks? Wait a second. Is this a normal kid? She's banging it against the table. The, why? Thought- Hey, please, don't punch it in the non-butthole. <laughs> oh, sounds like a hollow Look, baby. Uh, I guess <laughs> I might as well tell you uh, it's a doll. What? Yeah. Well, how did a doll come out of your vagina? I hit, I hit it in there. Up. You hit it in there <laughs> while you were having sex with her? <laughs> no, later when she was asleep. What? After pillow time. <laughs> pillow time? Yeah, it was just like lying there having pillow talk. What? I've heard of pillow talk, but pillow time? That's, wh- that's when you have pillow oh, talk. okay. I did not know that. So yes. wait, after that, she drifted off to sleep? Or she squared, you know what I'm saying? Did you drug her in order to do no, this? No, she's or? a heavy sleeper. Really? That's true. Yeah. So wait, you've been carrying that around ever since that night. And you, you I haven't... pushed it out nine hours ago, mm-hmm. and I'm not a mother. Is that what you're telling me? You're just the owner of not a, of a buttholeless speaking, doll. No. Nasty. <laughs> that is indeed nasty. That is not... Why would you do something like that, Gary? I'm mischievous, and, uh... <laughs> You're a prankster? Yeah, uh... You know, I, in my capacity as a fake alien uh, here on this planet, you know, I'm sort of uh, looking at everyone and judging them, what fools these mortals be, and that sure. sort of thing. Sure. The bard. Oh, and, the immortal uh, bard, of course. Yeah, and so, uh... Yeah. I get up to hijinks. And that's just one of your pranks that you played so on a one young of my woman many pranks. who gave her your heart. Her heart. Well, now she did ask me, she did convince me to murder my wife uh, for money. That's Which true. she did not do. Is You're a liar. Prank. Ugh. I keep falling Classic for it. Classic Gary Marshall oh. fake alien prank. Why were you so excited about this alien baby? Because you, you thought that you were going to get some, uh, the old uh, Marshall riches? Yo, moolah. Mm. Scratcheroo. By the way, do you own. The store marshals? <gasps> yeah. What? You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a friend who does commercials for those. Who? Uh, her name's Jessica something. Saint Jessica Claire. St. Clair? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we fired her. Did you have... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't... Shit. I, yeah, she's oh, still boy. on that. Don't... Uh, they might, we might be burning off some of those ads, but uh, she was... Uh, no, she's still... She yeah. was unlikable. She was unlikable. Yeah, she, there's something about her. People would send me letters. They would say, I was going to go to Marshall's. Yeah. I was going to buy uh, clothes for a wedding. Mm-hmm. At an affordable price. I saw this commercial. This lady, she made me feel less than. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. These are the kind of things mm. that people would say. Yeah, you should fire her. Um, but anyway, Scott, the original question still stands. You're not wrong, Scott. Well, that Let's, means I'm right. Yeah. Listen. Tasty. You know, in the state of California, <laughs> you get a lot more money out of a man if you've had a child with him. It's true. So I'm thinking, I don't know about, you know, the alimony situation, Beverly Hills, Bel Air divorce. Maybe we're never really married. The courts mm-hmm. aren't going to recognize it's that. It's like an annulment, but with a sort of dark satanic ceremony. Yeah. Exactly. That part I enjoyed. It was fun. I mean, it was fun. I'm you get think- to wear a cloak. Mm, love a cloak. Anyway, I was thinking child support, child support, child support. The three, those are the uh, I've three heard of words. location, location, location. Exactly. Child support, child support, child support? You now can't you've heard conjure of that. it unless I have heard you of that now. in threes. So, you is know. Is like pumpkin head? Yeah. yeah. A candy man? Is that who you think? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking of pumpkin head, but I don't know who pumpkin you're thinking head. of. Let's all take off a I'm layer. I'm thinking of <laughs> right. right. Are we playing it? strip oh, podcast? Well. <laughs> Strip We're podcast. Just taking ah, off a layer. Ah, All right. There yeah. we go. Woo. Oh, that is tasty. Right. Yeah. That's living. Gary. Yeah. What do you have in your pocket there? What do you have in your front mm. pocket? Oh, it's a little communicator. <laughs> is that? It looks Talk to me like Listerine breath like, strips, but it's a communicator. Of course, I disguise it to look like that. <laughs> oh, okay. You've hey, seen guys, smart. Oh, call off the everyone. attack on the earth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank and you very much. that is what we were hoping to achieve with this of podcast. Course. I just want to thank you all. It's been a, a fantastic show. Did you guys have a good time? No. Eh. 
I want to thank my guests, Gary Marshall, Gilly Jacobs, and whoever this guy is. And uh, that's been show. That's been our show. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> Aquaman does not control 71% of the Earth's surface. Water owes no fealty to the Atlantean throne, you dum-dums. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. For another week, what a catchphrase. Thank you, Steve Hennel. You know, you've had so many catchphrases on this show, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Is that so? Whoa! This guy, he's knocking him out of the park with these catchphrases. <laughs> ah, you all know who that is, but let me explain he's who like, I am. He's like, Fast Eddie Felsen. Is that a reference that 80-year-old The Hustler! Know? The Color of Money, more recent? Uh, not that recent. Uh, it's a shame. <laughs> that's it's a still, shame. That's a 30-year-old film, The Color Oscar of Money. Winning, Oscar-winning picture. The Academy Awards. No respect well, from the young. But we have to get to our... First guest. Sure. She's, technically, she's was supposed to be our only guest. I was going to be speaking to her exclusively this entire show. And uh, Gary, you showed up. I don't know why, but uh, you know her from. Gosh, you know her from the Incredible. Marriage. Uh oh. Go it up. is. It's who I thought it was. <laughs> Wait. You didn't know who it was? You just I had is a, this a coincidence? suspicion when you were uh, saying there was another guest, and then you said, uh, use the female pronoun. But you're the one who showed up. This is strange. I was this... in the neighborhood. Oh, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> the old neighborhood? Yeah. This neighborhood. All not right. the old neighborhood, uh, the Bronx. All right. I love uh, the pond chick factory. <laughs> Egg creams. <laughs> So uh, they still don't have them. <laughs> nope. Why do I keep asking? <laughs> hey, you got an egg cream today? Nope. No, uh, Mr. Marshall, please call me Gary. Sure. See you whole... next week. All right. Wait, do you ever reverse it on them? Please call me Mr. Marshall. Eh, sometimes. The, f- right. the first few times they told me they didn't have egg creams. Yeah, you put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it? Then I re- That's right. Mm-hmm. Then I realized these people, they're worthy adversaries. <laughs> yes. They've been granted Gary privileges. You know what? They're, it's much like the movie The Fugitive. Tommy Lee Jones was as good at catching fugitives as Harrison Ford was at being a fugitive. Yeah. And that's exactly what... They're as good as de- at denying you egg creams as you are for asking. <laughs> that's wait, right. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't Harrison Ford better at being a fugitive? Well, technically, because he's our hero, he was they they were so equally matched. Tommy Lee Jones would have caught up with him eventually. Yeah. But he finally figured out a way that they could have it all. Tommy Lee Jones could mm-hmm. catch him and Harrison could be caught and still be a good fugitive. Mm-hmm. So hey, who was a better fugitive? I introduced the young lady. Oh, by the way. Uh, I realize I derailed the introduction. Yeah. I apologize. Very ungentlemanly of me. Well, wouldn't be the first you know her from... I feel like that was a negative thing that you mumbled. Marriage and mumbling. Mm-hmm. And uh, Communite. <laughs> Ooh, so continental. Back for a... God, I don't even know how many seasons you've had now. This is five? Five. Fit, we're in the middle of the fifth? Fifth. Fifth season out of, out of uh, at least six, probably. Seems like... Hey. That's... Optimisms are high. A thing that could is happen. That Optimisms are hot. There's no negative in dreaming, is there? And she plays Gillian. No, who do you play? I play Brita Brita. Puri. Brita Puri. (laughs) She plays Brita Puri on Community. (laughs) Community. Please welcome Gary and Jacobs. Thank you so much. (laughs) (laughs) What's that voice? Oh, Oh, Jesus. Is that your timer? That's my timer. Is that your egg timer? timer. Time to enjoy a delicious egg. (laughs) Hard boiled egg. Cream. Hard boiled egg. Love it. And uh, just pour some cream on it. It's a classic Gary Marshall egg cream. Mm. Welcome, Gilly. Thank you. How are you? I'm all right. Welcome back to the show. Thanks so much. Hello, dear. How are you? Well, it's been a It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Been a while. <laughs> it's been it's been quite a while. <laughs> Do you know what you're saying when you say that? What's that? Never mind. <laughs> um, we, by the way, did you know, Gillian? I don't know if you, if you even know that, but the, your previous two appearances both cracked the Comedy Bang Bang Best of 2013 Countdown. Wow. Both shows you were on. Wow. That's insane. And, and by the way, uh, Mr. Marshall. Uh, Who's going to be Gary? You, uh, you as well, because you were on the same show. Yeah, some, That's right. some find us to be a dynamic duo. Mm-hmm. There's the hey, look. It's undeniable. There's a certain chemistry that happens. It's like uh, Sherlock Holmes and Moriarty. 
<laughs> I would maybe say Watson. Yeah, I would say Watson Who? too. What? Wait. His little friend? Exactly. That dumb dumb. <gasps> Come dumb, on. Dumb. How did he get through medical school? Everything. He's amazed by everything. The body is a wondrous thing. So what it's are you, okay John to be. John <laughs> Please don't start reciting your love poetry to each other. Um, Gillian, welcome back to the show. Thank Co- you. Community. Um, Are you doing any uh, tie-ins with the Olympic coverage? Uh, I've not been asked thus far. You doing the luge? Yeah. Why are you looking at Gary so suggestively when she I say means luge? It's a vodka luge. She loves to party and go to clubs. Uh, I got him to go to a club. Did you know that? No way. You we haven't talked yeah, about. Yeah, we yeah. went to a club. Yeah. I, I I get it now. I get why people like it. Oh, really? well, it's too loud for me. You know. Sorry. Well, what'd you guys do while you're at the club? We uh, we danced. We danced. We took ecstasy. Bottle what? service. We had bottle service. Molly. We took some Molly. We took some Molly. Wait, Molly and ecstasy? Or yep. are you saying, oh That's my right. gosh. And yeah. what's the new one? Meow Meow? What's oh, the new yeah. one? The one that made a teenager gnaw off his own genitals? Is this yep. uh, Crocodile? <laughs> we were trying to find some Crocodile. Come I don't forward. know that Crocodile actually exists. It's like, uh, you know, synthetic heroin. Oh, okay. It'll wow. make you crazy, though, like bath salts. Oh, yeah. my gosh. The engineer knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, sure. Engineer Brad is <laughs> nodding along it's heartily. Coming down after a three-day crocodile high. <laughs> Dilaudid. We did some Dilaudid. That's what? Right. What club did you guys Dayquil? go to? Dayquil. Dayquil. <laughs> Just, Just to, to come keep down? the buzz going? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what club were you at? I took a Centrum Silva. <laughs> <laughs> we went to this new place. It's called No Sign, No Door. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there's no sign and there's no door. You have to climb in through a window. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bring out the girls. Mm-hmm. Hey, when God closes a door, though. <laughs> what are he, you talking about? He or she opens a window. So. Oh, hedging your bets. <laughs> yep. Are you afraid that if you refer to God as he and then uh, you get up to heaven and it's a she mm. that. Uh, oh, egg on my face. Points, egg cream on egg my cream face. On points my... are taken away from you. <laughs> Like, sorry, you, you're condemned to eternal hell. Oh, man, that would be terrible. If you called God the wrong uh, gender pronoun and you were sent to hell for that, and that was the one thing, boy, that would be terrible. I think God is uh, genderless. You think so? Yeah, like Morrissey or Paula Poundstone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Gillian, you're back. Yeah. And uh, 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 we should talk about Communite. Uh, yeah, we should. A little bit. You're yeah. you're coming back after the Olympics, and you... Yep. Uh, a lot of changes this year! <laughs> we got John Oliver. John back. Oliver, he's back. Yeah. Is he doing uh, the... F- uh, is he a regular now? Series no, regular? No, he only did six. What's with that guy? He's very successful. He just got his own HBO talk mm. show. Mm. Why? What? Who wants to listen to a British person talk for that long? <laughs> How long is the show? His HBO show? Yeah. Probably an hour. An hour? You think it's an hour? I don't know. How You're long. crazy. I don't know how long. You're it's... insane. How long are shows? 12 left? minutes tops. Really? Yep. It's, it's a new, it's it's a new era. Swim? That's my guess. That's right. 12 minutes and then out. All shows are 12 minutes. And then they just air blank screen mm-hmm. for the next 18 minutes. That's right. I don't you know, know how long is it. How, what, how long do you think it would be his show? I honey. What do I think it should be? Ooh, honey. <laughs> hey, the old Spock. Hey, Reignited. we'll catch up on this news. <laughs> sure, sure we will. <laughs> At some point, uh, just catching people so up on much your to talk about. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, how, what would you make his show? Uh, show hosted by a British guy. You got to listen to that voice. Uh, like, uh, you know, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Show. Five minutes show. Yeah. yeah. How, I always thought you were like a Piers Morgan guy. Well, he's, you know, he's a different guy. <laughs> why did you think that? He's a different Can guy. I- yeah, why did you think that? <laughs> Sometimes you'd fall asleep with CNN on and it. Oh, know, yeah, he's... but you can't blame him, Piers Morgan, coming oh, on CNN. Here's why I would, here's the thing. I would go to sleep. Uh, in my in my chair listening to Piers Morgan because then I would dream that I was in a castle. <laughs> Has that been long your dream? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want to live in a castle. Why? why you're, you must be rich as fuck, He's so Gary. rich. I'm rich as he's, Croesus. He's so rich. My, if you ask me my five favorite things about my ex-husband, Gary Marshall, it would be rich, wealthy, has a lot of money, um, high tax bracket, and... Um, Rich. 
Wow. So that's uh, that's several different things. That's yeah. Right. Bracketed with rich. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's like a palindrome. And I, you know, I always <laughs> said, you can't take it with you. Give it to me. Yeah. You're well, going to die before me. Give me all your money. And what do I always say? <laughs> I'm building a pyramid. <laughs> Taking it all with me to the other side. Wait, why build a pyramid? You just build a castle. You've always wanted to live in one. I can't. Look, like, look if you were buried in a castle, con- conceivably, you could take it on over to heaven. Could nah, you? That's mean, not how castles work. Is that just Don't exclusive you know to, to pyramids? It's only pyramids. I need some recent pyramid news. Why do you think they're shaped that way? <laughs> I need recent pyramid you news. you got to get caught up on your pyramid news. I, who do I go? Who do I call for that? Uh, Ghostbusters. Maybe my friend Ghostbusters. Richard. My friend That's Ri- always hey, the answer. The there's who, a ghost maybe who, who could catch me call? up on some of that. Richard Harris. So wait, is it the fact that it's it's shaped like a triangle and the point can summon a portal to another world? Is that why a pyramid is? That's about? right. Okay. Wait, is this where you're from? Your dimension? What's that? The dimension that I can banish you back to? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you're trying to get back there? Is it? Well, d- I. It, it, here's the thing. Uh, if let's say you're traveling home, right? Mm-hmm. You, you, you're traveling around. You want to get sure. Back we home. all do it. Yep. Do you several f- times a day? Would you mm-hmm. rather fly in a plane or would you rather be shot out of a catapult and hope you make it? Hmm. Catapult. Really, you're a catapult girl. Uh, this is why we're not together anymore. Really? Classic differences like this. I thought that's what kept the spark going. These classic differences. Well, that's the thing. Is that it's a uh, it's a push me pull you from Doctor Doolittle or whatever. That uh, you know, there's the the difference is exciting, but then ultimately it doesn't work. Push me pull you. Is that a song from Doctor Doolittle? Nope. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it then. sure isn't. I just took a stab, hoping there would How be a was song the rest called of that "Go Push Me, Pull You, Darling." <laughs> I can speak to animals. <laughs> By the way, that I need is to get song. that in every song. <laughs> <laughs> just so it's heavily established. Do you remember to push me, pull you? It was like a, a, a two-headed llama. Which Doolittle are we talking? Are you talking my generation? Or Classic your... Doolittle. Nah. No thanks. What? No thanks. I, wait, I thought there was only an Eddie Murphy Doolittle. No, oh, this girl Seems so young. Uh, so Rex, young. Rex Harrison, oh, the famous one-eyed actor, the best talk singer there ever was. They mm-hmm. invented the genre. <laughs> if I could talk to the animals, can't you? <laughs> Um, Are there songs in Dr. Doolittle? Too many! When I look in your eyes. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> really? Yeah. I've never I've never seen it actually. I just You've never know seen that there it? are songs. It's a in long, it. arduous trudge. Yeah. So it's more like push me, pull you. Push I, me, pull you. Push me, pull you. If I talk to the animals. Gilly, would you like to be in a musical? Yes. <laughs> What musical of all, uh, let's say, of all the uh, the classic musicals. Mm-hmm. This w- means b- written before this what means, time? Hey, don't you be racist <laughs> like this guy over here. What, what did I doing do? Doing an Italian accent. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. This You're means. Italian? Yeah, I'm Italian. You didn't know he, that? I thought he was Jewish. I don't, you don't. Marshall is my is my professional name. What's my your... given name is Marshallelli. Oh, Does that Mar- mean we're Marcin. not legally married because I wrote Marshall on oh, the? Yep. Oh, that's loopholes. Loop loopholes Loop holes within loopholes with you. <laughs> that's right. Wow, you are a crafty man. I'm very clever. But what do the girls say when they get a load of grease lightning? I uh, now you the chicks. I mean. Son- Yes. I'm not going to say it. Okay. I, just, I know you're trying to trick me. Okay. I just wanted to know. I'm going to get you before the end of the show, though. It's a disgusting phrase. I don't want to repeat okay. it. His grandchildren are lovely, by the way. Yeah. Uh, they're did all Did you right. spend much time with the family? I mean, they're older than you, they're aren't older they? They're older than me. They're older than me. Were they jealous of their old gramps? I, you know what? Okay. Close your, close your ears. Sure. <laughs> I'll stop listening for a second. Earmuffs. I pulled them aside, and I yeah. said, look, guys, I've taken a look at the will. In its current form, you're not getting a lot. Your parents are getting far more than you are. But if you team up with me, I will ensure that we skip your parents' generation and all the funds go to me and you mm, guys. Interesting strategy. Life Turn is for the, the living. Kids against the parents. Exactly. His Do you group- think that, that, that when someone is rich, they should give all of their money to the youngest person in their family? Life I'd is say, for the living. You I'd know? say life is for the living and money is for the Gillian. So find the mm-hmm. person in your family named Gillian and give all of your money to he or she. He or she. And there and it could be a he. There, there could be s- a male Gillian. There could be. Have I've, you ever met one? Not yet. Okay. I'm tired of not listening over here. <laughs> okay, honey. <laughs> listen again. 
<laughs> What's that? Hey, did somebody record me saying something and then just play it back? What, uh... What are you going to do with all your money, Gary? Yeah, what are you going to do with all your well, money, Gary? obviously, what am I going to do with all my money? I'm Gary. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm going to try to take the bulk of it, of my treasures with me to the afterlife. But yeah. why? He collected them. Why shouldn't he? I don't want to show up there. Uh, I have to uh, turn out my pockets, uh, have the moths fly out. You know, I have be- a question, though. If you're from another dimension, are you going to an afterlife or are you just going back to another planet where you you will continue to live? No, I'm going to go to American heaven. I've decided. Why? Uh, I'm I'm a proud American. But if you could continue to live in your home dimension, why would you choose to die and go to American heaven? But American heaven I don't choose to die, but I know that the hour of my death will one day Uh arrive. Wait, 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 wait. You're not immortal? No. What? I'm just a regular guy from another dimension. <laughs> but we've haven't we established that you're very old as well? I'm like very old. But several that, hundred years? Uh, that's not canon. Okay, that's not that's a not canon. canonical that's appearance. That's not cano- non-canonical. <laughs> okay, great. That was in some fanfic? <laughs> well, I was try- uh, you remember, I'm very clever. I was yeah. trying to trick everybody that <laughs> oh, I was an alien. Oh, right. That I had impregnated you with an alien baby. Yeah. It right. turned out it was just a doll. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's, that's why I'm so confused about your guys' relationship. I'm confused, too. I- sure. Okay. It's confusing. So I can kill you. That's what we've established. Today. Anyone can kill me. You're killable. They're welcome to try. Okay. Have okay. many tried? A few, yeah. yeah. I've had, I've had my uh, fair share of uh, close calls. Yeah, not just the monsters either. Like people not in showbiz. Just, I've yet to meet a monster. One of these days, though. <laughs> yeah. So but I can a lot show of people. You monster. Hold on a second. What monsters? Why have you not told me this before? Well, honey, I thought you wanted to be with me for me, not for my ability to take you to the homes and lairs of various monsters. You're a despicable human being. Why would I want to be with you for you? You've made no bones about the fact that you want me to die so you can have all my money. I think I told Scott while you weren't listening that I would share some of the money with your grandchildren. So how despicable am I now? Deal breaker. (laughs) You don't want them to get I don't want them to get one red cent. I thought you liked your grandchildren. I like them, but... uh, Like is the the enemy of love. The language. That's right. (laughs) Just as good as the enemy of great. Yep. Oh. And perfect is the enemy of... Me. Of imperfect. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay. It would be Greece is the enemy of happy days. And girls and, do what when they see grease lightning? I, oh, another one trying to get me to say it. If he Okay. If he gets tricked back to his home dimension. Am I supposed yeah. to listen to this or no? No, uh, cover no, your cover ears. Your sure. Come on. Absolutely. If he gets close my earlids. Show him. Yes. Scott. If he gets tricked back to his own dimension yeah. and he's gone for a while, yeah. you can put out a missing persons report and he will be declared dead oh. and therefore you can get all of his money. Okay, let's get him to a pyramid. Where's the closest pyramid? Okay, I don't think we need to get him to a pyramid. We just don't need we to need trick that? him to say to say uh, what chicks will do when they see. Oh, that's right. That right. sends him back too. I right, forgot right, right, about right, that right. loophole. Okay, so, okay, how are we gonna do it? I don't know. We'll just keep hammering him. I think just repeatedly hammering. Yeah, hopefully. What if I drug him? Okay, I, I, that's wow. You are really getting dark here. We what do you need this money, Scott? We wait. Am I in on this? What You'll is? get ten dollars. Oh boy. Just, uh, honey, uh, listen again. Oh, okay. <laughs> here I am listening. Here, I uh, let me take this uh, mysterious envelope from my purse and pour its contents into your glass of water. Sure. <laughs> Are you thirsty, honey? Parched. It, you know, Los Angeles was built on a desert, so it's understandable if you're very thirsty right mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, you know what? Now that you've given me the history, I am kind of thirsty. <laughs> Drink up. I'm covering my face because the pictures you take of me for this show are horrible. Why don't you sit there and make a nice pose, and then I'll take the picture. No, the lighting is abysmal. <laughs> Let's turn it. Can we t- why don't you go Actresses. over and turn out the lights? Gilly, turn out the light. Oh, right. yeah. Then All you right. have the natural light coming yeah. in. Gilly's going to walk. Meanwhile, while she's gone. Yeah. You know, it is very hot and arid in here. Why don't you take a sip of water? <laughs> All right. All right. There we go. Yeah, slurp away. <sighs> That's good water with a faintly strange aftertaste. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel a... Gary. Gary. Don't wake up, Gary. Can you hear me through your slumber? If yes, you yes, Gilly. Yes, yes. How are you able to hypnotize him that fast? Secret lady charms. Gary. Yes, my mistress. 
I have a question for you, Carrie. I will do your bidding. What happens when girls see Chris? Can't hear you. Yeah. Speak up a little. I'm asleep. What happens when what girls... Don't use a ghost voice. It's scary. <laughs> what happens when girls see ghost Grease Lady? <laughs> I think you fucked this up. <laughs> it is forbidden to speak aloud. No! Let me into an inner sanctum of your mind. Oh, oh. <laughs> so loud. You woke me up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. What a beautiful dream. Well, wait. Can we look at him before the There's end of the show? There's a chamber inside his mind. Oh, boy. I don't have the key. You don't have the psychic key to get in there? Let me think, oh. think, think, think. All right. I heard most of that, by the way, because you did not tell me to stop listening. Oh, okay. God. We got to really get you our shit together, Gilly. You're bad at this. What if I hit him with a two by four? Gilly. Hey, what? Hey. Don't do it. Gilly. Gilly, come on. Sorry. Sorry. All right. What do, what do you have there? What do you, you got a diary? What is that? I'm thumbing through. Oh, the, that's ours. <laughs> that's the Earwolf guest book. It's the Earwolf <laughs> guest book that no one seems to sign. Everyone's oh. very eager to sign the table. Not yeah. that eager to sign the book. You know why? There. Because signing a table, it feels forbidden. It feels Ooh. like you're being naughty and getting away with something. Just mm-hmm. like our love. Oh, that's right. By the way, I don't know if we, if I established for the new listener exactly what was going on. Who would on that between. be? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you said singular, listener. <laughs> yeah. Is but, that who's uh, left listening? These two, <gasps> these two were married last year. And now you're not. Briefly. I, 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 now you're not, or what is it? Well, I have my lawyers looking into Bel Air divorces. I don't think they hold a lot. Denzel Good Washington. Luck. <laughs> Good luck. Denzel Washington, Paul Reiser. <laughs> they, they're the they only ones who can present. perform them. That's right. Okay, so Paul uh, Paul Reiser may or Ooh, may not have Oh, that was a close one. Ooh, oh, boy. Almost, almost I very really sad. I really feel like I got away with one there. <laughs> um, now, uh, 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 Gilly. Paul Reiser also... How much money does he have? Oh, you he's, couldn't even begin to imagine. He's your former NBC mate. Yes. Yes, he had w- a wasn't, show. Wasn't he rubbing up against you uh, one of those years? Mm, he had a show on NBC. Like, what are you talking time, about? Time slot wise? <laughs> um, if you mean by rubbing up against me, he was on NBC within the last five years. Yes. Like right next to Community. What was it, it called? Was it? The Paul Reiser Show? Correct. Paul Reiser Show, yeah. And he was, he was playing himself. It was like a Seinfeld sort of thing. Well, almost. Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. More like a Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. Uh, Are you friends with Larry David? Uh, we're acquaintances. He has money, too, and he's divorced. That's, That's true. true. See? But Why don't you hit has, him with a two by four? He only has half his money now. That's ah, correct. Good point. Mm. Good point. But maybe Is your he's... wife still alive? Barbara, yes. All right. She's almost out of suspended animation. <laughs> Is it Barbara Sinatra? Did we ever establish that? We established that it was not. <laughs> okay, good. I love her, Barbara, with the laughing face. No, that's what? that's Nancy. Nancy. <laughs> what was the song he sang about her? Barbara. He sang some song about Barbara. Really? I think he did. The lady is a tramp. Yeah. Uh, he, I don't know about He had that. one for Nancy. He had one for Tina. Did he have one for Barbara? What was the song for Tina? Tina. 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 Who's Tina? Tina was his other Tina daughter. Tina Sinatra, his other daughter. Yeah. She did not go into the biz. No. He's, you got Frank Jr. Okay. You what got, did he do? He was is a singer. Famously kidnapped. Yeah, very, very famously. By whom? Kidnappers. What? They're out they, there, Gilly. He was kidnapped, and then uh, a lot of people said it was a hoax. That Just, it was a publicity stunt. Uh, try to get, uh, you know... Uh, Some love out of Frank Sinatra. <laughs> no dice. <laughs> no Didn't dice. Didn't work. No, sir. How much money did they have to pay for his return? Did they pay anything? I I, don't I, I believe the kidnappers were caught. Mm. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So you got those. Three. Don't call me on that. Okay. <laughs> also, don't assume that I had a part of it. I'm uh, gonna. Oh. We're what? gonna. No. We're gonna have a, uh, an earwolf T-shirt where it's a quote from you. <laughs> the kidnappers were caught. I just asked you not to quote me on that. <laughs> the kidnappers. Now were you're caught. saying you're gonna put Gary on Marshall. clothing? Yep. Sorry. Sorry. You know what, though? I approve of that T-shirt. <laughs> the kidnappers were caught. It's a real conversation starter. Hey, you know what? You have a T-shirt out there that uh, we may be sold out of. I'm not really sure. I hope it. so. It please. says, please call me Gary. It's a picture of my face yelling. There might be some in irregular sizes still left at the Earwolf store. Wait, if I've... you're very large or very tiny, you're in luck. I have a question. For once. Who is <laughs> your greatest um, showbiz enemy? Oh, yeah, your Ooh, adversary. Well... I don't like to say this because it makes me seem very small, but it's my sister Penny. Oh, yeah, really? we talked about her a little yeah, bit. You guys yeah, haven't yeah. spoken in twenty-seven years or so. Yeah, we never we didn't speak through the entirety of Laverne and Shirley. Okay. Uh, you know, she when she uh, said she wanted to get into directing, I took it very personal. Yeah, yeah, she called you're a me director. recently. What? What's yeah. this? Yeah. 
When? She called me about six weeks ago. Uh, she. Uh, Why are you covering your face? We turned out the lights. I know, but I, st- I just look so terrible in these photographs. I, I just can't have another one. Ugh. This is the only way I can insure. <laughs> Wait, did you want some insure? <laughs> <laughs> I go along with that I Molly. I always carry some. <laughs> Yeah, so Molly would an insure chaser. <laughs> Wait, we took some meow meow, but I don't remember what that does to you. Uh, it makes you crave cat food. Okay. Um, you start talking like that cat from uh, the cat puppet from Mr. Rogers. God damn it, Gilly, get to what Laverne said. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Laverne said that she also was very wealthy and she was interested in meeting up with me. What? And that she had established a family trust where she was looking to um, get your money from you, combine it with her money, and then, um, wait, wait, what was the last part? Oh, yeah, kill you. (gasps) Amazing. This is very distressing news. I have another question, though. Oh, Oh, for whom? Let's move off of that. <laughs> for you. Death threat by when my you own say you, are you talking to Gary or to me? I pointed, the listener will understand, I pointed to my once and future husband. Uh, is she from another dimension as well? Oh. Or are you the only one in your family from another dimension? I am the only one in my family from another dimension. Interesting. Yeah. We're all related by blood. <laughs> Interesting. But you're, so presumably your father was a dimension hopper? I guess. I guess. I didn't know him very well. Yeah. Oh, so he had another family in the alternate dimension. No, it's the same family. So your mother gave birth to you in the alternate dimension. I was born in an alternate dimension. And then you have a naturalized American citizen. Okay, got it. Very proud of you. I do have a dual citizenship. Okay, interesting. What's your passport look like? Uh, Well, the one passport, it's uh, blue. It's got my picture on it. Mm -hmm. There's like American flags and stuff. United States. Oh, you're probably more interested in the other one. Sure. I mean, yeah. The other one is a glowing cube. <laughs> Do you have to insert it into anything? <laughs> yeah, there's a, a, there's a kiosk. <laughs> yeah, and you just put it right in when there. When I transfer dimensions, uh, does yeah. that make it go quicker? I, mean, I think it's anytime, a lot faster. Yeah, yeah. You're you get to keep though, right? your shoes on. Uh, you don't have to have your uh, your brains pulled out through your nose. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Can you keep a sweater on an outer layer? Yeah. Oh, so no. nice. well if you if you're if you're an elderly man like me. Yeah. How much money do you have in this other dimension? Oh, it's about the same. It's 50-50. Really? And would I live one-to-one eternally? Ratio? Okay, would I live eternally in the other dimension? Yeah. Well, why can't we just go there? I'd like to go there now. Ooh, you and me together for eternity. <laughs> Is there anything in this other? Are, are there stores and shops and stuff that you could buy stuff with? Is uh, there? There's plenty of stores and shops. You don't have to buy anything. Everything's free. What? Yeah. So, so the money thing doesn't even matter because nope. there's just a surplus. Just makes it nicer. Okay, so is Barbara planning on going to this other dimension with you, or does she want to die and go to American heaven? We have, re- well, the, there's the thing. She wants to go to the other dimension yeah. and live forever. Yeah. I said, honey, uh, it's a long time to fill the days, you know? <laughs> Better off uh, we live in natural lifespan, die, and go to our patriotic American heaven. Couldn't you direct movies in that alternate dimension, or are there no movie oh, theaters? Oh, movie or- I wanted to, yeah. Really? Are you the most successful director ever in the alternate dimension? Uh, it's not for me to say, but yes. <gasps> Why can't we go there? I mean, I, we could get divorced there. I'd take all of your money there, but it wouldn't even matter because everything's Honey, free. sweetheart, but we're I, already divorced. <sighs> this is, I got to tell you, this isn't going to happen. Fool, w- fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, I'm not marrying you and taking you to uh, an immortal other dimension. I thought it was fool me twice. Shame on me. No, fool me to what was it? Fool me once. Shame on you. Shame on you. No, my friend. Teach a man to to, shame me, and I'll fool you for the rest of your life if you're a fish. That's right. It was teach a man to fish, fool me twice. Never mind. My friend J.W. Stillwater was. Ooh, the vigilante. Oh, you know him? From Cumberbatch County? Oh, yeah. They got the Bearcat Scanner. Yeah. Yeah, you know him. Uh, Gillian is uh, looking very confused right now. Uh, I, I what promise else is you, new? I promise you I would go to the opposite side of this dimension. I would never bother you again. This dimension have sides? Yeah, four. See? Is that why your passport Scott, is a cube? Scott, back me up on this. I can maybe get you there, too. You, I don't want to go to some other dimension. I'm finally breaking in oh, this dimension. Oh, you come. You, It'll be great. Really? Yeah, they love you over there. You're a they huge yep. star in this other dimension. Really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. IFC is the number one channel in this other what? dimension. That's right. <laughs> this is a bizarro dimension. That's well, it, all yeah. the opposites. Yeah, that's right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a completely opposite. Wow. Something that nobody cares about here 
is widely celebrated over there. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I should go over there. Now, look, can we table this talk of uh, other dimensions fine. just for a second? Let's table it. Someone has sent me a lovely gift Oh, here. that's right. When, we've, when we got Wolf to the Studios. studio today, uh, someone sent, and it's just serendipity, but uh, someone sent to the Earwolf Studios a package, and it's addressed to Gary Marshall. Yeah, that's me. Um, and Gary uh, is spelled wrong, one R. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's not the end of the world. It has a num. It has a lot of numbers on the side. I don't know what they mean. One four two one is on the side. Hmm. I think maybe those were numbers like they got the box from a previous box. Does that make sense? Yeah. It was holding something yeah. different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Okay, Who knows? so I'm opening it up. Okay, ooh, what do we got ooh, inside? Ooh, ooh. Oh, if it's, it's expensive. A little, I want it's it. It's a little uh, pillow. Oh. There's a note pinned to it with straight pins. Oh, okay. And it says. Uh, it's, it's dated November 25th, 2013. Hey, thanks for finally getting it around to me. <laughs> Dear Mr. Marshall, let me just uh, uh, stop, uh, pause for one second. Say, please call me Gary. <laughs> it goes on. Please accept this pillow as my vote for 2013 best moment on comedy. Bang, bang. Uh, I am honored that it will bring you nostalgic bliss and saddened that I must now smother you with it. Well, I don't care for what? that part. <laughs> We a woman or a man you. after my own heart. Ooh, so what a polite threat. <laughs> Love, Whitney Pearl. Whitney Pearl. The what old is, blue singer from the 1920s. What does the pillow say, if I may ask? Uh, P.S. The, you can follow me on Twitter before the lights go out forever. At Beardwit. Okay. Uh, right? Uh, a lot, right. Of, but a what, lot of talk of my death in there. I didn't yeah. care for it. What does the pillow say? Uh, there's not a stone's throw of negative in dreaming. <laughs> I believe that was a quote from one of your last uh, appearances. Oh, really? Yes. What could it mean? <laughs> I think I, in my typical fashion, didn't quite know how to say what I wanted to say, and I think I started <laughs> saying that. <laughs> and I instantly started mocking you. There's not a stone's throw of negative in dreaming. <laughs> I hope someone puts that on a pillow and smothers me. <laughs> And it became a beloved <laughs> pillow. stitched quote on a on a pillow. And on the back of that pillow, cars. Uh, there's a bunch of cars. Yeah, because hey, you've driven in cars. <laughs> I have, I've driven in over 400 cars. Right. You've counted all the cars you've ever been in. Of course. I got a weird uh, condition. <laughs> <laughs> I w by the way, if you uh, are a child out there, and why would you be? But if you if you there's are, no money in it. If you're a child. Start counting as the cars that you've been in. Oh, that you know what, Scott? That's good advice, son. I, I say this to all young people. Start counting the cars you've ridden in. Yeah. You Not just driven. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, are you in bad shape? What's going yes! on with your credit? I need your money. Hey, what? you know what? I think I have a solution to this. What? I, I love my wife, Barbara. <sighs> We're going to be together forever. Uh, whether it's on this plane, in another dimension, or American heaven. Stop rubbing it in my face. But if you like film directors yeah. with a lot of money, okay. I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. I'm going to go get him. Hold okay. on. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, this is exciting. Hey, come on in. Yeah, oh, someone else is coming on the show. Who's Sit this? Down here. Here we go. I don't know this person. Who is? Oh, it? hello. How's it going, everyone? Nice to see you. Oh, hi. hello. hello, sir. How hello. do you do? Hi. Oh, look oh. at you. You're a lovely little thing. Oh, thank Feeling you very much. I don't know this guy. Who this is says my friend Len. Len Wiseman, he's the director of the Underworld Pictures. Oh, that's right. Oh, Len Wiseman. It's, it's a, have you seen him, the Underworld Pictures? I can't say that I have. Oh! But I won't say that I haven't. Listen, well, that's very diplomatic. I like you. They're very exciting pictures. About a, it's a war between vampires and werewolves. They hate each other. Oh, okay. And they're trying to kill each other all the time. Let me. Uh, so, uh... Has a vampire and a werewolf ever mated and created some sort of half breed? Oh, good question. It's funny that you mention that because that's exactly what happened. <gasps> that's what I would have happen if I were writing. Right? Everyone wants to see it. You see yeah. them, and they're so dark you saw and the mysterious. Sex? You saw the sex? Yeah. Is well, one, one of the movies just hardcore sex between a vampire and the a werewolf? The director's cut, and I'm the director. Oh. <laughs> but there's a lot of, in the director's cut, which you can get on DVD, I think it's okay. on Blu ray. There's a lot of hardcore vampire and lichen. That's what we call them. Oh, What's a right. lichen? A lichen's a werewolf, but we try to fancy it up a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh. It's, it's kind of weird to say werewolf the whole time. Werewolf? 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 Werewolf. Where? 
Why is that weird? Now, why is that weird? Because we were approaching it from a from a place of let's make it sound sexy. You know, so sexy. It's like, like a sexy. <laughs> I like it. Look out. Look out. It's a like What are they capable of? I don't even know. Yeah, but, but isn't that confusing for the audience if they don't know what a lichen is? And well, that's talking. the thing. We tried to make it less confusing because we said werewolf. We had it. We were afraid yeah. that people were going to picture, you know, Lon Chaney Jr. He's wearing uh, the, mm-hmm. the 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 sleeveless t shirt and uh, slacks, and he's uh, he's hairy. Or Michael Landon. Michael Landon from I was a teenaged werewolf. Mm-hmm. I looked up all the werewolf pictures. Is it teenaged or teenage? It might, you might be right. Okay. <laughs> but he. He was teenaged. He was the age of a teen as well. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, Gary and I met each other at a DGA fundraiser. Mm, what were you raising money for? The DGA. Okay. It's nice to have money. Sure. And um, Seems like the dues would cover that. Wait, it's, how's your health care plan, DGA? Wise? Oh, it's it's the best one. And if, Something wrong with your health? If Gilly? you marry someone, do you get... Do they get to be on your DGA health Oh, plan? yes, they do. Interesting. interesting. Yeah. Interesting, Are you okay? Interesting. I've got a variety of illnesses, maladies. Mostly um, mental. Listen, the reason I invited Len down here is uh, I thought maybe you two would get along. I, Gary told me yeah. that he knew a hot little number Thanks. who was single and looking to mingle. A little and sh- I said, let me in there. I ah. just feel a little strange about this because... Why is that, hun? Well, I had no problem trying to kill Barbara Marshall, but... I don't want to kill Kate Beckinsale. Oh, wait. Oh. Are you married to Kate Beckinsale? I guess you could say I'm married to Kate Beckinsale. Yeah, she's okay. kind of my wife. I just You're what? My wife. Okay. So Yeah, we we, we do wife and husband things. We hang out yeah. together. We, Your wife. We spend time my wife. Yeah, we spend time Your at home. Wife. She's my wife. We spend time at home. Your you know what we like to do? Wife. We like to watch television together. Oh. That's I'm into that. One of our favorite shows. I don't know if you've seen it. It's no. about a small town in Texas. High school football is the big attraction there. Mm. Yeah, I can I'm drawing a blank. Um Wait, uh t- under the dome. No, I don't, I don't think that's about high school football. Intelligence. Ah. Not intelligence. That's Under about the Dome, a guy with a computer head. Under the Dome has so many characters in it that conceivably some of them have played high school football. Well, you could say that about literally anything <laughs> written since the invention of high school football. So that, I think, is casting too wide a net. When was the invention of high school football? Oh, we yeah. 1620. Oh, when the pilgrims landed. <laughs> at they immediately Rock. set up a touchdown. They game. said, okay, kids, here's what we want you to do. Buckle your hats up real tight. Start running at each other. Fight over a ball. We want some of you to have concussions by the end of the day. That's right. Wow. I don't know what this show is. Oh, it's called Friday Night Lights. Uh, I don't... Friday Night Lights, it's called. Mm. What's the matter? You feel like you're trying to say something. What's going on with you? What's happening? You got a tick? Spit it out, son. What's happening? What's with this guy? I don't know. He's a lunatic. Friday Night Lights. Sorry. Sorry. That was a strange thing to bear witness to. Oh, boy. I am really sorry. You seem like you have mental illness. I, I don't know what... Do you? <laughs> sort of. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think Gilly and I may We all do. Look, we're all in a hey, crazy business. We're all a little nutty. Not me! <laughs> no, Gary. I'm a sane not. person. I just... Okay, Len, let me ask you this. Uh, ask me anything because I'm an open book. I okay. Call him Mr. Weissman. Though. Okay, Mr. No, don't call me Len. <laughs> okay, Len. Oh, I like the way you say it. Is that short for lentil? Is yes, it? that's right. <laughs> Lentil Wiseman from Fremont, California. All right, Lentil. I know that the Underworld Pictures have been very successful. Hugely successful. Everyone loved them. Great. Loved? There are Loved. More. <laughs> so after the first— Well, there's more coming. Don't oh. worry. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm I... not done with the Underworld-verse. Here's my question, though. Okay. Do you have profit participation in the franchise? Oh, yes. Of course I do. So how many points do you have? All of them. You have all of the points. The studio takes the the net profit. Okay. And I get the gross. Okay. I get points on everything. Wait, money. You keeps get the gross in. profit of the movie? That's right. And, and I give the studio they... the net profit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all so goes you, through me. So it goes to you first and yeah. then you... Okay. The check, the check for... 
The box office gross. <laughs> it just goes right to goes you. Goes right to me. So everyone who owns a movie theater has well, to write to you a box. check. Not to my house. Wait, they, what's your PO box? Where's it oh, located? It says sixteen twenty. Wait a minute. You almost got me. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know, that was a close one. Woo! Interesting, 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 interesting. Yeah, so I'm filthy rich. Got it. Now, what's the Kate Beckinsale situation? Yeah, what's going on with her? Well, you know, we're married, but uh, she was married when I met her, and then she wasn't, and then she was married to me. So I'm saying things are fluid. Uh, There's an ebb and flow to life, and, uh, you know, it's Hollywood, darling. You know what I'm saying? So would you be willing – okay, where do you live? I live in Bel Air. Oh, fuck. Well, What's the, the matter? Uh, is that where the P.O. box is? You almost got me again. Uh, it is. It is. It is. It is in Bel Air. something in Bel Air and the Bel Air yeah. post office. You know, I made a P.O. box map. It's like a treasure map, but uh, instead of treasure, it's the P.O. box. Okay. Yeah. And if you get there, <laughs> you can try to impersonate me and get the key to open it. Okay. But good luck. <laughs> well, what if I talk like this? Ugh, what? I mean, maybe. I feel like I'm listening to Amira. Well... Excuse me, could I open up my P.O. box? Oh, now you're losing it. I'm Len Weiss. It started off pretty good. Ah, you know. But then you lost it towards Hey, you know, I'll perfect it. I feel like, well, look, they are very security conscious at this P.O. box place. They are very It's a mailbox, et cetera. It's a mailbox, et cetera. Do you even, yes. Do you even know Latin? Latin. Latin. (laughs) Et cetera is Latin. Et cetera? Now this do is, tell. This is starting to get insulting. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> you're just doing me to me. Okay, well, I'm going to get it. I'm going to, and I'll be out there at that mailboxes, right. et cetera, well, you know, in Bel Air. It helps to look like the person, too. You can't All just right. show up and sound well, like describe the yourself. How would you? Uh, oh, I'm very handsome. Very handsome. Thank very you. Handsome. Very handsome. Is that I'm a handsome young you, man? Gilly? No, it's not, obviously. Yeah. I'm not, and I'm not an elderly man either. I'm in my 40s. I'm a good looking guy. He's not going to die soon. Ah, uh, but I know. Good looking guy, beautiful wife. Can, can I ask you a question? Well, are you yeah. are you by any chance from another dimension? Well, I mean, if you consider going to Cupertino High School in another dimension, <laughs> then yes. <laughs> Bravo, sir. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. I like to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you like to have fun with murder? Oh, I guess that depends. I mean, what did you have in mind? Well, Okay. Are we well, talking about a naughty game? Could be. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, What's Len, that? Len, could you put on earmuffs for a second? Oh, sure. Like not listen to you talk. Yeah, and Gary, you let you put them on either. Whatever. You're not... <laughs> Kill you. Try... Well, what's your game here? You Kill... trying to get Len to murder Gary? No, I was thinking more. Well, yeah, that would actually work better. That's a lot more money. Who do you think has more money, Gary Marshall or Kate Beckinsale? Wow, this is kind of a toss-up for me. I don't know. This Can is hard to gauge. you go on your phone and look up people's net worth? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, here. Yeah. Let me go on the phone. Because I was thinking, okay, we could kill Kate Beckinsale. Because mm-hmm. then there, she, the... he would probably inherit all of her money. Oh, my right? God, Gillian. What? You're not going to believe this. What? It's a tie. It's a tie? They have exactly the same amount of money. Oh, God. How wow. do I pick? How does one pick? <laughs> Should we flip a goat? What I'm not. Are you asking if we should masturbate a goat? <laughs> flip a goat. Yeah. Yeah. Flip. Hey, a- I heard that last exchange. <laughs> I don't know which made less sense. Wait, does flip a goat mean masturbate? I guess. In Who your, said that? In your <laughs> crazy, demented, sick, twisted mind, Look, it could mean whatever you want it to mean. I meant. We're all artists, right? Uh, you know what, guys? We have to take a break. Why? If that's even possible. Are we going to have a sex party? <laughs> I what? like this guy. Uh, I like him too. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm a very free spirit. Gary, sit the sex party out, okay? Oh, gladly. Just watch, though. Gary, yeah. Please watch from the corner. <laughs> it enhances it. All right. You'll see. We're going to take a break. We'll have a sex party while you're listening. Sex to, party. While you're listening to these ads. Love Enjoy. <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back. And you were saying something really funny about the movie Hugo. Oh, you? yeah. You know, here's what I said. I said, me no go to Hugo. You missed it. What's that? You missed Hugo. I didn't see it, no. Okay. I did. Well, you know, I, I saw it. We're back here with Gillian Jacobs, and you did see it? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. It was all right. All right. <laughs> Gillian Jacobs is here, and Len Weiss, Wiseman or Weissman? Wiseman. I say wise. Like man. the three Wisemen minus two. <laughs> and that's an easy way to remember your right? name. It's you like have- that's like what my friend Jay- <laughs> Jeremy Musketeer says to people. Oh yes, of course. 
And uh, Gary's over there in the corner. That's right. Over in the corner. R.E.M. That's me in the corner. How'd you enjoy the sex party? Uh, it was brief, mercifully. Yeah, it was brief. What was going on there? Not it my was, fault. Here's what I thought. It was just long enough. Oh. Well, it was, a, it was a, a break sex party. It's not like we had oh, all, all the time in the yeah. world. That's we just true. had a couple of ads. Listen, I would like to, let me formally invite the two of you, oh. because I think you're attractive, mm. sexy people. Oh. Thank you. To a sex party that I'm having tonight, tonight in my home in Bel Air. Oh my god! Oh, in Bel Air. Yeah. Okay. Kate Beckett sales having a girls' night. She's gonna. I got the house to myself. Usually, I'll, uh, I'll I'll watch a little football. Maybe I'll play some Xbox 360. Soon but to be Xbox One. Can't wait. The Super Bowl's done. Super so. Bowl's done. So now it's time for sex party season. Does Kate know about what you have going on with these sex parties? I'm sure she has an idea. The only rule is check your inhibitions at the door. Oh, uh, nothing I- is off limits. Everything is permitted. Fidelio. I have one question for Gary. Sure. Gary. Gary, come on over here. Am I allowed in Bel Air? Oh, what's that? Am I allowed within the city of Bel Air? Hey, it's a free country. You want to go into a gated community, uh, you can get in there, be my guest. If you're invited, you know, we, we operate by vampire rules yeah, in Bel Air. Yeah, I was going to say, he sounds that, like it. Gary, it's funny you should say that because I directed the Underworld pictures. <laughs> oh, with lichens as with, well. It was vampires and lichens. Yeah, Werewolves, what... No. It was lichens are werewolves. Is this the foundation of your friendship, your shared interest in lichens, vampires, and werewolves? Mytho- mythological creatures? You know what? I never put that together before. Have you ever seen one of Len's movies? I've seen all of them. Yeah. I love the Underworld franchise. Do Gary, you- that is flattering <laughs> to the extreme, and thank you very You've much. You've never told him that, Gary? No, I was uh, too embarrassed. I thought I'd uh, fangirl on him. <laughs> But you've never put it together that you are friends because you like those types of creatures and you've seen all the movies and love them? Look, we're both directors. There's a commonality of experience. Shared interest. That is true. Shared interest, commonality of experience. We're both used to telling people what to do. Do you guys talk about lenses a lot? (laughs) Yep. And I'm not talking about your uh, bifocals. Oh! 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 Gilly, a good roast. Uh, Gilly, I want a high five from you so bad. Uh, oh. That was a good roast. It was pretty good. I love roasting people. It's fun, isn't You've it? You've been roasted you at a like, high heat, my friend. Yeah, eating humans. Is that what you mean by that? Roasting people? What are you talking You're about? You're talking Gilly? about long pig? You know what I'm saying? What? What? Cannibalism. Oh, wait, yeah. wait a minute. In the other dimension, Gary. Yeah. Can you eat people? Sure. But. Nobody does it. Scott, <laughs> pitch me why you don't want to go to this dimension. Why do you want me to go? You're what? just going to give me $10 for I'm it. I'm sorry. What, what dimension I... are we talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't even pay attention to me during the sex party. What, I mean, why do you keep including Len me? Len is very stuff? enchanting. I, I had nothing Look, to do. I'm I an mean, attractive guy. Well, I mean, I'm a bit of a home wrecker. That I, I, I got to say, it hurts my feelings. We had this sex party. I like yeah. broke to a commercial. You don't feel I, I paid enough it. attention to you? Len paid a lot of attention a to you. A lot of eye contact, Len. But, but not much more. Oh, that counts as attention in my book. Okay. Someone's looking at me, I feel like they're paying attention. I mean, Gary was also left out. You could have paid attention to Gary. I no. was happily left out. Gary didn't want to be left I in. I did not want He's to, please. He's playing it coy, demure. Uh, there's a little truth to that. Gilly, what do you want? Uh, what do you want I got some me? great sketches done. What do you want from me? I'm not rich by any means. No, but you... we could all be rich in this other dimension. You just, just it's kind of like friendship. I mean, yes. you come on the show. I'll, Listen, I'll... can I say something? Yes, do. As a rich person. Thank you. It's not all it's cracked up to be. <gasps> no. Have you heard the expression, mo money, mo problems? Uh, I don't believe no. I've ever heard that. Simply no. put, the more money you have, the more problems you're likely to have. Oh, when you say more, I kind of get it, but yeah. you were saying something differently. Before. Well, it's it's the it's the it's a quaint vernacular. Mm. Um, mo apostrophe money, mo apostrophe problems. Like Mo Collins, like Mo Better Blues. Oh, okay. Or Mo Rocca. <laughs> oh, I like Mo Rocca. Who doesn't? CBS Sunday Morning. Forget about it. Here's what I do: uh, we shoo all the sex party guests out of the house mm-hmm. on Sunday morning. And then uh, getting ready for football. Getting ready for football. And then <laughs> me and KK, we sit there on the couch. K-K. We snuggle. Yeah, K Pegginsale. Oh, okay. We snuggle together. Uh, we wait for that trumpet to sound. Mm-hmm. Which what does it mean? Gabriel's coming to destroy the earth? No. 
It means Charles Osgood's going to show up with his bow tie mm. and tell us about some quaint stuff going on. Is there a prophecy that Gabriel's going to destroy the earth? I've never I think, heard that I, one before. I think it said uh, that uh, Gabriel's trumpet, when it blows, yeah, that means sh- the beginning of the end times. Really? Is that correct? Didn't he show so. up and some city fell or something like that? That's Joshua. Oh, okay. That's from uh, the Old Testament, trumpet? my people's book. We call it the Torah. And uh, Joshua blew the trumpet and brought down the, the walls of Jericho. Len, I, oh, sorry. I, I had a question. The sure. first time you met Gary, did you think he was Italian? Yeah, do you guys go to the same temple or? I could No, I don't believe he's Jewish. He's an Italian man. Oh, okay. But I studied up on my directives. I know everything about every director. Ask me any question about a director. Any director? Any director from the beginning of film to the wow. future. Who's the richest one? Gary Marshall. Wow. Wow. Probably because he dabbled in so oh, much TV. He's, yeah. he's the richest living director. Oh, oh who's the richest dead? Sidney Pollack. Sidney uh, Pollack? Yes. What? He, what? he discovered a diamond fountain. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, no one else knew where it was. He'd periodically take these trips, and then he'd come back with just a duffel bag full of diamonds. Mm. Interesting. And what he'd about- have parties, and we'd go over and watch them. We'd look at the diamonds. you just watch the diamonds? Yeah. He'd put them in a big pile, and we'd watch them. They're more and then fascinating have a sex, than you And then have a sex party. Okay, uh, okay. I was, okay. was going to say, how but long you know, did the watching the diamonds here's take? Here's the thing. Well, it doesn't take long because there's something about looking at a big pile of diamonds glittering in the middle of a mansion <laughs> living room. Okay. It just gets the old juices flowing. Oh, you just bet, go out yeah. of your mind. And then it's look out. I'm going to have sex with the person, whoever's next to Len, It's like I'm, a feeling of power. Yeah, I'm going to go out on yeah. a limb. What doesn't get your juices flowing, Len? Mm-hmm. Oof. And when, we, and when we're talking about juices, we're talking about semen, right? Well, here's yes. what. Yes. I mean, blood is also a juice. Oh. So do you like urine, to incorporate blood into your. It's also a juice. <laughs> Let's name all the juices from the body we can. Mucus. Okay. Mucus. I guess the juice. Yeah, booger juice. Urine Are they juice. the same thing? <laughs> they might be the same thing. Urine, semen, blood, <laughs> spit, bile, spittle, bile. It's kind oh, of I like spittle. bile. Um, Diarrhea. The jelly that's in your eyeballs. Oh, correct. Uh, oh, what about the wax in your ears? What not if you a liqui- juice. Well, not what a if juice. you liquefy it? Saliva. Uh, if you liquefy it, anything could be a juice. That's true. <laughs> I mean, you that's what we learned. Spittle. That's what we learned oh, okay. by uh, juices, right? Mm-hmm. Is that uh, you can make it? What about a juice? toe juice? Sweat. Sweat is a juice. There okay. we go. Okay. Thank you. The, Wait, you call juice. sweat toe juice? Yep. It's the juice that everyone forgets. A lot of people don't juice. know that the, the foot is the sweatiest part of the body. And yep. that's why we wear socks to collect that sweat and to disperse it. It's disgusting. I have an anti-foot fetish. Now, look, I'm a very sensual person. Yeah. Clearly. But I think that's clear. You yeah. kept your but boots on during- Oh, I wouldn't was... want you to see my feet. It's disgusting. It's you, shameful. You were taking Bono's lyrics to heart there. Get on your boots. Get on your boots. Yeah, I got them on and mm-hmm. I left them on. Yeah. He wow. didn't He didn't sing that, but it was implied. Boots. Leave on your boots. Who's that? <laughs> What were we talking about? Oh, juices. Juices. We I, oh, milk. Milk. Lemonade. Around the corner, fudge is made. There but, we go. But milk is a juice. Milk is the what? juice. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mil- Boobies. The body makes milk. Yeah. <laughs> you were very confused by that for a long I forgot. time. I forgot. Do you forgot. know what I was a little bit, too? I forgot. I forgot that boobs make milk. Have you ever had milk come out of one of your boobs? Nope. <laughs> Will you ever? Mm. No, no kids aren't in the future for you. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I really want to lock down my financial future before I consider You're having. Very children. concerned with mm-hmm. money. <laughs> Listen, back to what I was saying. Mm-hmm. It's not all it's cracked up to be. Here's here's the secret to life, if I may. I'm not, you know, I I, I don't have it. All. I'm in my forties, right? I don't have it all figured out. Mm-hmm. But I've lived long enough to know that it's all about enjoying life, doing what you love to do, mm. having good friends, good family around you, sex parties, watching football, <laughs> <laughs> and a good cup of coffee in the morning. Wow. That's I think great money advice. would It's help. not complicated, yeah, you know? Yeah, but don't you think I could get a better cup of coffee if I had money? Oh, no, of course you could. you get the best coffee. See? Exactly. Like the coffee, the coffee that I have every yeah. morning, it would make you feel like you're having a sex party. See? And your taste buds. Scott, come on. Let's marry Len together. What? Oh, this is sudden. Wait, it's three- I, I'm overcome. I don't know a what to three-way say. three-way marriage? I mean, yes. are you proposing that I we am. get married? Once, I am. Once they started uh, making gay marriage legal, I think anything goes. So, Oh, oh God. Scott. What? Slippery slope? Slippery You're invoking slope. the slippery slope? Yeah. Here's the slippery slope rule. Listen, I'm not going to marry any dogs. <laughs> okay. Hey, I have a horse, though. How about this? Because yeah. I don't... I I I don't I don't believe in the slippery slope argument. Here's what let's do. 
I'll marry you, okay, sweetheart. Yes. Uh, you're a hot as a pistol, hmm. and I can't wait to get my hands on you. Again. <laughs> you already did. I again, I said like a snub oh, nose. We're revolver. already having fun fights. <laughs> And then since I don't believe in the slippery slope, I'll marry you later mm-hmm. in a secret ceremony. Mm-hmm. So I'll just be a bigamist. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Kate Beckinsale. Oh, oh, I forgot I was married. Oh, KK. Well. <sighs> KB let me, Toys. Let me talk to her. Oh, I call her that sometimes. How did you know? Oh, I just took a and shot sometimes at it. I, and sometimes I call her my little giraffe because Aww. of the mascot of KB Toys. Well, I believe that's the giraffe <laughs> Toys R Us. from Toys R Us. Oh, I didn't realize I was giving her a wrong pet she, name. She well, she has a very long neck, so maybe she's taking it as a compliment. She has a long, slender neck. Mm-hmm. She's like lovely. Like a sexy giraffe. She's lovely. She is. I call her the sexy giraffe. Yeah. She's lovely. I think if there were any animal that I could have sex with, mm-hmm. uh, if I had to have, uh, we'll just get that qualifier. Have you if had I, some? If I had to have sex with an animal, let's just say that. Sure. Slippery but slope. A giraffe. Uh, why? Because those long necks, they're the most like a tall, beautiful model. Yeah, I, let me let me ask you this because mm-hmm. you're onto something mm-hmm. here. <laughs> What's the biggest problem with sex? Is that um, you're getting into it, you're getting into crazy positions, mm-hmm. and you lose that face to face intimacy sometimes. Mm-hmm. Not a problem with the giraffe because of the long necks. Oh, yeah, always, they can always turn be around kissing, to look always be whispering in your ear, <laughs> giraffe or I love you, whatever it is. I don't know if they even make noises. You think that a giraffe would say giraffe? <laughs> No, I'm saying giraffe like it's a language. Oh. The giraffe <laughs> version of I love it. I thought that you were saying a giraffe would whisper in your ear, giraffe. Well, you know, certainly that would be a sign of acceptance, right? Yeah. Y- if the giraffe co- addressed you as a giraffe, yeah. you'd feel like we've really made a connection here. Yeah, yeah. Gary off- often said his own name when we were intimate. Really? I thought that's what you were supposed to do. You you're were supposed just... to remind the person that you're present, that you're part, you're, you're part of this experience, and I would say, Gary Marshall. Gilly, can I ask? Yeah. What? Did he ask you to call him during sex? He asked me to call him, please call me Gary. He asked to be called, please call me Gary? Yeah. That seems personal. I don't know why you're telling this guy this. Well, you're telling me that I don't have a shot with you. You will not take me to this other dimension. Gary, you're too uptight. And Thank you. And you loosen you. up. So you, guys are gonna get, you guys are going to get married here. and then Yeah, I'm, I think yeah. so. I'm going to slip uh, back alley Sally style. Yeah, the... and then I'll have a private ceremony with you like David Geffen had with Keanu Reeves. Oops. What? What? That's an urban legend from a long time oh. ago. You never heard that one? What? Hollywood lore. You know everything what? about any director. I do. I do. Even Tell... rumors and, and innuendos. Tell me about that guy who directed that train. That's This is my favorite film. The train coming right at the camera. Uh-huh. Oh, Bertram Cummings? <laughs> yes. Tell me something about him. I love I love that movie so much. You don't hear a lot about that guy. He was 12 years old when he directed that film. Wow. Yes. But he had that weird disease that makes you look like you're 30. Okay. Wow. Uh, but then back then, anyone who was 30 looked like they were 80. So, you know, not so bad. Yeah. So not bad. Yeah. Great. So, uh, yeah, he directed that. He was uh, in debt to the mafia. Bertram. Bertram Cummings. When he was 12 years old, in debt to the mafia. That's right. He had a crippling gambling addiction. Oh, okay. He gambled on hopscotch. Oh. Oh. Didn't have a talent for the game, but he loved the action. (laughs) Sure. Anyway, he had his head chopped off by the Cosa Nostra. (laughs) Whoa! Yeah. I guess that's why he never directed another film. Nope. That was it. One and done. I love that one he did, At least he made it count. It's so scary watching that. People Do you know, back then, people believed it was an actual gigantic black and white train. I believe that. That was coming out of a wall. That's why I love that movie so much. Yeah. Even though the world was in- Even though the world was in color, they saw this moving image of a train and they thought, oh, it's come to life. Yeah. Yeah. Great Great film. Jumped out of the way. Great film. Open and closed the same day. What's your favorite song? My favorite song, probably Happy Birthday by Mildred and Patty Hill. Those elderly spinsters. Oh, they miserly crones. <laughs> they won't hey. anyone use it. Wait, have how- you used Happy Birthday on Community? No, we have not. I under I already know this. I already know. It's why chain restaurants have their own goofy little birthday song. In case any of their spies are out hey. listening. Uh, I have a question. How much money do those women have from having copyrighted oh. Happy Birthday? They're the richest people on earth. But you know what? No one uses their song nowadays, so I think it's drying up. Really? Yeah. There's something that's been set in place since uh, the dawn of copyright. What? Which is that 
even if people don't pay for the song, uh-huh. they get money for it. How? how? The like government provides it. Oh, Why do you think a government is always having problems with money? Oh. It's because they're having to pay all this money to Mildred and Patty Hill. Ah, uh, Because the government is listening to everything we say and do. That's right. So they're monitoring every birthday party. Oh, this is oh. why. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have a lot of money. That's right. Are they alive? Yes, they are. They're in their 100s. Which one should I marry? Oh, that's a close call. I don't want to be – I don't like to be shallow or mm-hmm. petty. They haven't aged well. Okay. I think it's also because they're, they're evil. They're evil. Yeah. You they're I, evil. I don't have a problem with and that. And so they're, their outsides reflect their insides. Oh. So they're, they, they're gnarled old crones. They're like witches. They're they like... might as well be from a fairy tale yeah. or from the Underworld series of films. Oh. Will they be starring in your next Underworld movie? There might be movie. some witches coming up. <laughs> oh, okay. my God. I love this. And also uh, a leprechaun. This is like later seasons of True Blood. That's right. Or oh, the they movie got Leprechaun. crazy, right? Yeah. I'm having Warwick Davis is reprising Do his role. you mean role. Warwick? Is it Warwick? So Warwick. Yes. I said Warwick on this show previously, and I was hammered. It should be Warwick. It should be Warwick. I mean, why spell your name that way if you don't want to be called Warwick? Who, like more than one person told you you were wrong? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it. my heavens. Do they provide any links for proof? <laughs> links or it didn't happen, I said. Uh, links or it didn't happen. Uh, L-O-I-D-H. H, of course. Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> The Lloyd Huss Squad. Um, <laughs> From Movie Line Magazine. <laughs> oh, no, it was Premier. Premier had the Gaff Squad. And they would say, uh-oh, he's wearing his watch in the one scene, and then the other scene, he doesn't have his watch I on. love the Gaff Squad. I, I sh- love the Gaff Squad, too, Oh, Scott. that was my favorite. Why didn't they have... Well, how come the Gaff Squad didn't get their own TV show? Yes! Do you know, uh, Gillian, I think that you should be on a show that's like a drama, like an X-Files... Yes. Where you're investigating gaffs, and it turns yes. out they have a supernatural connection. The gaff squad. What do you like, think about that, Apple? Well, you know what? Your track record speaks for itself. You got the Midas touch, Len. Mm-hmm. I'd produce it, you know? I'd produce it, so I'd, I'd be the buffer between you and the network. Oh, thank God. But I wouldn't direct it, because we'd only end up having Boop! sex parties on set. <laughs> and no work would get done. <laughs> so how are you going to be the buffer if you're not going to be on set? Oh, no, he doesn't have to be on set. I'll do it all through emails Yeah, I'll call him with all of my complaints. I'm very hands-off as a producer. They can do whatever they want. Hands-on as a husband. That's right. You're a handful handful as an actress, right? I mean, I've heard stories about you on Community of just how how much trouble the network has. Are you a bit of a divine decadent diva? Oh, you know what? I, I say, if you haven't stormed off the set this week, go ahead and do it. At least once. Before the week is up. Mm-hmm. Before the week is up. It's Friday evening. Not too late. Just leave. What are your pet peeves about below the line people oh. and how they treat above the line people? Ugh. Ugh. You really put, moisten your lips. <laughs> you up put on one dollop of <laughs> chapstick. <laughs> I was about to speak a lot of words. Just one little tiny <laughs> section of your lips. <laughs> They're very dry. Los Angeles is uh, built on a desert. Um, Man, I've heard that. It makes me thirsty. I'm going to have a little Forget sip of water. it, Jake. It's Chinatown. <laughs> Classic film. Uh, my, uh, Who was that directed by? Could have used a werewolf. That was directed by Roman Polanski. Oh, you do know. Do you know a it. secret about him? What? Oh, he was convicted of statutory rape. Correct. Wow. Yeah. I've never heard that before. He had to flee the country. Correct. Wow. Where does he live now? Is France. He, is he still under house arrest? Wasn't he under house arrest for a while? Yeah, he's got an ankle bracelet. So they should call it an anklet. They should call it an anklet. You know why are you? Why are we wasting so much time? Ankle oh, you bracelet. know why? Because I think anklet means something else. What's it mean? It's like a little bracelet you wear around your ankle. <laughs> well, what's in an ankle bracelet? Uh, a, tr- a government tracker, so they know where you are at all times. So if you say. Ankle bracelet, it can only mean government tracker. That's right. Hmm, okay. You know what? I like this guy. He knows a lot of things. Oh, I, thank you I, very I've much. I've been noticing that uh, ever since that sex party, yeah. that during the break, that you guys have really been hitting it off. And I, you know what? I, uh, I bless this union. Really? I hey, really you know do. what? For what it's worth, I bless it too. Oh, I shut think up, too. Gary. Oh, well, the tables have turned. Claws in, cat. I'm sorry. He hurt my feelings. He was my first love. Your first love? My truest love. How old are you? (laughs) How old do you have to be to get married? I I don't know. I'm taking a guess. Well, I'm going to say, ooh, 12. Yeah, you can get married to 12, I think. You can. Appalachia? you have your parents' permission. No. 
You yeah. can't. No, yeah, you, you can't can. do that. I don't know, what? Fifteen. No. I I believe I believe sixteen is probably the earliest you can. Engineer get. Brett, get on internet. this. Get on this. I, I'm. Did you command him to type it into the internet? Yeah. Do you want to say whoever's closest wins? Win without going what? over. Yeah. That's right. Price is right rules. Price is right rules. I, right. I went in strong with twelve. I'm going to say one years old. <laughs> Wait, why are you underbidding me? Wait, that doesn't make you're not. Price good. is right you rules. Just say thirteen. Len, go up. It's as close as you can get without going over. Yes, right? close oh. without going over. Yeah. So All I'm right. saying twelve. I'm going to say seriously. Seriously. Fun, fun aside. Yeah. I'm going to say 16. You're saying 16. Okay, Gilly, I'm going to say go? 15. 15. What do we got, Engineer Brett? Okay. California, if either the bride or groom is under 18, at least one of the minor's parents or legal guardian must appear with the couple. So we're talking That's, zero. Yeah, there's no, it doesn't say. Whoa. I win. I guess you win. I win. You win. Wait. No, wait. The closest without going over. Oh, we all went over. Ah, That's too bad. Well, no. Nobody said 19. No, but we all no, we all It's s- under 18. No, but you can get married. You can get married under 18 if you yeah. if you but how young? That's what I'm what's saying. The, it's zero. Zero is the, the age. But I'm closer to the law. legal age you can get married without your parents. Technicality, present. no. Down boo over. Technicality, over. no down boo over. <laughs> wait, wait. There are more developments. Go ahead. <laughs> Technicality, no dumb boo over. I mean, you just have to appear before a superior court judge. But there's no minimum age, so we all went over. Is there like a committee where you have to make your case? Is this in Bel Air? Like, we're in love, we're young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what about, let me ask you this. What would Romeo and Juliet do in modern times if they wanted to get married? Uh, Romeo. They were just a couple of crazy kids. I prefer Romeo. You like Romeo. What did I say? Romeo. Romeo? What did you you say? Romeo. Like R O M. Y O. You like say it, and then I'll, I'll say it. You say it. Romeo. Romeo. It's it's like splitting hairs. It's practically the you same. You say thing. the girl's name. Juliet. Juliet. Guys, <laughs> don't don't fight. Is this your first? Do you, now do you pronounce your name Gillian? Gillian. Gillian, like the symbols. Gillian. Like Zildjian. Yeah. Oh. Then I guess it's Are not you like sponsored that. by Zildjian? I should be. Gillian by Zildjian. I say Gillian. Is Gillian like? Do, do people get it confused with like a numerical amount? Like, like oh, 10? there's like a gillion of those. Oh, uh. <laughs> like ten. <laughs> yeah, are we just shouting numbers now? <laughs> like ten. <laughs> <laughs> Gillian's rubbing her eyes. Like this is like oh, what's happening with you? I'm just so sad. I don't know. Honey, sad? what's the matter? Why are you so sad? Who's talking to me right now? Is it Gary it's or me, Len? Gary? What I, are you talking about? I need you. I love you, Gary. It's too hard to be apart. What? This is crazy. <laughs> love is crazy. We're just like Romeo and Juliet. I need you. You know what, Gary? I think this girl really does need you. I'm already married, it turns out. So I think maybe, I think maybe you should go to her. You think so? I do. Now you directed the crazy movies about the vampires and werewolves. That's right. But they're really love stories. I knew it! Those are love stories? Gillian, would you do me the honor of allowing me to keep my wife in suspended animation and becoming my non-suspended animation wife. What's she gonna say? I'm crying right now. This, this is, is. Are you I, crying? I'm tearing up. At I'm the tearing very up, least. and also I'm getting very sexually aroused for a sex party. I, a lot of my juices. All are my juices right are going. Now. We even have some urine. We have some bile. Milk. We have blood. A lot of milk. I got some milk. Going. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what do you say, honey? I'm on uh, pins and needles over here. <gasps> yes! All right! She said yes! This is... Now look. This is a huge mistake I could not be happier to be making. This is going to be wonderful. Oh, this... You know what? I have an idea. Anytime uh, one of the couples gets together on The Bachelor, they have the wedding live on the show. Oh. What if we had your wedding live on this show? <gasps> Do you know What? <sighs> I'm an internet minister. Uh, Could you perform the ceremony? I would be honored to perform the ceremony. Oh, <laughs> that would be beautiful. Next time what? you're on the show, let's set a date. Do you guys have you picked a date yet? Yeah. Valentine's Day after of his course. movie. Of course. 
First, we're going to begin the morning by screening the movie. <laughs> then, in the afternoon, we'll get oh, married. Oh, wait, Valentine's Day yeah, let's next take a, year. Uh, okay, next next year. Okay, I guess we can do Valentine's Day has that. already happened. Or uh, just about to happen. Or yeah. just about to happen. All right. Who knows when Valentine's Day occurs? Valentine- it's in your heart. Val- <laughs> Valentine's Day 2015. We'll set it right now. All right. Live on the show. In ink. That's Can we sign something saying if you die between now and then, I get all of your money? Because it's a long engagement. Yeah, would you mind? Uh, Yeah, I mean, it seems unlikely that I will die, so certainly I will. Write up that document. Great. Okay, fantastic. Well, guys. I'm also a notary. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> That'll come in handy. All right, well, we're at the end of our show. There's only one thing left to do, and that's a little something called plugs. Hi, Scott, and all the comedy bang bang guests. I left this spot blank for any, you know, jokes or bits or riffs you guys might want to try. So, please enjoy. Riffs them. Why did the chicken... Wow, that was cool. That was uh, the riff zone. I tried to get a joke in there, but not enough time. Uh, that was you gotta it. be fast. You gotta be fast to get jokes and a plugs theme, right? Uh, he left some space for it, but not enough for me to come up with one. That was by Andy. I'm gonna say knees. K N E I S. I say knees. Knees. Andy knees. That Andy name knees. is really doing something to me. <laughs> just the thought of someone on oh his. knees, just knees in general, just knees, really. Oh, yeah, well. they got those caps. Once upon a time, the, a glimpse of stocking. In olden days, a glimpse of stocking was. It was a little thought of something shocking. Oh, look, we're finishing someone else's sentences together. <laughs> All right, so Gillian, what do we have to plug? We have community. Correct. And uh, give us a ton of spoilers. Okay. Um. It turns out we're all lizard people. Good, good. Um, the lizard king comes to the school. Jim Morrison. <laughs> he commands us to do his will. We do. Does he command you to touch him? <laughs> yes. I love that song. That's that my favorite. Come on, come on, touch me, babe. Don't you know that I am not afraid? What was that promise that you made? Why won't you tell me what she said? Was it dirty? What was that promise <laughs> that you made? J.J. Abrams, hello. That was a nice little remix, Oh, thank you. I enjoyed that. Ah, Gilly, you were on percussion. You that one out. What? You were on percussion, but you didn't sing along. What? Have you ever seen the Star Wars films? Do, 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 do. I know that song. Sing the whole thing. Do, 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 do. Wow, 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 wow. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. Boo. Da, ba, 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 ba. Wow, 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 wow. Do, 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 do. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Very good. Accurate. Every note in there. <laughs> you should be in a musical. That should be the musical you're in, Star Wars. And that's the only song oh, in it. Star Wars the musical. Mm-hmm. I would love to see that. A big Wookiee <laughs> singing a ballad in his crazy Wookiee language. No one oh, can understand it. It's like when uh, Mel Gibson. It. What's that? Han understands Well, of it. course. I mean the audience. Oh, okay. It's like when uh, Mel Gibson made that movie in Aramaic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no one knew what he was talking about. Payback. But... Yes. <laughs> Give me back my son. In Aramaic. Um, Gillian, what do we got? Spoilers. I gave them to you, lizard, okay, lizard people. Yeah. Remember, lizard King Jim Morrison, and, and uh, Donald Glover is gone. Yeah, 
Well, he dumped me in season oh, he did. four. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't see season four. Yeah. In solidarity. He cruelly dumped me in season four. So we were no longer a couple at the beginning of season five. Ah, I wonder what was going on. Why yeah. you guys didn't weren't sharing furtive glances? I, I only share fertile glances, so. Oh, keep talking. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Are you, do you think, I know you don't want to have children. You don't want milk to come out of those nips. <laughs> but do you think you're fertile? Oh, this is a good question. If we're to be married, I, of course, want you to bear my heir. <laughs> yes, the heir to, yeah, the, to the, the other fortune. Di- fortune. And the other dimension. And the other dimension. <laughs> uh, probably. Okay. All right. I good. mean. We'll see. Have you been tested? No. No. You got, no. honey, you got to go every year. To get your, your fertility Your health is very tested? important. Everything. Full oh, tune-up. I go mm-hmm. to the doctor. I just have not had my fertility. Are you good about it? Eh. Could be better. All right, all right. We all could. Do you want to plug your doctor or? Um, Dr. Len Weissman. What? I'm uh, only a doctor on one thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Len. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, Len, do you want to plug something since you're at the mic? Sure. Um, I'm working on a new series of films called Overworld. <laughs> what? Yes. It's about cloud people fighting each other. <laughs> Great. Cloud people and sun people hate each other. Are they made of clouds and made of the sun? Yep, or that's right. Okay. Great. They're having a war. And then there's one baby that's born that's half cloud, half sun. Oh. I'd love to see that. That's like when the sun is peeking out from behind a cloud. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord. Do you ever look at the sun and you see a face in there? Yeah, all the time. Like a smiling face with yeah. sunglasses Like a baby on. face? <laughs> no, like a smiling face with sunglasses on, like on the weather map. Yeah, of course. Oh, I was thinking more of like um, Teletubbies. Oh, they're, tel- they're terrifying to me. <laughs> oh. They have a baby face. I know. It should have sunglasses on. <laughs> look, put sunglasses on anything. It'll look cute. You know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> Any, anything else from either of you guys? Nope. Okay. I'm good. Sex party. <laughs> oh, um, I, I should mention very quickly, sex party at my house tonight. <laughs> okay, great. Um, I Everyone's want, invited. Let's close up the old plug bag. Brow. Sex party. Hey, a great new remix for 2014. Oh, thank you. Uh, guys, I want to thank you, Gillian. Thanks so much for coming back. Always a pleasure to see you. My pleasure. Um, you got any movies or anything coming oh, out? Oh, yeah. I'm in a movie called Walk of Shame with Elizabeth Banks. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. I know. She's a very fetching lady. This mm-hmm. sounds exciting. And the title implies sexual relations. There's sex that happens in the film. Do you have sex in the film? No. Would you have sex on a film? <laughs> Would I have sex on a canister of film? Would I have sex on a canister? canister? Would you like to make love atop several canisters of classic films? (laughs) Citizen Kane. City Lights, Gone with the Wind. I think the answer is obvious. Yes. Yes. Don't, don't get any of your juices on it, though, because these... Yeah, it's, it's old film stock, yeah, old so film, it might yeah. degrade. So uh, we have to be might, very careful. It might just burst into flames as well. Well, that's true, too, because the friction. Yeah. Uh, this is making me crazy. Um, I want to thank you guys. And, and Len, it's so nice to meet you for the first Scott, time. Scott, it's nice to meet you I and have a sex come party back. with you. I would love to. Uh, Gary, it's nice to see you again. Hey, um, once again, you sandbagged me with an appearance from my ex and future wife. <laughs> I'm t- I didn't know you were going to be on, to be fair. Oh, but still. Still. Oh, I I, I had one question um, before we go, sure. which was, uh, do you remember what all the chicks say when they see Grease Lightning? The chicks are cream. Yeah, the chicks will cream. Oh! oh! No! I'm sorry. No, you're... I'm sorry. Usually you're oh. sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Did anyone else find that weird? <laughs> he got smaller and smaller until he disappeared. He's banished for six months. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm sorry, Gilly. I'm sorry. Sorry. How could you? We had a plan. I thought we were going to do this. But and... now he said he was going to marry I'm you sorry, again. I'm sorry. This is terrible. Can I offer this? I know we're very short on time. Okay. And I just want you to think about this, Gillian. If he doesn't return from his other dimension, I would be happy to step into the breach and marry you and make you wealthy. <gasps> Will Sophie's you cho- who's give gonna perform the ceremony? me Kate Beckett sales money too? Yeah, how would give that work? What? Kate Beckett oh, sales I thought you said something about K-Packs. <laughs> I have no control over that, but what's mine is yours. Oh, all right. Think about it. Uh, well, I guess when you're back on the show, we'll hear what happened. Did Gary come back? 
Will you be marrying Len Wiseman? <laughs> this is quite a cliffhanger. Will all of us have a sex body? <laughs> Will I be left out of it while you two go at it? The answer is yes. All right. Well, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to the show for another week, and um, may I introduce you and myself and everyone else who's in the would. room? Okay, well, why don't we do that? Uh, my name is Scott Ackerman. Hello. I am the host of uh, this show, and uh, the person whom you just heard speaking- That's right. Is uh, a director of note. Uh, he directed the films in the Underworld series. His name is Len Wiseman. Welcome Hello. back to the show. Uh, Scott, thank you. This is a very, uh, and I, I don't want to, I know you, you're doing your work of setting everything up, but this is certainly. a very, it's a wonderful occasion. I'm so glad to be here. Uh, it's, by this. the way, I should tell the listeners that we are taping this on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day Happy Valentine's Day, Day, to, Day to, you. to you. This is February 14th. I hope you have lots of sex and have a sex party. <laughs> That's right. You are, uh, you love sex parties. I do love sex parties. Yeah, I'm very sexy. Sensual. Look, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm a virile young guy in my 40s. Mm -hmm. uh, You're a feral young guy in your 40s? Or <laughs> no, vir I'm virile. Oh, okay. But yeah, I like sex parties. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm a handsome young man. You are. Uh, You're married, married to, to a, Kate Beckinsale. Oh, oh, you say a name and I get excited. <laughs> I bet She's you do. She's a very attractive young lady. She's certainly a star of the Underworld films. I don't know if you knew that. No, I did know that. That's where we met, as a matter of fact. <laughs> okay, very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let she me... plays a supernatural creature. She's a vampire. Vampire, Dust Vampire, look She's out. She's a vampire. I didn't know that. Yeah. I see her on the poster. I've never seen any of the films. I've just seen the posters. You've never. And she doesn't Scott, have, she doesn't have never fangs. Seen, you've never seen an underwear I've picture. never seen one. No, I know that we had plans to bring Amy Mann over to our <laughs> house to watch. How, the house we share. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Len's my roommate, by the way. If you're We're roommates. We're listening to the show for the first time. Um, I hope my sex parties don't keep you awake when you have an early call. Quite frankly. They do. You could keep it down a little bit. All right. You know what I've always wanted to do? Mm -hmm. It's a silent sex party. Oh, interesting. No one's allowed to talk? No talking, no groaning, would no you moaning. Would you put tape over people's mouths or if would people be that, on the, oh, You know boy. what I'm saying? Some I was going to say, like or would it. people have to be on the honor system? Well, it's both. It's a bit of both. I would mean, you punish it, someone if they did make a noise? Uh, we'll punish them anyway, so yeah. <laughs> would it be some sort of black bolt uh, as in the inhuman From sort the of inhuman, situation? <laughs> where he can't talk? Where he can't talk? his or, voice is so loud it'll yeah. explode the world yeah, or whatever? Exactly. That was dumb, right? I think so. Mm. Yeah, if any comic book fans out there, there was this guy, uh, Black Bolt, mm -hmm. and uh, he was from another planet. I thought it was what Black Bert. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds less exciting. <laughs> if his name is Black Bert. Yeah, probably would be. <laughs> But You're right, he, Black Bolt. It's like a his, bolt of lightning. He was he was part of the Inhumans. It was a group mm -hmm. comprised of Black Bolt, mm -hmm. a lady with a bunch of hair. Medusa, I think her name was. I believe so. And she could make a hair do stuff. But she could not turn people to stone, which I think is, you know, That's part and parcel part of, of Medusa. Medusa. Sure, I know. Sure. It seemed like an oversight on Stan Lee's part. Yeah. There was another guy. I don't remember what he did. Certainly. There's Karnak. He would well, stomp things and, and they Oh, would... he had big, crazy horse hooves or whatever. Yep. And then there was the dude who would find the flaw in everything. I forget his name. He would like karate chop. The you. nitpicker. <laughs> <laughs> then there's good old Lockjaw, the dog who the would teleport. The dog. The dog with a tuning fork on his head. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they uh, just uh, put the hands. You know what it's like? It was like hands on a hard body. <laughs> it was a all, lot like that. They'd all put the hands if on the dog. If you took it off, you were <laughs> you stranded. Were yeah, and you were stranded in the universe and, somewhere. That's right. None of the humans ever won uh, a truck. No, nope, they never did. Um, so, but but Black Bolt, he had a he could never speak. It was very it sad. Was very tragic because his voice was so powerful, so loud. It would destroy everything. Dest they, but it's still dumb when I think about yeah, it. Yeah, he would use it occasionally. Well, to make a point, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to yell at his wife, yeah. Medusa. <laughs> That's right. Where's dinner? <laughs> and then the whole planet shakes. <laughs> our uh, our next guest is looking at us with a lot of confusion because she apparently is. A pretty lady and not a nerd. Um, she, she's looking at us like, what are you guys talking about? I like dating football players. But I don't like sports, right? Mm -mm, no. Um, I like my soap operas and uh, the American Girl dolls. <laughs> She is a returning champion to the program. Uh, she will be on a television show, the sixth season of which will be premiering soon? 
soon? You're able yeah. to do it? Um, uh, I don't know. Look it up. Uh, Look it up? Ooh, how do you like that? <laughs> Saucy. <laughs> um, Community is the name of that program. And True. And she's uh, re- returning to the show for perhaps her 10th appearance. I don't even know. But uh, Gillian Jacobs is here. Hello. 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 Welcome back to the show. I haven't Thank seen you, you in about a year. I know. Almost one full calendar year. I had to stay away so you'd miss me. Ah, uh, we did. We really did. Thank people, you so much. People were wondering, where's Gilly? Where's Gilly? I know, but What I'm, do you have to say? Well, I'm back. It's a very special day. You should say sorry. Oh. No, you say sorry. <laughs> Gilly. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, because today I'm getting married. Oh, that's oh, we'll, we'll, oh, hey, we'll talk Let's... about that soon. Sorry, we don't I wanna... couldn't keep it inside. I'm so excited. I know you Put can't the, bury the, the lead. caught before the horse. <laughs> um, Gillian, welcome back to the show. <laughs> I, wanna, you, I want you, to you. introduce our next guest before uh, time elapses. Uh, he has never been on the show before. He's a newcomer. Um, I've been a fan of his work for low these many years Mm -hmm. and uh, I've uh, met him once before but uh, this is his first time on this show he's a singer songwriter Um, you and a singer songwriter that's true do you consider those to be three different jobs like you're a triple threat you're a singer you're a songwriter songwriter, and and a singer songwriter the guitar playing is implied in the job description. <laughs> that didn't okay. even, that's true. That didn't even come into play. When you think about a singer-songwriter, you usually have an idea in your head of somebody yeah. playing the guitar, but it's not mentioned. Well, I guess, or, or perhaps uh, in a Harry Connick Jr. situation, the old 88. I, now, does anyone consider him a singer-songwriter, though? Because he's mostly known for interpreting the great American songbook. That's true. Hey, maybe you could point that a little more towards your mouth. I'm, maybe I'm, you I'm, could, <laughs> right? Mm. Sex body talk. Sex a lot party. of room tone. Is that, uh, anyway. Is that normal? I don't know. Cody, you, you let me know what's going on. This may be on over here. Uh, now, what, the uh, humidifier? let me explain exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, you know him, uh, familiar to millions as frontman, songwriter, and vocalist of pop sensation Men at Work. Pop sensation, yes. <laughs> You're a sensation in the pop world. Colin Hay of Men at Work. That's right. And he, Colin Hay is here. Hello. Welcome. And you have a new record coming out. I do. Called Next Year People. Thank you very much. Yes, that's, that's very true. Oh, I didn't get any applause. Well, why I, would you? <laughs> You're just doing the same old thing. <laughs> Let me ask you this, uh, Colin. First yes. of all, uh, it's it's lovely to meet you. Lovely uh, to meet you too. I've been a fan man. for low these many years. I use Bible talk like Scott does. <laughs> um, and uh, next year, people, it sounds like mm. uh, it could be supernatural or sci-fi in nature. Is that the, the is that the thing you're going for? Well, I'm not really. It's it's non-specific, but it could be that. But it's I think it's just more. Um, Doing the same thing year after year and expecting a different result. Yeah, the definition, definition of, of insanity. insanity. The definition of insanity. No, too late. Too oh, late, man. Sorry. Um, you, now you're locked out of the game. You owe <laughs> us four Diet Cokes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not how a jinx works. Wait, so if you jinx someone and you owe them a Coke, it's so you don't owe them four? That's right. Now you... You blew it. And but you, you owe each other. There. You owe each other cokes. True. No, but no. I. Oh. We would have, but you coming in so late oh. negates our coke <laughs> debt, and, and I now owe you four. owe us oh, diet cokes. Four man. diet cokes All each. Right. How about a regular coke? No. Um, Colin, welcome yes. to the show, uh, thank you, and thank you. Gillian, welcome to the show, and Len, thank welcome you. to the show. Uh, Gillian talked about it. Uh, Are you uh, forgetting someone? Oh, oh, that's right. We should uh, introduce our next guest. <laughs> You know him as the creator of such incredible TV shows as Happy Days, That's Laverne it. and Shirley, Correct. Mork and Mindy. Both of them. Uh, and then the director of films like Pretty Woman. Yep. Uh, Valentine's Day. That's New right. Year's Day. Of course. Uh, Johnny and Mary. Johnny and Mary. What are you talking about? Isn't that what was it, what was it called? Frankie, Frankie and, Johnny and Johnny was based on a play. John Patrick Shanley. That's right. See, she knows because she's the in the Lune. theater. Yeah. Uh, you also know him from his star turns in <laughs> Lost in America. Santa Claus. <laughs> That's right. Right. Um, what was that? On Louis, the lot. I was in Louis. Louis, huh? on the lot. On the lot, the game show where uh, people competed to become filmmakers. Did they all become famous filmmakers? None of them. <laughs> it was a terrible idea. Why did I do it? Well, you should mentor some of them. I tried. Don't you think I tried? I, Here's hey. what I said. Here's what people like. 
They like pictures where uh, there's a cute girl and a cute guy, and they uh, have some misadventures. They fall in love, and then uh, the end. Mm -hmm. Is Ashton Kutcher part of these? He, yeah, of course he is. As is Hector Elizondo. Oh, was well, that your main tip? And on the lot is always cast, put Hector. Always cast Hector Elizondo. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. By the way, I need to say that your name is Gary Marshall. Please call me Gary. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I will call you. Mr. Marshall, is, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Already. Why would you immediately have to <laughs> I'm so being sorry. I have to immediately to call forgot. Me Gary. Does that mean it, I now have to call you Mr. Marshall or am I still in the Oh, you don't know the rules, do you? <laughs> I forgot them. What ah, are they? That's right. If I say please call me Gary, you call me Gary. If you displease me, your Gary privileges are revoked. <laughs> and, and you must for you Diet owe me four Coke. Diet Cokes. But what if, in this situation, I, well, what I I did, have a question for yeah. Mr. Marshall. Okay, well, I had one I was about to say, but go ahead. Go ahead, ask your question. Gary, if I call you Gar, right, like I'm shortening it, and I, I put a little sauce on the end because you got the two R's, <laughs> I will allow it from another director, but never an actor, certainly not anyone below the line. No one below the line. No line no producer. Grips, no best boys. None. No, no grips, no best boys. <laughs> um, now, you, you both are friends. You're film directors. It's we, interesting. We have a singer-songwriter. We have two directors. We have an actress. Um, I'm and, a director now as well. Oh, really? For what? Oh, what did you direct? I directed a short documentary. Oh. When did this happen? Oh. Make Hi, it along? I'm I interested. I told you already. I uh, sometimes uh, it's in one ear at the other. <laughs> so what, I, what's this documentary that you directed? It's about a woman named Grace Hopper, who was one of the first computer programmers. Um, so we have a uh, singer songwriter, two yes. directors, an actress, yes. a multi hyphenate, actress director, actor director, a multi hyphenate myself. Um, what are your hyphens? Um, <laughs> How many? Oh, what, are, what are you considering? Yeah, let's see it is. Okay, well. This ought to be rich. Podcast host, that's what I'm doing currently. Oh, boy, you count that. <laughs> All right. Actor. I, I recite lines when's on my that, show. When's that happen? Oh, on your show. <laughs> sure. And I've been on Just Shoot Me. <laughs> Back in the 90s. So you're familiar with the multicam format. Yes, Gary. All yes. All right, that's where I live. <laughs> do you, do you did you watch shows like Just Shoot Me and say they're you know, I've it's seen, not for me. I've seen every episode of every multi camera sitcom that has ever existed. <laughs> My goodness, wow, wow! I'm an old man. I got a lot of free time. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. Not for long. Oh, oh ho, ho. we're going to talk this about this. One over here. You, these guys are getting married a little later. In the, <laughs> it's very Gary romantic. Getting married. That's like Gary Unmarried. You were Gary Unmarried. A multi-camera sitcom Was that, that I've seen every episode of. Mm -hmm. Starring Jay Moore. Jay Moore. Nice kid. By the way, uh, in one of the episodes of my TV show, one of the introductions, I said, friends are a lot like Jays. There's always room for more. Mm -hmm. Jay Moore. I cannot tell you how many people I've seen on the internet think that is a drug reference. And, and it's quoted across Tumblr saying, friends are a lot like Jays. Like joints. Like you're making, joints. For the yeah. listener, there's always holding, room for more. You're holding your finger and your forefinger and your thumb up to your mouth, mm -hmm. indicating you're smoking a little marijuana uh -huh. cigarette. Or filleting a tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting me excited. <laughs> I can't wait to. I wish we Gary, could. Gary, what are you skip, in for tonight? Skip the wedding and cut to the, the sex party afterwards. <laughs> We're not having a sex party as a reception. It's just going to be dinner and dancing like normal. But how oh, well it's a missed opportunity. How odd would that have been? Like what? We've never done anything like that in the TV show before, where I just like say like a, a drug reference, like "Hey, friends are like Jays. There's always room for listen, more." Listen, listen. I've been <laughs> I've been on the TV show, yep. uh, and uh, it's crazy. And I think, uh, of course, everybody that watches it is on drugs. That's, <laughs> that's true. Uh, right. Well, we all write it on drugs. We all, you know, you in the morning. You have to. Of that's, course, Colin. You you're a singer songwriter. How many of your songs are written on drugs? Um, most of them. Yeah, you yeah. have to, you know, because it unlocks something, right? All the hits were written, were written on drugs. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, I gave up drugs and have a, no, no hits since. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking about taking up drugs again yeah, very, yeah. very soon. 
<laughs> in well, my day, everybody was just drunk. That's what you did. Writer's room had a oh, no, bar they were doing, in there. They were doing drugs in the, in the bathroom. That was towards the end. That was towards <laughs> the end. I, you forget. I start out in, uh, you know, with the, the, you, the Dick Van Dyke show. And You're stuff like an like 80 that. year old man or something. I'm, at this in, point. My, I'm in my 80s. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're in your. your... <laughs> Gillian's getting hot over here. <laughs> Colin, let's talk to you yes. about about the record here. Uh, and it's very nice of you, by the way, to come to the wedding here uh, of of these guys. I think, well, I think that it's it's a it's a beautiful couple. Really, yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, I want it because there's a there's an age a difference. Fantastic day to get married. Really, Valentine's. it is Valentine's yeah. Day. Valentine's Valentine's not a cliche at all. That's why I like it. Now, Wait. listen. The reason uh, Colin's here is because I wanted a nice wedding for the music for the nice music for the wedding, and I knew because. There's a substantial age difference between me and my bride. What is the age difference? Gillian, how old are you? I am, um... No, a lady never tells and a gentleman never asks. You know what? I want to get rid of that whole thing. Let's let's all... I'm 59 years old. You're not 59 years old. I'm 59. I've had a lot of work done, Scott. Thank you very much. (laughs) So, honey, the age difference isn't as large as you thought. Well, but still, I wanted someone, uh, you know, I wanted music that was a little more current... So that uh, I could I really t- make exactly. me feel comfortable. So you got Colin Hay Colin from Men at Work. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, if it's up to me, it would be, uh, you know, Mitch Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, here's what we do, because we have, you know, Gillian here who who is uh, on Community coming out, and we have Colin who has a record coming out. Why don't we alternate questions? So we'll do one for Colin, one for Gillian. Great. How about that? Ooh. And, oh, you know, we can alternate back and forth if you like. Oh, sure, like co host Yeah, co-hosting. So who wants what to— What do I do? <laughs> Honey, you just sit there and look pretty. All right. I made those off. <laughs> okay, no Don't problem. wake me. You can keep the questions down to a dull roar. <laughs> All right, let me start let me start with a question for Colin. Oh. Uh, Colin, this is your first solo record in quite a bit of time, is it not? Uh, how, how Three long? years. Three years. Mm. I mean, that's a long time. That's almost a thousand. That's over a thousand days. Over a thousand days. Uh, you know? Well, I w- I'm... I'm doing them as fast as I can. I'd like to go faster. <laughs> I, I was sent the record uh, earlier today, and it's uh, fantastic. I, I gave it a spin. You gave if, it a spin. Yeah, yes. I gave it a spin. I, I, I put the old ones and zeros to work, That's right. if you know what I mean. <laughs> I, do. I don't, actually. Binary. Digital information Binary. Uh-huh. flying through your head. Yep. And uh, uh, it's a fantastic record. It, 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 it reminds me uh, – I'm a big fan of your work, by the way. I uh, – uh, 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 yeah, there's, so a few, ma- there's a few good things there. So many you know? stories I could tell you. I could tell you about how when I was uh, 12 in Wood Shop in, yeah. jun- in junior high, mm. track 12, uh, that someone uh, – our, our assignment was to take a piece of wood and then use the – I believe they call it a router in order yes. to make a plaque that had words on it. And someone made the plaque that said men at work oh. on it. And we were all like, oh, my God, oh this my guy's goodness. a genius. Because <laughs> not only is it like our favorite band, but it also works as a sign, as like a street sign. And we were just like, this guy's the smartest. Just one follows function. The smartest guy I've ever function. seen. I then made one that said I love my and then Atari symbol because Ataris were really popular. And mm-hmm. everyone made fun of me for playing with my joystick. <laughs> so I could tell you that story. You know what you should have done? Put a joint on there, right? <laughs> yes. Like a, a J. TV show. A J. <laughs> I love my J. I love my J. People are just sitting around their houses waiting for drug references. Oh, they love them. They love them. They really do. They do. Is that a, oh, that's one. There's one. There's one. I also <laughs> went. I, I went on a first date to uh, mm. one of your concerts. Oh. And uh, and uh, I uh, let me tell with you me. It, <laughs> with you no but uh, let me tell you it it put her in the old mood oh, your voice oh. put her in the old mood oh, if you know what I mean so thank you very much oh, for that my evening pleasure. my pleasure I was almost upset and you were taking Scott. so long with your question <laughs> but then it got good at yeah. the end <laughs> Len I knew you would like that oh boy I guess my question then is mm. will well, you finally will you go. will you please tell me about this record and what you think of it. <laughs> Well, I tell you about it. Well, I think it's my... Yes or no. It's just a yes or no question. (laughs) And then we'll move on. Yes. (laughs) Okay, great. No, actually, no. (laughs) No, No, please do. I'm I'm so sorry. Um, Well, I think it's a fantastic record. I really do. I think it's the best record that I've ever made. Just like great songs... Uh, really well recorded and uh, beautifully sung and wonderfully performed. Um, well, that's what I, that's what I tried to do. All you were going for that. Just, I was going for that. <laughs> okay, good. Hey, it seems to have worked. Mission unlocked. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. <laughs> what is that, a video game thing? I, you maybe. love your Atari. <laughs> now, Len, go ahead and ask your question. All right. My, to Gillian. My question's for Gillian. <laughs> yes. Uh, so you directed for your first time, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's exciting to direct because you're in charge of everyone. And, you're and I get them, to call my husband to be gayer now. There yeah. you go, because you're in the guild. Are you in the guild? Not yet. Oh. Well, with, the lo- with the long R on the end of the guy? Gayer. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Gare. No, no one's calling you. Go back to sleep. I am. Um, so uh, it's about a computer lady. Yes. Is she is she, is she trapped in a she's computer? She's made out of computers? Now, now I... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, You're violation, asking questions. Violation, violation, violation. One more Diet Coke. One, one more Diet, Diet Coke. Coke. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I can't wait to drink all these Diet Cokes. <laughs> I That's love, five each now. Do you know what I love is aspartame? <laughs> and I love to call it, this is fun, I call it aspartame. Like <laughs> I I'm am ordering, aspartame. <laughs> like I'm ordering a fancy <laughs> Italian dish. Now, uh, <laughs> Gillian, doll. Yes, um, Lenny. Uh, Lentil. What? <laughs> I forgot that that is my full name. That's established the last time we met. That's oh. right. Lentil wise. That's, <laughs> that's right. Um, what kind of craft service did you have for the crew? <laughs> um, I was providing snacks myself, and so it was a lot of um, kind bars mm-hmm. and um, maybe some- Divine decadence? Div- I was going to get to that. Mm. Once again, he's interjecting. Is that allowed? That wasn't it's a question. A, it right. wasn't a question. He's in the clear. Uh, I, waters. I provided water. Waters. What I, brand? Kirkland? <laughs> I know. L.A. Tap? I didn't have time to go to Costco. <laughs> M- municipal Champagne <laughs> from a Clifford Odette's play. <gasps> um, it's, uh, what, uh, Poland Spring? No, I was sticking with Fuji. F- <laughs> Fuji, like an off-brand Fiji water. <laughs> like Lauren Hill's <laughs> personal brand of water? So they have, uh, it's an octagonal <laughs> bottle as opposed to the square. <laughs> Correct. I found them in a box next to a dumpster. And what was your budget? How many millions? Four. Four million dollars. Four million. A little you know, indie documentaries. Wow. The cash just starts flowing in. Oh, tell You're me. You're like, about stop, it. stop! I don't need this. Especially much money. short ones. Yes. Do you know what I wanted to do with uh, the Underworld series? Was mm-hmm. I wanted to tell the true story of vampires and lichens, and they <laughs> said, no, we don't want a documentary. They don't sell as well. Make it a, a dramatization. So that's what I did. I had a question for you. Is this allowed? Can this is definitely okay. allowed. Yes. I didn't realize. That Kate Beckinsale was herself a vampiress. That's in, right. So who is she fighting then? I thought she was fighting vampires. I thought she was fighting like a Van Helsing type. Yeah. Of thing, well, too. Who is she fighting? It's not clear. The poster is not clear, Lynn. Bad. Vampires. Oh, so you're saying Bad you look vampires. at the poster, you don't know the entire story from beginning to end? <laughs> no, I just. See well, a, that's certainly my fault. I see a sexy girl in a black cat suit. Whoa, where, where's this playing? <laughs> in your bedroom. Right, man, that's right. Every night. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes in the afternoon. <gasps> if I come home from the set. <laughs> <laughs> this, isn't she also at the set? That's right. <laughs> well, look, we have a sort of understanding, or at least I do, that um, <laughs> there's sex parties happening at the house all the time. You sound like my ex even if not, ooh, Even if neither of you are there? That's right. That's Oh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'll, wa- I'll walk into a sex party that's going on, and I'll introduce myself. <laughs> I'm the gentleman of the house. Hello. I'm Lentil Weissman. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, t- Please carry on. Nothing I'm just in- going to get an early night. Exactly. I just wanted to get a Diet Coke from the fridge because I lost a bet. <laughs> Colin, have you ever been to a sex party? Oh, I guess my question's over. <laughs> I think it was. You asked like about three of them. Now, what did you do? I, I said I a bunch of like statements because, and then followed it up with one question. Because you're the host, because you're the host, mm-hmm. I let it slide. But I feel like if the listener could rewind, they'd Th- hear no, a I don't few. think we if have that technology. They could. If only nope. they could. Well, we'll have to agree to disagree. All right, let's do that. I agree. It's kind of like it's kind of like disagreeing, isn't it? It's sort do we of. Need, can we have a commitment ceremony to agree to disagree? I don't see why not. <laughs> Who are you going to perform that, Len? Well, I couldn't. I'm in the ceremony. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll okay, do it. There yeah. we go. Do you, Lentil Wiseman, and you, Scotland Ackerman? Why, can I stop Scotland. you for just one second? I don't mean to give you to note you to death. Why are you doing it like it's a ghost story? <laughs> And you're the ghost. <laughs> yeah. I'll go further. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Do you, Lentil Ooh, Wiseman, historical ghost. And you, Scotland Ackerman, agree <laughs> to disagree. There's a little... Oh, go ahead. I wanted to write my own vows. 
Oh, uh, this is very modern soft. fellow over here. Lentil, the first time I saw you, I knew that we wouldn't agree on everything. But that's part of our relationship. It wouldn't, what makes it so special is the fact that we don't agree on everything. But what we can do is never go to bed not agreeing on something. Will you agree to disagree with me? I will. Scott. Lind. Scotland. I would like to perform my own vows <laughs> that are comprised of a poem I sort of remember. Very good. Knock it off with the clocks. Hey, shut that fridge door. Put the phone in the, in the back of the house where I can't hear it no more. Because there's an agreement happening that I want to be a part of, and it's about disagreements. Hmm. Scott, <laughs> would you do me the very great honor of agreeing to disagree with me? Oh, Lentil, of course I will. I have follow-up vows. Oh, all right, I'll allow it. <laughs> Jeremiah, Jeremiah was a bullfrog, <laughs> was a good friend of mine, never understood a single word he said, but we both had a very good time, and we both <laughs> drank a lot of wine. Friends are a lot like Jays. There's always room for more. I'm talking about drugs right now. Baba booey, baba booey. I have footnote vows, if that's okay. Very good. <laughs> well, I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. <laughs> And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. I hope somebody writes on me, and I go up through the House and the Senate, and the president says, all right, I'll put my veto stamp away because this stuff is A-OK -okay by me. <laughs> Scott, what do you say? <laughs> Let's get it the fuck over with. Here we go. Well, how do we finish? OK, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Repeat after me. <laughs> We, wait, we already did our vows. No, we just have to no. kiss or something. I, I could practically see her ghostly powdered <laughs> wig. Just say at the same time, I agree to disagree. I, I agree, agree to, to disagree. disagree. Oh, thank We've you. Done it. Oh, my gosh. That was tense there for a while. I did not want to disagree with you. I know. But as long as we agree to do it. Then no harm done. <laughs> oh, I thought, yeah, I'm so glad that you finished that sentence. I am too. Um, did you answer my question, Colin, about the sex parties? <laughs> I did not answer your question. Mm. Yo, I, that's a f you have two questions. I haven't been invited to <gasps> parties which were specifically called sex parties, but I've been to parties where I arrived and some kind of sexual act activity was going on. Mm. And, uh, but um, What was going on, may I... <sighs> Well, I, you know, I, Mouth I, I, stuff. Walked, I walked into a room and there was there was sexual activity going on. And I was looking for a You're, particular room and I found the wrong room. Which room were room. you looking for? I was looking for the bathroom. Oh, yeah. I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this is a long time ago and mm -hmm. uh, it's a little hazy in my <laughs> right. memory. So mm -hmm. you might have actually gone into the bathroom and perhaps <laughs> and they had odd fixtures that you thought were people right. having and sex. There was sex going on there and, <laughs> and perhaps it, was, it wasn't that at all. But they just had an exotic tub. Mm-hmm. Very good. All right, Len, now your question for Gillian or whomever. Gillian, have you ever gone to a friend's house to eat and the food just ain't no good? I mean, <laughs> the macaroni soggy, the pizza mush, and the chicken tastes like wood. Completely, yes. There we go. Next question. <laughs> All right. What Co do you do? What do you do when you go to some? If you're invited to someone's house? Oh, this is unprecedented. Ooh. He's got. He's got, he's got some got questions. Question now. All right, very good. <laughs> go ahead and ask Gillian your follow-up. What do you do if you go to a party and uh, really is not only is the food um, bad, but there's really there's too much of it. Mm. Well, you pray for a dog, and then you coax the dog. What about if the dog doesn't eat it either? <sighs> Then you pretend that you're feeling ill and you feel a migraine coming on and you um, you start screaming really loudly. You fall to the floor and you poop your pants. Mm. Fair enough. That seems you like know, a good plan. What uh, What's a good prayer for a dog? I'm just curious. Like if you're praying <laughs> for a dog. You ready? Sure. Yep. Okay. Okay, <laughs> nine. Come to me. Follow me. Follow the sound of my ghostly voice. Okay, nine. So this is something that you're praying out loud, then. No, you can say that inside your head, but you have to have that 
voice in your head. Follow the sound of my voice, my mental voice telepathy. My yeah. Ghosts, go, uh, here's the thing. Dogs can't resist a high-pitched whistle or a ghost voice. <laughs> Colin, people would also know you from uh, the Scrubs TV show where you were on quite a few episodes. They think they do. <laughs> okay, so they, they're incorrect in that assumption? <laughs> Those fools. <laughs> Drugs again. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> and you were on the, uh, uh, you have a lovely song on the Garden State soundtrack, mm. um, which uh, is a, f- uh, I, I, uh, it's What's the connection between Scrubs and Garden State? I don't get it. I don't get it, yeah, I don't understand. Um, is it Zach Braff? Zach Braff. <laughs> Who? <laughs> oh, that's right. They're, oh, he's in Zoc both Broth. Oh, yes. Zoc Broth. Oh, is that how it's pronounced? It's pronounced Zoc Broth. I've never met him. Mm-hmm. Have you ever met him? I have. Mm-hmm. Yes. How many times? Um, 14. 14, oh. good. Oh, two weeks worth. <laughs> a fortnight. 14 times a fortnight. A fortnight of for Zach two Braff weeks. meetings. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever, growing up as a little kid in Scotland, mm. did you ever say, Someday I'm going to have a fortnight of Zach Braff meetings. Zach Braff. I did not, no, I did not imagine that. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Um, and uh, that was a wonderful song. And uh, it, was, it was very good for me. Yes? Yeah. You enjoyed playing it? I enjoyed it, but mainly I enjoyed getting checks in the mail <laughs> from it. Which You're was, telling which, which me. I was unaccustomed to at that particular part, time of my life. Right, because this is, uh, uh, let me guess, 1900 and... No, this, no, was, 2000, this was in the 2000s. 2004, maybe? The 2006, 2006. 2006, somewhere around there. Mm-hmm. And uh, at that point in your life, perhaps the musical was, checks had gone fallow. No, no, not not really. Um, you know, men money was still flowing. Mm-hmm. Two not and a half to, men. Not to the, <laughs> yes, not to the, deg- to the degree... You created two and a half men. I did. We, yes. we should... <laughs> Not very many people realize that. <laughs> and I created that while I was still in Scotland. Yeah, As interesting. It was all about, yeah, <laughs> it's a childhood fantasy. One day I'm going to create a show and it's going to be about two guys and a wee boy. <laughs> it's going to be called Two and a Half Men. And I'm going to play the boy. <laughs> I'm trying to do your accent. It's not working. Um, and uh, but yeah, uh, that was around 2006, and you hadn't you hadn't. Uh, men was, money was trickling it. Yeah, well, I didn't get checks. You see, how much it, it money went, do you make? How much money do I make? <laughs> um, about. Um, Oh, it's hard to answer this question because you either you want to make a joke about it and go too high or you want to go too little, but you, you know, never hey, want to. Hey, that's not why it's hard to answer this question. It's hard to answer the question because it's rude. <laughs> what, Gary? Yeah, you woke up? That's right. Your rudeness woke me up. It was the best well, alarm clock say, I could ask for. Let's just say a lot. Oh, very wow. good. See, but now you force him to be somewhat uh, immodest. But you know what? You don't I have a like number one single modesty. and and several top five singles, so and then some bubbling unders without you know, <laughs> mm. you know what I mean. But then they came along the Garden State, you know. Yeah. And at that particular time, I was renovating my kitchen. <laughs> That's which right. Was, which was high, well, you know. Did I you was, buy a new faucet? Well, no, but I was. I was. I did get. No, I didn't get new faucets. Mm. But I was. I was. Seems like that's one of the things you should update. I was <laughs> vacillating between the real granite and the fake granite. When oh. That check came in. And what'd you pick? Well, the man was standing in the kitchen, and he said to me, what do you want to do? And I just opened You opened the mail, and, and there said, it was. Let's go with the real credit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said to him. Wow, Can that's I a great story. Does great explain great story. with oils? That's a great story. I was like, oh, that's a great fucking story. <laughs> that's one of the great rock and roll stories I've ever heard. <laughs> that's right. Now, Gillian, you had a question. I had a question. Do you have to avoid oil with those granite countertops? Does oil stain them? I don't believe so. Okay, great. Do you I sell granite I mean, kitchen tops or did you just buy one once? What's that? Did, do you sell them or did you just buy one once? <laughs> I think Gillian's confused. No, but if you're the owner. Well, if you have one if in you your home, one, you got to be aware. He doesn't care. He doesn't be aware. He's, he's got a housekeeper. This guy's right. loaded. He doesn't care how to. I, can That's I go back to something? My, uh, you feel yeah. like if you're updating your kitchen, the number one priority is new faucet. New faucet. Yeah. Stove, Scott. And I'm going to update Faucet that. technology <laughs> keeps changing. Who can keep up? These things look dated after a while. That's right. You want to get the you want to get the ones where you can actually pull the faucet out. Well, yeah, that's the thing that's with the one right. that spray and you, you can actually spray. use it as a weapon. Exactly, yeah, in case there are for a sex party or a, or party or a werewolf. Or for like a sex party. Or mm-hmm. for a sex party, a hose everyone down. <laughs> Every, after, most times after the sex party, it's my house, everyone troops into the kitchen and yeah, I just spray you, them yeah. on down. <laughs> 
I don't do it in the bathroom because I don't want them going through my new faucet. That's right. Don't want them going through your medications. I don't like it when they go. Oh, he takes this and she takes that and whatever. <laughs> Here are the private. problems. Yeah, it's private stuff. <laughs> These are private. What do you take though? Well, I take a little Lipitor. Because, <laughs> Certainly, uh, we're at that age. <laughs> yeah, I'm at that. I'm in my 40s, so uh, you know, cholesterol's a little high. Mm-hmm. Uh, Crestor. Mm-hmm. Now, what I take recreationally. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Uh, any anti-schizophrenia medications? Uh, no, against doctor's orders. <laughs> okay. Is that why you're always seeing these lichens? And I feel like, sometimes I feel like I'm a lichen, like half lichen, half uh, vampire. Wow. Yeah. Mm. What's a half lichen, half vampire? Well, you got to watch one of these Underworld movies. Yeah, because it's kind of about that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, you never answered my question of who Kate Beckinsale is fighting in these movies. She's well. She's a vampire. So for years, mm. her people have been fighting the werewolves. We call them lions ah. in the film because of rights issues. <laughs> we don't want to get sued. Sure. So, um, uh, but then uh, she falls in love with a werewolf, oh. played by have... the Felicity guy, right? That's right, Felicity guy. <laughs> uh, Scott Speedman, Felicity guy. Uh, <laughs> we tried to get Felicity guy, uh, Jasmine guy's sister. <laughs> right, we said, yeah. would you do it in drag? We'll slap a fake mustache on you. <laughs> you could use a deep voice. And instead, you just got the guy from Felicity. We just got the guy from Felicity. As the next best thing. I think it was a, commu- a miscommunication. <laughs> <laughs> it's a memo issue. It was a memo issue. Um, anyway, that's how I got my new faucets. Call- Wait, who's she fighting? She's, fi- she's fighting the people from the vampires and the lichens who want to the lichens, kill their love, she's, right? She's exactly, and now it's like a Romeo, a Romeo and Juliet uh, situation mm-hmm. uh, where they're uh, star-crossed lovers, and uh, they're trying to reform uh, the communities to make everything better. Yeah. <laughs> what did that noise come from? <laughs> Colin, would you ever do a song for one of the Underworld films, a lot like what you did Ooh. for Garden State? Oh, of course I would. What 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 would the song be? Just knowing what you know about the films, based on Lens. Uh, what would the song? Yeah, be? What, you know, like what do you think? What what could this song be sort of sort minor, of? Well, minor key. Perhaps. Minor key. Oh, oh, I like that. Sexy, that guy sexy. Gets it. Yeah, yeah. Something just kind of something with. Ooh, oh boy! Sex, oh, sex, look sex. out! That says lichens to me. It does. Yeah, I, I don't wow. know. I don't know where I would go from there, but it's a good start. What mm-hmm. runs a vampire? Campfire. Funeral pyre. <coughs> Funeral pyre rhymes with vampire. <laughs> yeah, pi- yeah. Well, the pyre. pyre. Right. Yeah. P Y. What do you think? S- s- flat tire. I want to take you pyre. <laughs> <laughs> um, now. Uh, Crier. John Cryer. John Cryer, John Cryer of Two and a Half Men. Huh? There you go. Two point mm. five. Vampire. Vampire. Do you want to meet John Cryer? <laughs> he's very good. He's a bit of a... A diva? He's a, he's a, a, he's a trier. <laughs> he's, he's a, a trier. trier. Oh, I like Not it. Not a crier. All right, guys. Well, I feel like, you know, we're just putting it Trading off water. here. <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> that could be the alternate title of this, this podcast. <laughs> Here's, um, here's the titles up for submission so far. Yep. A Fortnight of Zach Braff meetings. <laughs> Treading water. <laughs> Treading water. Uh, I feel like I said something about, uh, uh, never mind. All right. Um, four Diet Cokes. Four Diet Cokes. All right, here we go. Mm. Let's, let's get let's to let's to get to the moment we have all been waiting for. Oh. We've been waiting for this for one calendar year. Oh, is it time? Yeah, Gary, it's time all to right. wake up. Okay. Take your Lipitor, honey. We're getting married. All right, so call my pills. I'm ready to go. All right, let's let's give a little bit of the backstory <laughs> about why this is happening for the listener. Yeah, uh, it starts every wedding. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite wedding <laughs> tradition. First the backstory. First, there's a, a backstory, then a reading. That's right. Of the scripture. That's right. Um, <laughs> Gillian, you've been on the show many times before, and you met Gary Marshall over here. Please you got, call me Gary. <laughs> thank you very much. You <laughs> met Gary. You fell in love. <laughs> and uh, Gary, you were married to Barbara. Is that correct? My dear wife Barbara, currently in suspended <laughs> animation. Yes, you. Uh, but I checked this out. I can marry him legally, and it will not be polygamy because she's in suspended animation, and the American government recognizes suspended animation as a uh, as a, a legal state of death. They're forced as long to. As, it's a loophole. It's yeah. like uh, you know, a dog playing basketball or whatever. It's not in the rule book. <laughs> it's not in the rule. You gotta book. let him play. Are you talking about my favorite film, Air Bud? Air Bud. Air Bud. <laughs> 
Would you direct or put Air Bud into the Underworld franchise? That's that's what I want to ask. I would love to. Be, here's you the have thing. vampires, you have lycans, and then I would Air love Buds. It. I would love it. Air Bud. Air Buds. It's it's a whole race of uh, three-legged retrievers. <laughs> who play basketball. Who love to play basketball. And other yeah. sports. The Air Bud franchise. He, That's true. Air really Buddies. Yeah. Out. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's right. <laughs> Earbuds. <laughs> Earbuds. Is that based on earbuds? I don't buds? think so. I think that's just what you put in your iPod. Um, so uh, yeah. about a year ago, Gillian was on the show and we met Len. Mm-hmm. And uh, you guys promised that you would get married on Valentine's Day. Yep. Uh, and it had to be of next year because mm-hmm. Valentine's Day was three days away. I think mm-hmm. the last time you were, mm-hmm. that's well, right. you were on the not show. Not enough time. Not enough time to plan. Uh, Len, you said you wanted to perform the ceremony, and uh, uh, Gary— I'm an internet minister, and I would be honored to do so. And Gary, we banished you to your dimension, but you're back now. you tricked me into saying what the girls will do when they see Grease Lightning. (laughs) Don't say it. Uh, Of course not. Okay. Does this my kid uh, Girls will cream. Well, it's one thing if you say it. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So <laughs> that made you hot, Len. It always does. <laughs> I hearing about the chicks will cream. I can't. Oh, stop saying it. You're All driving right. me crazy. All right. Um, do you like that show, Colin? Grease? You ever, you, the John Travolta? Uh, show? Olivia? That the picture show? show? <laughs> um, it's it's no. based on a play. You were all high and mighty talking oh, about a play it. earlier. But yes. you know what? You mentioned John Travolta. Well, I was trying to bring That's it into right. a... That's right. John Travolta never did it on Broadway. You ever work with John Travolta, Gary? Yeah. I must have. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't I? You've worked with everyone, haven't you? I pray. Look, you get you stay in this game long, enough, long enough. Eventually, everybody comes, everybody comes around. And by everybody, you mean Hector. Hector Elizondo. Gilly, are you excited about getting to hang out with Hector Elizondo a lot? I mean, no, <clears throat> because I feel like, <clears throat> honey. If you started to put me in all of your films, then that Which would Which, of course, be, I will do. Yes. Hmm? That would be hmm. more money for me, personally, and more residual checks, like we were talking about before. Hmm. And I, too, would like some granite countertops. And I feel yes. like there's only room for one actor that occurs in all of your films. And I am kind of jealous of Hector Elizondo. Plus, I heard that back in the day, they used to date. Who, me and Hector? Yes, I heard what? that. Look, yes. we experimented... <laughs> On the set of The Flamingo Kid. That doesn't mean dating. It's Hollywood. I'm jealous. I'm a little jealous, Scotland. I'm a little Honey, jealous. Honey, you got to put this stuff. We're about to get no, married. I mean, you I'm can't sorry. get hung up on can, this stuff. Can you blame me? You have one wife in suspended animation, a, legalized, a legally recognized state of death <laughs> by the U.S. government. You have an ex-lover who you put in all of your films. You just uh, so much good. downtime on set. You and Hector. He wants to go over his lines, his motivations. I don't know what happened between you and Julia Roberts. Ashton Kutcher, another one of his ex-lovers, always around, coming mm. by all the time. I haven't but, heard this about you, Gary. Yeah, it's quite... news to me, too. <laughs> yeah. But hey, you know, just like working with John Travolta, you must have but done look, some of it. I am I'm a very, uh, I'm an emotional an emotive guy. director, and so yeah. we, uh, I form a close uh, emotional bond with all of my actors. This is how this is how the movies are so good. <laughs> you ever see the other sister? <laughs> I did with Julianne Lewis. That's right. Yeah. I had sex with everybody in that picture <laughs> to make it good. One at a time. It wasn't weird. Oh, okay, it wasn't like no. Len over here. <laughs> like That's right. If it, I would have knocked it all out just in an afternoon <laughs> at the table read. All right. Well, let's get to it. This uh, this wedding. I've given the backstory, and now it's time for the wedding. How romantic! To begin. Let's get to it. <laughs> Wait, I have another uh, problem. I have another okay. problem. What's that, dear? Okay, I'm afraid that it's going to come out later that Lentil is not actually a minister, and <laughs> I've already been through so goddamn much. I can't have this wedding. <laughs> Lentil, you you say you are a minister, though. Well, I'm an ordained minister online. Wait, wait. The Universal that. Life Church. I don't know about online. Um, no, I, under- I understand how it might seem not official. There are pending official. court cases about this Universal Life Church. I, I, I can't risk it. I frankly, I can't risk it. Okay, so what do you? I mean, here we all we're all gathered well, for I a wedding. What do you want to do? I you mean, and your closest friends, me and Colin. Yes. What kind of? You need somebody to officiate this. Uh, yeah. Well, mean? I. You know what? I did a little research. Mm. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. So many okay. curveballs have been thrown my way by you bunch. Okay, um, so you I'm, have someone else yes, that you want to officiate this? I would like the Rear Reverend John Persimmons to officiate. Wait, you must be talking about Reverend Persimony. Yes, that's his name. Persimony. Hello. hello. <gasps> Reverend hello Persimmons. 
Yes, uh, knee. Parsimony. I keep telling you, it's uh, Robert Parsimony. It's, uh, I don't know why you keep calling me. You called me uh, John Parsimons. She called me Jesse Plemons one time. I don't know who that is. <laughs> He's one of my favorite actors. Uh, now I, I, He's going to be in the new season of Fargo. I'm here to... Uh, to uh, Missed out on that Star Wars job. <laughs> What's that? What are you all talking about? I don't understand Don't worry about it. Saying. Reverend Persimmons, thank you so much for coming. Uh, Persimmons. 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 Even Colin knows. He's oh, never met not. this guy before. Oh, oh, yes, I've even Persimmons. introduced this gentleman. He knows how to pronounce my name. Yeah, this is Colin Hay, by the way, oh, uh, Reverend nice Persimmons. Nice Persimmons. Are you a music fan? Uh, I, I enjoy some music, uh, hymns. Hymns and so Simply hymns? Do, do you know any hymns? No, I don't what know. What about hers? I know a few <laughs> old. Now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> hymns and hers, another potential title. <laughs> What, everyone needs to be quiet now. What's, what's happening? Okay, I'll clue you in, Reverend Persimmonies. Um, <laughs> close, close, close enough. Yes, yeah. there's two of them now. <laughs> what's happening is today, Gary Marshall and I are going to be joined in holy wedded matrimony forever and ever, and it's going to be legally binding in all dimensions, and we're already taking into account that he has a wife in suspended animation, which is a legally recognized state of death. Test, test, yes, yeah. of course. Test case. Test case. In, yeah. in the eyes of the law, certainly not in the eyes of God. Well, no, I had this checked out by um, legal scholars. Uh, Religious um, scholars? Re- sh- I was getting there. Oh. Theologians, I like to call them. Ooh, so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, My apologies. I, I consulted with Star Magazine, mm. and I also— Star I Jones? Took Star Re- Esquire. Yeah, she was another lawyer mm-hmm, I consulted mm-hmm. with. Great. And I asked some children what they thought. Mm. <laughs> some, well, you playing on a playground? Mm-hmm. You've okay. done due diligence, so um, uh, no problem there. Um, uh, so uh, I, I'm to marry uh, this uh, young woman to this uh, aged man over here? Yeah, well, yes, to Gary Marshall right yeah, over Yeah, you're here. not a spring chicken yourself. <laughs> uh, we have about three different ages here. We have Len, who's kind of I'm a, in my 40s. You're in your 40s. You <laughs> went That's to Cupertino true. High. Cupertino High, Fremont, California. I'm a good-looking guy in my 40s. And, and you I like to have sex, sex parties. parties. Yeah. And I directed the Underworld series of and films. And you're married to? <laughs> I'm married to Kate Beckinsale. So this is what we know about you. That's my backstory. <laughs> Certainly. Uh, and we also have, of course, the Reverend Persimony. That's who? Right. How old are you? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, 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 an old man, a uh, great shock <laughs> of white hair. Uh, I'm going to say I'm probably in my uh, uh, 70s. 70s? Okay, very good. Yes. And then we have Gary Marshall, yeah, who was is... born in the 70s, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, right, of course, so that makes sense. Then you have uh, Gary Marshall, born in the 80s, That's of course. That's right, so. boy, I'm in my 80s. I'm, uh, who knows how much time I got left? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh, please, mm. don't spoil it. <laughs> All right, so Reverend Parsimony, you are ready and able to perform this ceremony. Yes, uh, not willing, but I'm going to do it. Oh, thanks. That's all we need. <laughs> All right, and uh, would you like, uh, uh, would you care for any music? That's up to the couple. Would you like a processional? Of yes, some, please, some please, please, please. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. Ah, ooh, baby, I like your ways and your money and your days and your face and your nose and your eyes and your toes. Oh, Gary, I like the way you do the things that you do when I give you the right pills. Oh, Gary, I like licking your nose. I like seeing your toes all up in the air. Oh, Gary, I love you so much. I she have... loves Gary. I love Gary so much. I got a new will made all Already you she give me all your scary. money I got your kids to agree to the new will I get your money, I love you Oh Gary, I love you She loves Gary Gary, I love you Okay, this is long <laughs> Alright, is that, is that enough? I mean, everyone's Gary, do you want to sing here. a song to me? I mean, I... <laughs> Feel a little vulnerable right now. Yeah, Gary, I do you want to sing a song? It, but, uh, Colin, can you I'll give him some it. music? Yeah, I think Gary me, wants to sing a give song. Give me a yeah. backing track, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gillian! <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna marry you today and make you my wife. <laughs> and then we're gonna go away on a honeymoon in Tahiti or a nice tropical island. So let's get it over with. All right. <laughs> Brevity truly is the soul of wit. If everyone's done uh, improv singing, then. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's please uh, proceed with the uh, ceremony. All right. How would you like to proceed? And what can I do to help? Okay. There's nothing. Well, I'm the host of the show. There's <laughs> yeah, got to be something I can it's, do. It's a wedding. I don't well, usually do. I've never officiated a wedding. Can we co host? Or where what? someone in the congregation <laughs> said, What can oh, I do? Well, usually <laughs> that's all decided. Can I help in some way? <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, if, so weddings are not usually a volunteer affair. It's uh, usually planned out and it's all taken care of. But I'd love to do something. All right. Why don't you sit there and uh, shut up? <laughs> There's two things for you to do. <laughs> All, right, All right, go ahead. Will you please, uh, please join hands? All right. Us two or Colin and I? I don't care. You can... T- <laughs> Again, this is... This may not, interfere not with way, your guitar playing. Not the way this is supposed to go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered. Did you say here. gilly beloved? Why? What are you? What, I don't understand why you why you're doing what you're doing. Sorry, it's, it's just. Sorry. I'm on autopilot have you, here. Have you ever done this at a wedding before? <laughs> no, but I've never been hosting a show during a wedding. All right, maybe just push the microphone away. All right, here we go. <laughs> Dearly beloved, uh, I'm assuming. Uh, we are gathered here in the presence of uh, Almighty God, who uh, looks yes. down on us all. What's that? Gods. Uh, polytheism? Yes, thank you. I'm a pagan. Why did you ask me to do this service? <laughs> I just Why figured... did you go with the online fella? <laughs> well, I you're... mean, really, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. You know what, Lentil? Shut the f- up. Fair enough, but that got me a little hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. Just, I just we like are you to gather, gathered here in the sight of the one true God. Mm-hmm. Make no mistake, is looking down and doesn't like any of this business at all, and doesn't like the human race in general, and is just waiting for any opportunity to smash us all into dust from which we came. We are gathered here to witness the marriage of uh, this young lady to this uh, nearly dead old man. <laughs> I, uh, I would like to start with prayer. <clears throat> Come, canine, follow my ghostly voice. Come, canine, attend me. I love that poem. I wrote it. (laughs) Now then, uh, marriage is a sacred trust, uh, not entered into lightly. Uh, uh, Certainly not uh, on a podcast, uh, but uh, here we are. And, uh, you know, the church needs uh, new faucets, so uh, (laughs) you do what you got to do. Uh, uh, please just step forward. Uh, do you have uh, uh, vows that uh, you would like to read, or are we going to go traditional? Or no, no tradition. No, no tradition. I've got my <coughs> vows already. All right. Uh, the bride will go first. Thank you. <laughs> Dear Gary. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm swell. So excited that our wedding day is finally here. Just make sure you sign that new will I had drawn up by Star Jones Esquire. Going to get all your money. Your children are okay with it. Um, I unplugged Barbara from the suspended animation machine. She's slowly dying right now, but I think you're secretly okay with that. The first time I saw you, I thought, gosh, that guy must have a lot of bucks. TV in the 70s and 80s sure was profitable. (sighs) I love you so much. (laughs) Your hair is so pretty. And you love me so good. Yours truly, Gilly. All right, well, I don't quite know what to do here because if uh, the wife is unplugged from the suspended animation machine, uh, she's not technically in suspended animation. She's dying. She's dying. All right, but dying's not the same as dead. You might want to have somebody. I'm not trying to tell you business. Might want to plug her back in. Maybe that's something I could do. Okay, Scott, go go plug Barbara back in. There you go, son. Thank you very much. I'll help you. (laughs) Now, if the groom... Colin, I need your help! The, yes, I, I'll hold the plug for you. <laughs> if the groom would like to uh, proceed with his vows. Okay. <laughs> Gilly, <laughs> the first time I saw you, I thought, that's the girl from TV. <laughs> Soon after that, we embarked on a whirlwind romance of getting married, getting divorced... Putting my wife in suspended animation, faking my wife's death, (laughs) revealing that she was alive, (laughs) then putting my wife in suspended animation. This is a first draft. I meant to uh, go over this. I printed up the wrong one. (laughs) 
from the second day that I saw you, I realized ours was a love that could not be avoided, <laughs> much as I tried to do so. Will you please do me the great honor of marrying me so that I will make you rich after my death? What? And you... <laughs> Well, I mean, you're going to share in my wealth while I'm alive, of course. I'm not going to like... But then uh, you'll have all of it. When you yeah, but, but then you have like, all of it. I get an allowance while you're still alive. Of course right. you get an allowance. Some I'm an it. old-fashioned guy. As a, as a writer, if I could give you a little punch-up. <clears throat> oh, make sure, you, yeah. To make you rich. Why don't you uh, do some writing for me? Because uh, God knows I never went anywhere as a, as a I don't writer. I you are a writer. You were just a... Yo, you don't think I wrote stuff? I mean... Dick I mean, Van Dyke Show, you ever heard of that? You, who, no. who do you think invented the character of Jerry the Dentist? I'm just saying you could say she's super rich when she's dead and rich while she's alive. Rich while she's alive, super rich. Okay, what he said. <laughs> so here we go off on a great adventure that will last probably a very brief amount of time. Yes. I love you. Oh, it was painful to listen to, and uh, I'm glad it's over. <clears throat> Please take each other's uh, hands once again and... Uh, uh, you will place the ring on your finger on the fingers after uh, repeating after me, uh, 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 young lady. Uh, you, uh, you say, uh, uh, "With this ring, uh, I thee wed." With this ring, I thee wed. And then put it on his finger there. Oh, not so hard. Mm, mm, Ooh, mm, you're making mm, you're making marks. Mm, mm, ah, honey, mm, come on, it's on there. Mm. You're getting into the webbing. <laughs> With this ring, I thee web. Oh, good chiming. <laughs> Famous Spider-Man cover. All right. When Spider-Man broke up Doc Ock's wedding to his Aunt May. What? All right, pretty girl, we get it. You never read it. Are you telling me that at some point in the Spider-Man continuity, uh, his Aunt May's only living relative was yes. going to marry Dr. Octopus. The Doctor Octopus? And on the cover, Spider-Man came in and webbed up the, the ring and said, with this ring, I the... Did, 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 did she not realize he was an octopus man? She did not realize that, I he kept, he kept the... Or she thought he was sweet. He kept the... <laughs> that he wasn't a supervillain. <laughs> Just a regular old a octopus regular man. old octopus man. <laughs> yeah. In mechanical arms. I'm, and I beg your pardon, it was the reverend who said, with this ring, I thee, and then saw the web on the ring and said, web? Oh, so he was confused. He was, uh, he yeah. was about to say web. Web, and then, and then saw the web said, and yeah. was confused. Okay, let's get to said, it. Let's oh, get I, to I, it. I have to apologize. Isn't there something you're forgetting? Don't you usually ask at this point if there's anyone who objects to, uh, to the wedding? Or? I do that after the ring part. It's oh, okay. more dramatic. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, uh, Certainly there will be no one, so. Mr. Marshall, please call me Gary. Gary, uh, place the ring upon her finger and repeat after me. <laughs> it's the same thing as before. With this ring, I thee wed. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, now that you have uh, betrothed uh, one another to each uh, your own, uh, uh, it is only left for me to ask, is there anyone here who knows any reason why these two should not be joined in uh, holy matrimony? And then nobody ever says anything because sure. it's rude. Sure, of course. Yes. It's too rude to do. So, uh, Colin, you're not going to say anything. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, got so a that can't be denied. I'm not going to say anything. Len, you're not going to say anything. So we're the only people in this room. So uh, obviously, I don't. Huh? Uh, stop this wedding. What? Who is this I man? I cannot allow uh, <gasps> this wedding to continue. Alan Thicke? Uh, That's right. Thick. What are you doing here? I'll tell you after the break. Oh my gosh, uh, this is incredible. Uh, <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. We have Colin Hay, uh, new solo record out uh, on Tuesday uh, called uh, Next Year People. And uh, we have, uh, we're in the middle of the climactic yes. wedding between Gilly and Gary yeah, here. Just about there. I just about there. Uh, Reverend Parsimony is performing it. Len, you're here uh, yes. as a witness. I wanted to break that glass at the end. <laughs> and suddenly. Suddenly somebody came in. Or all of the sudden. Yes. Th it's all of a sudden. No, I've heard that all of the sudden predates it, by the way. Oh, who'd you hear that from? Several Somebody internet people. Somebody dum-dum? Several. <laughs> Several internet people. Oh, I do beg your pardon. <laughs> all of the sudden... Alan Thicke came in through that door yes. saying that he objected to the wedding. Uh, that's right, Scott. I, uh, I, I, I heard that uh, Gillian here was marrying 
uh, Mr. Marshall, please call me Gary. Gary. By the compact and, of please call me Gary, you must call him Gary now. Yes, of course. And, uh, and uh, you know, as much as I admire Gary Marshall for uh, his pioneering work in the multi-camera sitcom world, of which I am a part, of course, from Pains. Growing pains, we call. Oh them yes, pains. growing pains. Oh, yeah. Um, oh god. I, uh, I, many people don't know this, but uh, I have long been in love with uh, Gillian. Uh, we're sort of star-crossed lovers. She's from the single-camera comedy world, <laughs> and I'm from the multi-camera. And uh, ours was a love that could never be. There's never been an instance of uh, of single camera uh, people and multi camera <laughs> people falling in love. Yeah, our children would be sterile. <laughs> Wait, who did like, like a mule? Who married Aaron Gray from the Buck Rogers TV show? What? Why would I know that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm no, gonna look it up. <laughs> yeah, why don't you look that up? That seems to be the most important. If only someone could sing right a song now. to help me look this up. What kind of song? Something like, you know, look it up, Scotty. Like the idea, like, so the lyrics would be like a command to you yeah, to look exactly. it up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Look it up, Scotty. Look it up. No, nah, it's not. What do you think of my song? Ah, she married Ken Schwartz. Never mind. <laughs> Ken Schwartz? Yeah. Uh, who am I thinking of? I, well, Aaron Gray. No was, one no, knows what you're talking well, about. Well, Aaron Gray straddled the line between single camera and uh, multi camera from Silver Spoons to Buck Rogers. That's not the same thing. I know, but it's kind of like talking a about. The, anyway, comedy to comedy. That's comedy to drama. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry to interrupt, Alan. <laughs> Thank you. If I may continue, uh, Gillian, um, I love you, and I cannot stand by and watch you marry. This elderly man, rich though he may be, I'm also very wealthy from my uh, television work and also writing those theme songs. And your Facts recent life, show, Conspicuously story. Thick, is that what it is? <laughs> Arguably Thick. <laughs> it's a reality show uh, that follows me and my wife around. Oops, I forgot that I was married. Mm. You're married. Well, I've been married. Now, hold on a second. I've mm. been married several times, so uh, this is uh, yeah, very easy for me to do. Honest mistake. <laughs> honest mistake. Helen, can I interject? It's I, since I it wish is my would. own this, wedding. Oh, this will be our first interjection. How romantic. <laughs> I have several issues with you, Alan. <laughs> one. Now please list them numerically. Okay, one, you have diluted your wealth through several marriages and divorces. Gary has only been married once, and there has been no divorce. That's right, just a suspended animation <laughs> and a fake murder. <laughs> Barbara hasn't gotten a dime out of him. Two, I said, Alan, I'd be happy to marry you if, if, if. You will give me all of your son's money, and you said no. Well, uh, uh, Robin, of course, uh, has his own career and, and his own divorce. That he's and his own for. divorce. So, uh, like father, like son, the apple doesn't fall far. So, so on and so forth. And uh, 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 that was not my wealth to promise. Uh, a man can only promise his own. He's wealth. your son. He's yeah, your son. Well, he's, you made uh, him. Uh, you uh, can. Uh, uh, you brought him into the world. You can take him out. Uh, that is true. A father, of course, is uh, uh, legally allowed to murder his own son, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> by the rule of Cosby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm saying because that's his famous joke, I brought you into this world, I'll take you well, out. But it was an expression before. It was a, a Cosby bit. He didn't coin that term. And now there's, an unpleasant, well, he's, there's he's, an unpleasant Paul over all these proceedings. True, but he said it on the very first episode of the Cosby show. Yes, okay. but uh, And on his records. All right. So. Let's stop talking about Bill Cosby because I, I think it's a bit of a downer at this point. I don't know. Well, <laughs> to each his own. <laughs> I'm saying this wedding has already been <laughs> tarnished enough by my presence, so uh, perhaps why drag Cosby in yes, this? Not, please stop saying his name. I beg of you. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. William H. Cosby. Oh, that does make it a little <laughs> yeah, better. A little better yes. What is going on? <laughs> Gary, just g uh, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Rub his back, lad. I'll, right. I'll give him a little back rub like they do in the theater. <laughs> Do I still need to be here? Or, uh, <laughs> yes. yes, because we're getting we're, we, married. We have to say you may kiss the bride in order for this oh, thing to be. Right. So that's what makes it legal. Yeah. So I, I, I'm willing to marry someone here today, but I uh, don't want to marry Alan Thick. Uh, why? I told you you don't have as much money as Gary. I've been working long and hard. Yeah. Long and hard. Six years on Community, and what do you have to show for it? I'm tired. Okay. A horse sweater. I, perhaps a horse sweater. We don't even know for Two sure. Two pairs of sunglasses? I would like, you know what? I, look, I know I just got here, but is perhaps a horse sweater in contention for title <laughs> of the episode? 
<laughs> Thank you, Alan, for being so conscientious. <laughs> well, it just struck me. I mean, I have an ear for these things. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> now, Gillian, uh, what, I, what, I, what I do lack... Uh, uh, the, the, the Croesus-like wealth of a, of a Gary Marshall. Mm. Uh, I, I do have a, a, a wonderful ranch uh, and property in Canada. Uh, Canada? <laughs> He's, it's, it's beautiful. You're one there. of the 50 people who lives there. That's right. 100, please. Sorry, uh, I'm so sorry. a little insulting. <laughs> uh, many of them named Gord. <laughs> and you've almost met them all? I've almost saying? met every Gord. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had almost met all the other 99 people in Canada. Uh, what's the difference? <laughs> True. Gilly, what I can promise you is a uh, is a real life, not a not a life uh, based on uh, material goods and and uh, the shallow uh, pleasures that they bring, uh, but a, a life of uh, a romance uh, and devotion for probably almost ten years. Are you still married? Uh, yes. Okay. Bye. <laughs> but Gary is uh, g- uh, married. We plugged her back in. That's all good. Star Jones told me it was fine. Yeah, unless your wife is in suspended animation. Oh, she is. Did I not mention that? She oh, is. Yes. Why did you have to throw a wrench into my plan? She, fe- she fell into our suspended animation machine, which uh, we kept uh, <laughs> in case we were afraid that there was going to be a nuclear apocalypse. And uh, well, we you're not to, wrong. We there wanted to see. Uh, well, uh, yet another reason that uh, it's a uh, built. For two, and uh, uh, certainly you and I could wait out the uh, uh, coming nuclear apocalypse. But together. isn't your wait, wife, your wife is, in Would there? you throw her out of? <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, there's only room for two, and uh, she, I'm sure yeah. she'd understand. Well, Alan, Gillian. I feel like I can best explain this to you in a song. <clears throat> okay. Do you need accompaniment? Yes. All right, oh. Colin. Do you I don't need do a cappella. Alan, I love you dearly. You're my passion, you're my heart, you're my sexual partner for life. Let's just keep it how it was. We'll keep having sex, but I'm gonna marry Gary. Gonna marry Gary. He's got more money than you. You're just an actor, Alan, and I'm not into you. I'm a multi-hyphenate now myself, and I don't want to marry just an actor. You're gross, Alan. Gary, 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 Gary's got so much money. I love Gary, Gary, Gary. I made my heart out of Gary's money, and now I'm going to see how the world can be. I'm going to travel to all the countries and never saw. I'm going to eat all the wine. I'm going to drink all the caviar. I'm going to wear all the clothes. I'm going to dance all the dances. I'm going to sing all the songs and have a romance with Carrie. Well, that was uh, certainly compelling. Uh, if you don't mm-hmm. mind, though, uh, I have a I would like to sing a song of my own. Oh, uh, let's see if I could change your mind. Counterpoint. No, you know because uh, you said that I'm uh, just an actor, but you're forgetting that I am also a uh, songwriter, singer, songwriter, oh, and uh, what? and and a host. I've, I what? Ho- I hosted a show called Animal Crack Ups. <laughs> <That's one of laughs> and think of the night. And think of the night, of course. Yeah. Singer, songwriter of the Facts of Life theme. What? And the different strokes. That's theme. right. What? And you uh, don't know this, and you've been stooping him. You know, royalties are uh, no uh, I don't small, really small potatoes. Col- Colin can tell you that much. And, yeah, uh, certainly. Wait, uh, you I'm wrote still, those songs? I wrote different strokes, facts of life. And, and Colin, if you wouldn't mind accompanying me, give me something a little bouncy, a uh, 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 sitcom theme Well, there's a way to get married and have your cake and eat it too. And that's if you marry me and I marry you. I'm Alan Thick. the end. Wow, great song. Thank Thank you. You. One of the shortest Thank ones I've ever heard. Mm. Well, I, I can only write in theme song length <laughs> yeah. chunks. Any more than that is Gilding the Lily. It's a, a more, Gilding the Gilly. More than Maybe a, that's a good title Gilding for this. The gilly. Gilding the Gilly. <laughs> <laughs> that's truly let's, gilding let's, the lily okay, with that. Okay, Alan, let's, okay, let's resolve this once and for all. Right, let's resolve this. Who let's do you want to marry? Let's put it to a vote. Let's put it to oh, a vote. Oh, wait, we can all vote? Yeah. Reverend Parsimony can vote too? Can yeah, Parsimons can vote. <laughs> okay, so how many of us are there? There's, of course, you have uh, Gilly, you have myself, you have Colin, mm-hmm. you have... Uh, uh, Gary. Gary. Present. And you have... Uh, Lentil. Re- Lentil. Here. And you have Reverend Parsimony and Alan Thick. So the seven That's of us, right. so this will not be an even vote. Can they vote for themselves? 
Yes. What if they can only, What if you cannot vote for yourself? <laughs> okay, you cannot that vote for yourself. I feel that that complicates things. <laughs> you, can, you cannot vote for yourself. Okay. All right, so here enough. we go. So let's go around the room. Gilly, you'll be last. Okay. Uh, I'll go first. I, um, you know, to be honest, uh, I love the love story between you and Gary. I think, uh, you know, I got to vote for him. Thanks. I vote for Gary. Great. One All for right. Gary. One for Gary. Colin, how do you like to uh, vote? I think that I... I was in there from the start with with uh, with Gary. I thought that Gary was yeah. a fantastic match for um, uh, for Gilly. Thank mm-hmm. you, Gilly and Gary. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. it yes, just it, has a, a ring it's, to it. Yes, it's, it's alliterative. Mm-hmm. It's. Uh, Thank you. Yes. Two. All right, that's two. Oh uh, mm-hmm. yeah, you didn't actually say if that's your vote though. Uh, well, yeah. It's okay, great. Yeah. Okay, okay, that great. is your vote. <laughs> great. I just wanted to lock you in. <laughs> Lentil. Final answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. This is difficult because Gary's obviously a friend of mine, mm. and I don't want to see him heartbroken or hurt. But I also don't want to see him taken advantage of uh, by a, a recent uh, multi-hyphenate. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling. You just haven't been in the game that long, and uh, you don't know about the road ahead. It's very difficult. Take it from a guy who's a little bit older in his 40s. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little, just a little bit, but I've been around long enough to know. So, although this is uh, maybe cruel to do, mm. I got to vote for Alan Thick. Oh, one Tom. for Alan Thick. You're on the board. <sighs> wow. This, this is exciting. This is a squeaker. All thank right, you, let's thank you, Lynn. Let's go to. Well, Ro- I'm not really doing it for you. It's not a vote for you so much as a vote against Gillian. And sorry, mm-hmm. Gillian, to say that. All mm-hmm. right, let's go to Gary. Gary, who do you vote for? Um, you can't okay. vote for yourself. I can't vote for myself. You can vote for anybody? <laughs> no, you can only vote for the two contenders. Oh, boy. All right. And what's the score right now? Well, it's uh, two for Gary, two, yourself, one. and one for Alan. One for Alan. Okay. Let's see here. If I vote for myself, it puts me over the top. You cannot vote for yourself. Can't vote for myself, <laughs> so that's not an option. Not an option, so I'd like your vote. All right. Well, it be, it's I can't vote for myself. The only other person I can vote for is Alan. Correct. I got to go with Alan Thicke. <laughs> Congratulations, Alan. Oh, We're tied. It's, it's a real barn burner. All right. Alan, I'm going to go to you for your vote. Uh, all right. Well, I can't vote for myself. You can't vote for yourself. <laughs> How many votes are there remaining? <laughs> there uh, are three votes remaining. So it's uh, I, I vote, then uh, the Then the Reverend Parsimony. That's right, yeah. And then uh, Gillian. Mm. All right. Hmm. Ooh, I gotta make this count. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't vote for yourself, right? So. No, no, I understand that. <laughs> Who do you vote Still, for? Still, let's think about this. Uh, I vote for Gary. <laughs> Very yeah. good, um, Gary. Please call me Mr. Marshall. Oh, you've angered That's him. That's right. Your Gary privileges are revoked. <laughs> but he voted for you. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't want. Uh, don't anyway, want his pity. I don't want it. I don't want anything. Yeah. I don't know. I'm past my bedtime. Why right. am I still here? <laughs> all right, Reverend, how do you like to vote? Well, this We're is, three uh, to two in favor of Gary. This is all, of course, uh, very disgusting. <laughs> um, I, uh, uh, I don't uh, usually uh, vote in these matters. This has never come up. This is the most unorthodox wedding I've ever performed, and uh, it may make me retire from performing weddings uh, altogether because uh, uh, as much as I don't want to go out on a low note, uh, I also <laughs> don't want this situation to ever be repeated. Uh, I vote for Alan Thick. <gasps> Alan Thick, uh, it's a tie! <sighs> Well, Gilly, <sighs> it's going to come down to you and who you want to marry, which I think is the best way to yep. decide who you're going to marry. Uh, do the right thing, honey. The pressure yes, do the is right so thing. Intense. Gillian? Can you just give me a brief rundown? This of, is like of the candidates. No, Certainly. no, not the candidates. I remember <laughs> we that. We have Gary Marshall. We have Alan Thicke. No, no, no. Net worth. Net worth. Net Can we just net. brief rundown? Alan. Yes. How much money do you have? Do you want me to look up celebrity net worth? Yes, please. All right. Can I get a look it up, Scotty? Do, do, do. Look it up, I Scotty. Have, I have, uh, and this may sound shocking, I have $2 million. Oh, God. Well, that's a lot of money to have on you. Let me verify. Oh, on, oh, on you. you. Yeah, was that not the question? No, 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 no. Your net worth. Your <laughs> oh, I do apologize. My net worth. If, uh, do you know the number eight? Yes. Have you ever seen it uh, lying down on its side? Oh, you cutie. I've got it, by the way. All right, I am uh, Alan Thick. Worth now. This is uh, I don't. I, usually this, on a podcast, a gentleman being asked to 
say how much money he makes is uh, considered rude in some mm-hmm. circles. But, but here it is on CelebrityNetWorth.com. Forty million. Forty million. All right. Dollars. All right. That's strong. Very strong. It's a lot of it's a lot of money, and of course the money keeps coming in because mm, of, does it? Yeah, different strokes and facts of life. All right. Certainly, Gary. Gary. I've looked you up on Celebrity Net Worth. Oh, am I on there? Yep. Fifty million. Oh, very close. Ten closer million than more. Thought. Closer than it's I thought. It's pretty close. Than I thought. Closer than I thought. Now, so, honey, I want you to remember. Although Gary has ten million more dollars, he's not long for this world. Yeah. He's an irascible old coot. Got it. And I don't think he's going to give you a life that you're going to end up liking. Whereas Alan, I think, is truly devoted to giving you a romantic wonderland that you deserve (laughs) for some reason. (laughs) All right, Gillian, I'm going to need your answer. Who do you want to marry? I would like... I'm sorry. I'm just getting emotional. I would like to marry... Gary Marshall! I won! Uh, Congratulations, Gary! Uh, Thank you, I guess. Boy, oh boy, this has turned out to be way more of a hassle than I ever dreamed. Wow. Well, uh, Reverend Parsimony, you can, of course, pronounce them man and bride. But first, before you do that, I have a question for Gary. Uh, What will the chicks do when they see grease lightning? Oh, you. The chicks will creep. Scott Ackerman! Oh, no! Scott! Scott Ackerman! I had him! He was banished to his dimension! I had him in my car! Oh, I'm so sorry. Did did you do that on purpose? I kind of did. You're an incurable romantic. I am! I love the romance between Alan here and Uh. Gilly, and I hope that within the next calendar year, that something will blossom between them, but uh, uh, no, so Gillian. sorry, Gillian. May, may I say something? Uh, sure. Uh, I know I'm not an invited guest here, but you do have an open door policy, and I took advantage of it. <laughs> Gillian, uh, I don't expect you to marry me today here on this podcast, but uh, I do hope you'll take some time to uh, g- think about it. Take a, take a calendar year, and we'll take meet here. Calendar we'll year. meet here next year. How's that sound? Yeah. All right, very good. I'm so, so sorry, so sorry, but we're out of time for this wedding. We just have one last thing to do, and that's something called plugs. How okay. long is this thing? Let's wrap it up. What is some sort of torture? <laughs> I feel this... like feel like Noriega. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife has a lot of shoes. <laughs> what? No. That's a male demand. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I get them all mixed up. Feldemar. <laughs> <laughs> that was, ooh, look at this. That was Plugs 2K15 by the very aptly named Len Wiseman at Work. Oh. Whoa, that's uh, like, that's a combination like that? of Len Wiseman yes. and Men at Work over now that's here. fun. Wow, that what is was a the, lot of What fun. was the title of the song again? Plugs Too two, Long. 2K15. Yeah, is that the number of minutes? Oh. <laughs> Snap. Persimony got jokes. <laughs> Do you have any Yo Mama jokes? <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you like to hear? <laughs> Something about how fat my mama oh, is. Your, your mother is so fat that uh, <laughs> when she when she kneels down to pray, uh, God says, "Hey, not all at once." <laughs> all right. Well, it's a true thinker. All right. Well, because from his vantage point, it looks like a whole big pile of people. Certainly, of course, <laughs> he can't handle the very fat the, person. He can't handle the income. He only wants it one at a time. Yeah. All right, Gillian, what do you like to plug here? I'd like to plug my husband, mm-hmm. Gary Marshall. Yeah, unfortunately, you're not going to be on your honeymoon night tonight. Uh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. I'd also like to plug the fact that I'm on a show called Girls this season as mm. well. And I'd like to plug the fact that I hate all of you. <laughs> so sorry. sorry. So sorry. sorry. 
Uh, Colin, what would you like to plug? Obviously, we have the new record, uh, Next Year People. I would like to plug that. That's basically all I would like to plug. Okay. And Down Under. Down Under. Down Under. Both Down Unders. Do you, when, Australia when, and when New you're, Zealand. When you're playing Down Under. Down Under. And you... Mm-hmm. When you played the song Down Under, do they go, yes, that's us? Like when you're watching a movie at the Man's Chinese Theater and you see the Man's Chinese Theater on screen and everyone applauds? Or do they go, shut up, we don't want to hear about that? (laughs) All in unison. That's what they do. Last time I was there, I played Down Under and the whole crowd went... Shut up! We don't want to hear about that. <laughs> That's our daily That's lives. What they said. We don't want to hear about we that. We came here to escape from this. Play us something else that's not about that. <laughs> Do you know uh, one of the one of the treasures of performing in uh, <laughs> Australia d- down under is that uh, you know they only clap with uh, one hand. Uh, they just slap it against their thighs that's because right. they're they're holding a beer with the other hand. Mm, interesting. It's right. enough out of you, Alan. <laughs> I'm certainly sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. That was, that was a close one. <laughs> Boy, it got out of there by the skin of our teeth. That was a real squeaker. <laughs> um, and where can people get information about you uh, and your tour dates and all that? Is it colinhay.com? Colinhay.com. Fantastic. And uh, uh, we have several people over here. Uh, we have, of course, Len Wiseman. What do you like to plug? I'd like to plug... Sleepy Hollow, <laughs> the story of Ichabod Crane. Of he finds himself in modern times. Are you involved Sleepy Hollow, in New York. I produced it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Would you like to be on it? I would love to. Do you watch the show? No, but a friend of mine well, from college that, is the I guess. female lead. Is that so? Yes. Now, how come you've never said to her, hey, uh, why don't you tell your friend Len I'd love to be on Sleepy Hollow? Well, you know, Len, told, the last time I saw you... We didn't end on great terms, so I, you know, I really didn't want to be on a show. Well, that we didn't end on horrible terms, but not great, not great. Mm-hmm. All right, well, why don't you work well, this I out? Never, after I never, I never heard any about about any of this from Nicole. So, mm-hmm. okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. Call her. I will call her. The next time I see her, I'll say, I'm, I'm, I owe you a phone call. That was a squeaker, too. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's see. Let's go to the Reverend Parsimony. What do you like to plug here, uh, Church? Okay, and uh, every Sunday, oh, yeah, still, going on? <laughs> still, still going still on, still, still going on, still hanging in there. You ever gonna quit? Uh, uh, not me. Too legit. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> do you mean? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, do the hand gesture. I'm sure, did. the audience will appreciate yeah, that. No, I did the hand gesture from the video. Yeah, from too legit yeah. to quit. Um, and uh, My master of ceremonies, hammer. <laughs> yep. And let's turn now to Alan Thick. Anything you like to plug? Good. My show, Rapturously Thick, is uh, now airing on television. Oh. It's the story Preposterously of thick. <laughs> Unfathomably <laughs> thick. <laughs> it's a common expression that people use. And uh, that's airing now on uh, one of those reality show channels. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and uh, let's close up the old plug bag. Wait, what about Paul Tompkins? What about that? I mean, he's a friend of mine. I, well, do you want to plug something of his? Do you want to plug his? some stuff? Yeah. What do you want to plug of his? Um, I want to plug, no, you shut up. Oh. Which is a wonderful show. Never seen it. He debates puppets. It sounds rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like that title. Oh, fine. Uh, no, would you think about Stop Talking? Would you think about Stop Talking? It's Not a bad. little better. It's All right, a little better. better. All right, let's, Unwieldy. All right, let's close up the old plug bag. Brow. That is a good song. That is a good song. That is a good song. That's a good song. All right, guys. This has been fun. Uh, Gillian, I'm so sorry that it had to go down this way, but sorry. take the calendar year. Try to fall back in love with Alan Thicke. And you know, Gary, will be back in a year. Next year, everything will come good. The rains, they will fall and we'll dance on the hood. We'll fill up our bellies with plentiful food. We'll eat, drink, and be merry. Yeah, next year people wait and see Where next year people, you and me Yeah, next year people wait and see Where next year people, you and me Ma, 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 ma.
Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here with Paul Rust and Gillian Jacobs. Hello. Hello! <laughs> I love this new voice of yours. Thank you! What if you just started doing this during rolls? I like it. I think it'll work! <laughs> it would be so interesting if you came to Hollywood and you were at an audition everyone's like, beautiful girl, boy, she's going to go far. And then you started talking and it was just that. Why'd you do it to me, <laughs> Sam? Why? Sam. Yeah. And by the way, no one in the audition, like none of the characters are named Sam. You just name everyone Sam. (laughs) She's got this weird vocal quirk where she calls every character Sam. Mid-Atlantic Sam. (laughs) One time I auditioned for some sort of like teen fight club movie. Teenager fight club movie? Yeah, it was like. It was called, like, Never Stop Fighting or <laughs> Don't Give Up Ever, No Matter What, something like that. So, wait, it was a, it was a, it was a movie. It was a movie. And it was, it was for teens and starred teens? Yeah, it was aimed at a younger audience mm-hmm. than but it was my about parents' a fight generation. Club. It was about a, a young man in a high school who has to start fighting and not stop fighting. Not, never stop fighting? <laughs> never for how long? Stop. Like, is this a 24 situation? Like, um, it was the speed of fighting. So if he stopped fighting, a so, bomb oh, would I see. blow up a bus. I've never seen Up his butt? <laughs> um, but a bomb would go up his butt. <laughs> it wouldn't go off. It would just go up his butt, which is painful enough. Painful without enough. Without going off. Yeah. Um, and, and what happened? So I was auditioning to play his love interest. Sure. A, a fellow high school student. Sure. A great role, I would imagine. Love wonderful. interest of the lead. Very well-developed character. <laughs> Dimensional. <laughs> and, uh, Much I, like this microphone that you refuse to talk into. Listen! <laughs> people like it when they are struggling to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, and so I went in. I read for the... The director, I finished the scenes, and he said, you know what? You remind me of Christopher Walken. Interesting. <laughs> and I, in, in, in terms of your delivery. My vocal delivery, which is usually perfect for the love interest in a teen <laughs> fighting movie, right? So obviously I got the part. Check it out on my IMDb page. <laughs> what was it like? Were you like, you need to stop fighting? I These think, people? <laughs> I think I was, you know, trying to um, imbue the, I wouldn't say wooden, but um, stiff dialogue with feeling mm-hmm. perhaps. And uh, maybe I had to take a lot of pra- pauses to do that. Prauses? <laughs> prauses. Did you, uh, you got the part or were you kidding? Or no, I didn't oh. get the part. Jay Moore got it. Jay Moore got it. He's got a killer walking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> a real walk and roll. Um, well, that's too. What was your actual first role in Hollywood? Uh, my first role was in an independent feature in mm. New York City called Building Girl. <laughs> building Girl. Yeah. Was that verb or noun building? <laughs> noun. Okay. So you were a girl who hung out in buildings? I lived in Like a, most humans? I was, a, I was a girl who lived in the building, you know, the girl oh, the from the building. Girl, yeah. the building. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what was that part? Girl who lives in building. So, I don't remember much about that. You were the movie. titular character? Though? I was. And, and I was the tits in it. <laughs> really? What does that mean? I was the best. I was, you oh, know, you, I was oh the best. okay. <laughs> Great. Um, well, that's fantastic. I didn't possess the only mammary glands. Everybody's got them, Scott. Sure, everyone that's has true. them, but, uh, you know, we're not as proud of them as you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard in a pinch, men can lactate. If, <laughs> the if you pinch it hard enough? A literal pinch? <laughs> If you Can I p- test this theory out today? If you today? pinch a man's penis, milk will shoot out of his <laughs> butt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, well, that's fantastic. I uh, I think that it's... Oh, the door's... Ex- ex- uh, excuse me. Pardon me. What's wrong with the door? Uh, the door is stuck. <laughs> I can't quite close it. Oh, oh God. Oh, hey. hey. Hello. Hello, oh. everyone. Oh. Hi there. Oh, oh my gosh. Look. Scott, hello. How do you do? Uh, uh, Paul, uh, Russ, you must be a, uh, a fan of this gentleman. Huge from, fan of Alan From Thig. Pains. Oh, thank you. The, the Pains. P- growing Pains. Don't call it Pains unless you've been there. And, well, I mean, uh, I watched talk it. show in the thick of the night. Th- Big well, fan. that's very nice to hear. Thank you. Very, it's always uh, it's nice when young people are familiar with Thick of the Night. Well, my parents would tuck me in every night, and we'd watch it. Oh, and yeah, then yeah. you'd watch it together in a big bed like Charlie <laughs> and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. Family we had bed. our names carved on the headboard, and we'd... <laughs> 
It's very bleak. Sit accordingly. But uh, b- but thank you for uh, thank you for being a fan. And of, of course, course uh, my uh, sitcom uh, Growing Pains. And of course, you're familiar with my work as a uh, theme song writer. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, true, I would love. Yeah. Uh, maybe you'd like to write a theme song for Ball Rust over here. I mean, a personal theme song for you. Personal or, or, band theme or song. Or for his <laughs> personal band theme song. <laughs> or or for his show. He's yeah. got a show coming up. Oh, congratulations! Show. It's thank great you. to have shows. You know, yeah. I have a show, uh, a reality show oh. that airs on one of those reality show networks. It's called. It's monstrously thick. It's now, Scott. <laughs> we have a lot of fun with the title, <laughs> but of course, it's uh, painfully thick. <laughs> <laughs> it's about me and one of the women that I married. <laughs> um, do you have a theme song for the show, Love? Or it's, it's just got music. It doesn't have lyrics. Oh, no which, lyrics? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you a lyricist or a composer? <clears throat> uh, hello, Gillian. Hello. It's been, a, it's been a calendar year since the last time I've seen you. Yeah. Anyway, I am a I am a composer and a lyricist. Of course, I wrote the, the words, the words and, the and the music. The lyrics, yeah. uh, Facts of life. Uh, although I had inspiration from the title, of course, I didn't come up with the title. No, but you, I mean, the facts of life are things that you probably have. I would have called it. Fun. Yes. Bunch of girls. <laughs> One on skates. Still yeah. got the of in there. Bunch of girls. Bunch of girls. Bunch of girls. Bunch of girls. A bunch of girls. There's one on skates. One's a Christian. <laughs> That One is deaf. Every show. One's a Christian. I think she became a Christian later. I don't think she was a Christian. You don't think she show. was a Christian on that show? That, that was not the character. Oh, you, you're okay. talking, of course, about Blair. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Blair was just a sort of uptight rich girl. She was not necessarily a Christian. Okay. It wasn't overt. I, I mean, she may have been a Christian on the show. She, she may have been, but, you know, of course, I had to watch every episode <laughs> because we, we, we would do the theme live. Sure, yeah. But then you wouldn't leave? You would just stick around to watch well, the Why not? Show? You know, it's fun to be there, That's craft true. service. Yep. <laughs> so a lot she of bugles, never... A lot of bugles on that set. We yeah, a lot of boy. Bugles. Same well, you, could, you could put bugles on your fingers and make yourself into uh, a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Same with the Spider-Man set. There were a lot of bugles on that one, too. Or one of note. Um, oh. So... So, <laughs> even Gilly got that one. <laughs> so what? Uh, 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 That's the paper. I feel as if uh, the last time we were together, there was a lot of Spider-Man talk as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. You were um, making fun of me because I didn't know about some issue of Spider-Man where. Which one? Number forty-two, where Mary Jane was introduced. No, <laughs> with the eye web. Oh, with this ring, I the web, of yeah. course. That's yeah, right. when Doc Ock married Aunt May. Of course, that was before I arrived on the scene. Yeah, and so I wouldn't know that anyway. <laughs> so sing a song about love. Love. Uh, the, what is the, what is the show about? Can you give me some uh, background? Yeah, I I play somebody who's sort of a. Uptight. He plays Gus. People by the way. pleaser. Oh, can, can I stop dorky you? guy. Can I stop you right there? Uh-huh. Are, you, are you the main character of the show? I'm one of the main characters. One yeah. of the main. Is it an ensemble piece? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's a kind of a two hander. That's well. That's Is, two are you people. talking about that's that scene you where you need jerked for off? Uncomfortably <laughs> thick. <laughs> We were you both racing. We we're all too. racing to get our joke in. It's more of a that's more of a one fister open palmer, <laughs> one finger in the buttholer. <laughs> what are we talking about? What a shocker! <laughs> so, so that's my character. Hey, now I'm putting it And then in. Gillian, she plays Mickey. She's sort of a, a wild child. Uh, the, the second head in the two hander. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Is it M I K I or is it what is it? M I C K E Y M O. Why didn't you write that song? U S E. Why didn't I write that song? That's a good question. <laughs> Ooh, why didn't I write the other songs I didn't write? <laughs> Do you think time prevented you? The where you yeah, were, were born you in not your enough life? time? The very time prevented me from <laughs> writing those songs. That reminds me of something. I don't know what it is. I'm but, sure I don't yeah. know. TikTok. So he plays Gus. She plays Mickey. Well, what's the show about, though? Uh, don't, <laughs> oh. don't tell me. Are don't, you Canadian? Of course I am. <laughs> from I'm um, from Toronto. So don't tell me, show me. What, do you, what were you about to well, say? Well, I need to know what the show the is show about, me not state? just the characters. Well, these two characters, can you imagine if they got together in a, well, because a romantic they're, relationship? They're opposites. They're kind of opposites. They're very different. Yes. Not so much May, December. Whose more. idea was this? Uh, <laughs> not mine. Very, very new. Uh, you're already <laughs> washing your hands of this. <laughs> we thought it would be I cool. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> we thought there might be a show just when two identical people dating each other. 
<laughs> two people who jibe on every level zero conflict they, zero conflict the first time they ever talk they have all the same references and like all the same things uh -huh. they're, they're yeah. politically they align emotionally uh, religiously yeah <laughs> Sp uh, should say background. spiritually Back background they both backgroundly are, they're from the they're exact <laughs> same house in the exact same city the brother and sister <laughs> they yeah. meet by the first and then by there the second there was a show about married. a brother and sister who fell in love really recently which one on television it was written by Neil LeBute mm. and I don't remember what it was called in the company of siblings. <laughs> oh my god. Do you guys ever act like this on the show or are you acting like normal people? <laughs> no, it's all this. Oh, are the are the people mentally ill? <laughs> Sure. I mean, you could argue that uh, that all of us are in some way, mm -hmm. in, some, yes. in some respect. Or well, some our theory. brains are rotting in our heads. Uh, the the further and further we get to death, closer Ooh. and closer we get to death. <laughs> that was the original title. Oh, did I say oh, further yes. and further? Further, further, we, further, further from towards birth. Further towards closer death. towards. No, closer. Death. You're right. Of course. The further we go I from our mothers. Speak. Vaginas do, that birthed us. Really? Do you think life is all about trying to get as far away from your mother's vagina as possible? Uh, <laughs> so you're on the exact yeah. opposite of the earth from it? <laughs> and then you die the minute you hit the exact opposite? Yeah. Wow. When you're is this what the show is about? <laughs> A boot. Oh, I'm sorry. You're from, I'm from Toronto. Canada. Toronto. Right. Yeah. Well, um, I live in Toronto now, of course. You I'm do? Some, some, yeah. Oh. I divide my time between. Well, I have several homes. How does that work uh, tax purposes wise? Is it tough? Uh... Pretty good. He's, he, we looked it up the last time about a year ago, I think it was. Yes. Was it exactly a year ago? Uh, almost to the day. Wow, that you were on the show. We looked up at how rich you are. I'm you're very rich. You're doing yeah, you're pretty good. Surprisingly what, rich. What was yeah. it? It was like 35 mil or something? Oh, I, I think you're doing me a disservice. It I'm was so sorry. It was 60 million dollars. 60 mil? Yeah. And Gary. Gary had 80 mil. I not believe. as much as I thought he'd have. I mm. thought he'd be mm -hmm. more wealthy. Well, he's just a director. Isn't he a show creator? Yeah, he that's also true. created shows where there's a lot of money in that, of course. Yeah, Paul, tell Old us about timing. that. <laughs> a lot of money in creating love. Cha. Hold on a second. Wait, oh, yeah, he wasn't done. Shame. <laughs> Paul, okay. you you were the creator of this program? A co creator, yes. A co creator? A co who, who is your other creator? Uh, my wife, Leslie Arfin. Okay. What? And uh, uh, Judd Apatow. You didn't know about this? How long? I didn't know they were married. <laughs> How long have you been married now, son? Uh, son <laughs> father, father thick. Well, I'm I'm certainly older than you are. Paternally thick. <laughs> Paternally uh, thick. Uh, you know, I am a father. I, my my son Robin is a that's very right. famous singer. Yeah, very famous yeah. plagiarist. Anyway, uh, well now, <laughs> well I don't well, want to get into thick water. He was just here. an homage. Well, um, a theme song for you, love. Yeah, do you have enough info? So it's about opposites who uh, they fall in love. I'm, I'm Maybe. Presuming. Well, we don't even know if they've There's fall. ups and downs sometimes. sometimes. So, for, for, so it's called love, and then and it's for all about most people of this series, not having They it. are not in love. <laughs> They're, they just coexist in the world. There's ups and downs. Sometimes they miss. You know, there's they can't connect. Missed connections. Yeah, I didn't want right. to say misconnections because <laughs> why didn't it you want to say like that? Craigslist? Did they have that? Yeah, <laughs> they do. Yeah. The, also, if you're German, you can get someone to uh, chop your penis off and cook it in front of you. <laughs> I am German. Are you? Well, there uh, you go. Excuse me. It's something you might want to look you, into. Can we talk more about that? Uh, <laughs> sure. German Craigslist. Do you want to do a theme song for that, by the way? <laughs> I'll do that one. Okay, let's hear it. What? Five, six, seven, eight. You don't want your dick, but you want to eat it. Come down to the dick hut. We'll chop off your dick and cook it right up. You can eat it in front of your mom. Once you get as far away from your mom's vagina, you can die. But you can't die with your dick attached. So come on down to the dick hut. Nice. Wow. What do you think? Now, Alan, as a uh, theme song writer. Well, that, I, I have to say that was, Come that fell more into the, the that fell more in the realm of jingles than the theme song. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Because that, that, right. that sounded like a jingle for, an, for a, a, a business, cut. a brick an and mortar <laughs> establishment, yeah. as opposed to an ad in German Craigslist. You think it was brick and mortar? It was not an online business? Well, if you come on down, to, <laughs> no true, one says, that. come on down to Amazon.com. <laughs> <laughs> Although if I could go to the warehouse and just pick the sure. stuff up, that would be better. Do you think much. it would be like Raiders of the Lost Ark where there's <laughs> yep. just crates and crates and, just and crates? and crates and crates Ooh, I wonder if you could order the, the Ark of the Covenant on oh, Amazon. Uh, don't no, open it up, No, no one's ever thought boy. to <laughs> 
Let's see what your face to know. Speaking of indie films, Gillian. Um, anyway, let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, hear this theme song for love. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we did it to her. <laughs> you know what I really like about the Indiana Jones character is What's he, has, that? he has a really great arc. <laughs> <laughs> what? Grow up. All we need to grow up. What about that Noah <laughs> film? Remember that? Uh, uh, what's with Noah, Matt, the, <laughs> I don't remember with it. With the, the the guy from uh, Gladiator, yeah, that he, Gladiator. Guy. Well, Russell Crowe was in it, but I thought Russell it Crow. should have been Russell Two Crows. Yeah, I mean, two by two, they came onto that arc. <laughs> he really messed anyway. up by just bringing a crow <laughs> on there. What if he had a crow on his shoulder the entire <laughs> and Noah he's like, film? It's two. <laughs> it's two of us. Well, it then, counts. So hold on. <laughs> it <laughs> counts. He's saying this to the camera the entire time. <laughs> it counts, everyone. But it the counts. idea is that Russell Crowe would have six. With the crow, the no, he's bird. not having sex with it. Well, that's why there were two of everything, well, so they sure. could repopulate Eventually. the earth. But not it in- was not just because <laughs> no, that's God the- was some sort of OCD weirdo. That's the last <laughs> scene of the. I didn't want to spoil, but that's the last scene where he's like, "All right, buddy, it's time." <laughs> what? <laughs> This is an impression of Russell Crowe. Yeah. <laughs> it counts. It counts. Seriously, it counts. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, dear. Noah. Oh. <laughs> yes, God. Oh, he had a famous, that's right, Dr. Cosby had a famous routine. What's a cubit? Where he talks to Noah. Oh, really? Uh, yes. But no. here would be the problem. Even if they could have a baby, it would be sterile. Oh, because, why? Like, like a mule. Like, like a mule. Why? Because Alan because Cullen. if it's not uh, if if you're not of the same species, uh, it becomes sterile. Yeah, yeah, a mule can't have a, another mule with another mule. Isn't that a shame? <laughs> Wait, so, that a, a so human and a crow having sex wouldn't produce. <laughs> A crow man. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Could a, could a, a crow a new viable, man. Could a hu- <laughs> what are you, him? <laughs> could a human have sex with a dog and create a dog human, but it's, as long as it's just no, sterile? No, that could happen. Okay. Wolf. I almost. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that would never happen. Wolf. <laughs> My mom wasn't human, and my dad certainly wasn't a dog wolf. <laughs> Did you say your mother wasn't, wasn't human? human? Was human. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't I'm know about that. Oh, I don't that's know about that. That's the one record. weird thing that you've said. I'm sorry, you're since, on the record. Since you started talking about this, wolf. All right, All right. get to it. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I think it's that, that count is throwing me off. <laughs> How slow do you want it to be? Do you want to be a little slower? I'll, do you want I'll it to take, swing I'll a little more? I'll take care of it. Yeah, you want it to swing. <laughs> I'll take care of it. <laughs> Follow me for the changes. You, will you please? <laughs> you say up, but I say down. I say smile, and you say frown. You're the opposite of me, but I think we're in love. Let's call the TV show Love the End. <laughs> wow. I think you got something there. There we go. Now that's just off the dome. Of course, I didn't have time to... Sure. Sit down in my cabin and uh, compose the song. Your, your songwriting my cabin. My songwriting cabin. <laughs> yeah, where is that located? Uh, that's in uh, B- Kirkland Lake, Ontario. <laughs> mm. Is that where all the Costco products come yes, from? Yes, all Did from someone say Cos? Oh. Lake Kirkland. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. We don't want you around, mister. I'm starting to get the picture. <laughs> it's it's always a shame when a, a TV dad uh, goes south. and uh, Yeah, you must have a lot of uh, it's a shame. empathy for that. Of course I do. Well, both doctors, too. You both played... Doctors That's right. I was a doctor on pains. What kind of doctor were you on pains? I don't remember. Oh, medical. <laughs> Me- oh, a med- not a, a medical doctor of doctor. the mind. Were you? Yes. Who was That's on right. Growing Pains? It was Kirk Cameron, of course. Uh, Leo. Leo DiCaprio. Yeah. Oh. In the two notable season. people. The cousin Oliver of, of Pains. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Joanna Kearns, of course, uh, played my <laughs> wife. And uh, we used to call her the Colonel yep. um, because her last name was Kearns. And also she threw a can of corn in my head one time. <laughs> Yep. I'm on the record with that story. <laughs> um, and uh, Tracy who Gold. else? Tracy Gold. Of course, she had her own uh, trials and travails. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, but she's doing great now. She's doing great. And Kirk, uh, you know, is in the is in the hands of God. Oops. Well, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, you know, it's been a calendar year since the last time. It's uh, not been a fiscal year. <laughs> <laughs> what October quarter? First? Are we in? We're in first quarter. <laughs> yeah, we're in first quarter. We're in first quarter. <laughs> first quarter of 2016. Yep. Um, when last I was, uh, uh, I barely uh, remember. You were here a year ago. I was here a year ago around <clears throat> Valentine's Day, and uh, I interrupted uh, a wedding. 
uh, Gillian was about to marry Gary Marshall. Gary Marshall? Whatever happened to that guy? Well, I believe he, he was banished to his uh, own dimension. Don't pretend you don't know. Because you asked him uh, what chicks will do when they see Grease Lightning. <laughs> oh, that's right. And if he answers, he's banished he's to his dimension. To his own, I, this is all kind of ringing yeah. a bell. I was right. just about to marry him, get all his money, right. live out my dreams in Bel Air. <laughs> Right, gated right, community. right, right, yes. And so what... A gated what, community. What well, was your horse in this race? You know, I hadn't been uh, married in a while, and I missed it. <laughs> and uh, so I uh, interrupted the wedding and uh, asked Gillian if she would consider marrying me. And you put your wife in a deep... Your current wife no, in a deep freeze? No, no, no. No, I think... Uh, Are I you mean, married? I might be. <laughs> Honestly, it's it that's happens. not an issue for me. It that's happens a not lot. the issue. Right. It happens right. a lot. So I don't I, care if the man's married or not. Right, that's right. So, and and what was where did we leave off? Well, Gary was banished to his own dimension, and I asked Gillian if she would take a year mm-hmm. to think about it. And Wait, is Gary an alien? I don't know. Have we ever talked about that? I don't know. Why would I know? <laughs> Gary Martian. I'm Alan Thick. <laughs> My favorite Martian. Wait, if it's his own dimension, that means he's not from this dimension? Well, he could be, yeah. Well, I believe he's from the the sixth dimension or something. Oh, I where, have no idea. Yeah. You know, there's seven dimensions. Are there? What are they? Uh, well, there's a peanut butter. <laughs> That's the one we're in right now. This is the peanut butter dimension. <laughs> There's Tipsy Topsy. <laughs> Tipsy, right. Egg course. Town. Uh, egg Town. Little Egg Town. Little Egg Town. Of Melon course. Bank. Melon Bank. Uh, how many is that? Uh, I believe we're at five. Oh, boy. Where are the other two? Gary Wary. And which one are, uh, mm, which uh, one are we in? Uh, peanut, peanut butter. butter. <laughs> we're in peanut butter. This is right, the peanut yeah. butter dimension. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway. Sorry, Gilly. Uh, so <laughs> You're exasperated with me. Gillian. What? It's been a year, and I, it's been I a year. hope you... It's been a year. <laughs> I hope you have you have made good on your promise to think about whether or not... A boat? Uh, uh, or about? A boat. <laughs> <laughs> a boat. <laughs> whether I was trying to make it so that she could understand. <laughs> <laughs> if you've thought about um, whether or not you would consent to be my latest wife. Why did someone whisper the word consent? <laughs> he, he finds the very idea of consent to be laughable. <laughs> oh, is, Dr. is that what love is, is about? <laughs> is Dr. Cosby back? <laughs> Isn't there a thing called a consent decree that the, that the state can issue? Can know. we take it to the internet? A can, consent decree? Take it to the net. Taking it to the net. Oh, this is good. It's a song parody and a theme song. <laughs> uh, what, yeah, please weigh in. What do you think a consent decree is? It's something that the government issues. The state government? <laughs> okay. A consent Why decree. are you bringing it up? He said it's a consent. I don't know. Is there I such said the a word thing? Consent, What's a consent decree? Engineer Cody, Cody, what do we got? Under his breath. A consent decree. Turn, you, turn up your own mic. A consent decree <laughs> is an, uh, an arrangement or settlement to resolve a dispute between two parties oh. without admission of guilt in a criminal case or liability in a civil case and most often refers to such a type of settlement in the United States. Sounds, Sounds like something wrong. I'd like to be involved in. <laughs> I didn't follow any of that at all. That's like if I sue you oh, don't. for breaking up my wedding and we settle without you admitting any guilt, but you give me a lot of money. Now, to mm. be fair... Uh, I may have interrupted the wedding, but it was Scott here who banished Gary to his home. Who has region. more money, I mean, he Scott banished or himself. Alan? I think the answer to that is very clear. <laughs> very clear. Look at our clothes. <laughs> yeah. um, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't banish him to his own dimension. Yes, I, you did. You I, tricked no. him. You I tricked, tricked him. him, but he banished himself to his own dimension. Why'd you do that? Who, I don't think you could self banish, can you? Well, I mean, I you can banishing. fall for a trick. What? What did you say? I He's am doing banishing. old Romeo again. <laughs> Always with her Shakespeare quotes. Romeo. Well, I feel bad. Romeo. I feel Romeo. like I interrupted Juliet. the question being asked and the answer being heard. Did I do the theme song yet? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, it was good. All right. Gil, mm. what do you what do you got? Gillian, let me ask, please. Gillian. Good. Is there a chance that you would be willing to become my latest wife? I mean, Gary's not around. Gary's not around. He's not, he's not even in this dimension. Yes, that's true. You have money. I do, lots. Are you currently writing any theme songs, or are you out of that game? I'm always writing theme songs. Do you write with your son? 
Are you a credited we, co-writer on we, any of his albums? We I we don't necessarily co-write together, but when he writes a song, I'm standing over his shoulder looking at everything that he's writing, mm. and I'll make fatherly noises like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Encouraging noises. Robin. Well, that's more <laughs> admonishing. It can be taken either way. I let him interpret it. Mm. <laughs> Guys, then- guess what? Fun fact. I learned today that Michael Shabon, the novelist, contributed lyrics to Mark Ronson's latest record. I'm not even making that's that up. Fun fact. Yeah. And, uh, and co-writer of Spider-Man 2. Oh, really? Yeah. Speaking of bugles. Dur, 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 dur. Um, <clears throat> so. Um, I Okay. Here's the thing that's happened in the last year. Yep. I realized that Gary Marshall isn't the wealthiest man in Hollywood. Who is the wealthiest man in Hollywood? Well, I know that George Lucas has north of $4 billion. He gave all that away. Oh, did gave he? it to yeah. charity. Gave did it to, he, really? he gave it to teachers. He felt that he teachers. School, school, yeah, he Sorry. felt that he had enough. He had more money than he could ever spend in uh, several lifetimes. So yeah. Are you kidding? Is this I'm a not joke? Kidding. No, it's, it's not. not. Sorry. Sorry. Was it part of a consent decree that he had to give his money away? What is that again? <laughs> it's when you reach a settlement where you don't admit guilt, but you give somebody a lot of money. Well, Gillian, what, can I give you some advice here? Please. You've been angling for Gary Marshall for four years now. I love him. You guys, sure. But he's not around. You haven't done, you got, you got one on the hook here. I mean, I'm I'm right here. I'm very wealthy. He's thick in the hand is better than two in the bush, right? Mm -hmm. That's an expression that we all use. (laughs) So you may as well do, and I'm. Much like paternally thick. (laughs) I'm a licensed uh, with the Universal Life Church. I can marry you guys if you want to right here and right now. I'm betting on myself this year, Scott. I think you should do it. You got one right here. I don't like them. Oh, okay. Well, now we've come right down to it, I suppose. Um, Gillian, is there any way I could make myself more likable to you? Your voice annoys me. My What's, uh, what's wrong with my voice? Uh, I don't know. Can you try talking like someone else? Maybe higher do you do any Do you do any impressions? Can you do a Gary Marshall impression? Mm, let me let me try. <laughs> Please call me Gary. How was that? <laughs> that sounds like Ghost Gary. <laughs> He's not a ghost. He's from another dimension. Is, Is he an alien? We haven't resolved this. I can't remember. None of us can speak to this because, of course, none of us are Gary Marshall. Okay, here, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay out a plan for 2016. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number one, I'm going to jettison myself into the very upperest most atmospheres of Hollywood. Sure, using mm-hmm. love as a stepping stone. Using mm-hmm. love as a stepping stone. <laughs> Thank you, Paul, for your assistance. <laughs> oh, the show love, not, <laughs> yeah. not the well, emotion. Well, maybe that too. Well, she's going to use not that as emotion. a stepping stone. That's, that's tough. To use the emotion of love as a stepping stone <laughs> to anything is oh, that's really? risky. risky business. It's risky mm. business. Into like. That's what the film Risky Business was about. Mm. A boot. A boot. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. Boy, three of those and you're banished yourself. <laughs> what? Is that true? <laughs> yep. Oh, no. This is terrible to find out. <laughs> okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enter the upper, upper atmosphere where the air is thin and the wine is fine. Mm-hmm. I'm going to <laughs> adopt ten dogs. Okay. I'm going Why to. Why stop there? <laughs> <laughs> I have a plan for them. I'm going to. Are you going to make a race or fight? <laughs> Wait, am I going to have sex with him and create <laughs> sterile Steril. dog humans? That you have to keep... can't happen, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then I'm going to take all my skin off, turn it inside out, put it back on so you can see my veins, and then I'm going... You're so vain. To, yep, E. And then <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to find true love. I don't need you. I don't need you, Scott Ackerman, and shortly I won't need you, Paul Rust. <laughs> it's the year of the guilt. How long before you won't need Paul? <laughs> you say shortly. <laughs> well, like, we have to do season two. Like the day two. it's released, you no, no longer No, we're need doing it? season two. It's oh, been you picked are. up for a second season. Okay, when's Ooh, that coming? Congratulations. Um, well, I'm sorry, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Alan. that was. Well, uh, don't be sorry, Scott, because um, <laughs> when I heard that thing about turning the skin inside out <laughs> yeah, that's and wearing worse. it, I think... Uh, it took the bloom off the rose a little bit. I'm not yeah. quite as. Have you ever seen you. the inside of my skin? No, that's a fair point. No, I haven't. <laughs> it's great. I, Luminescent. I, I seem to remember something about bioluminescent, <laughs> like those, <laughs> like those weird fish. 
Seemed That's remember. what I look like on the inside. Like one of those fish in the deep, deep ocean that grows a flashlight on its head? <laughs> yes, I have one of those wiggly flashlights coming out of my head that I'm luring. Oh, is that little- what's on your chin? No, that's my pimple. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? I I seem to remember something about (laughs) Gary Marshall being banished to his own dimension for, I forget the time period, but um, I remember that the one thing that would lure him back out was saying his name 13 times. Mm. And um, you, but who says it 13 times? Just anyone, be, anyone in the same Collectively room. Collectively, or one person has to say it 13 times? No, it was. Times. It was 13 uh, in a row? No, it wasn't even in a row. I'm trying to just a total if somebody of 13 said, times. Um, hey, Gary Coleman is the parade marshal. That does not does count. That count. Does not count. Mm. And I hope that is a true statement. <laughs> Otherwise. <laughs> I don't, Get some I don't, hopes up. I don't know that he's uh, still with us, Gary Marshall. Uh, Gary, uh, <laughs> oh, you said Gary Marshall. Well, I, I, Gary Marshall. I believe that was 12. And you just said Gary Marshall. The... Oh, wait. Okay, now that I was... just said Gary Marshall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Gary! <laughs> that pop sound can only mean one thing. <laughs> what? What's going on here? Gary! What's happening? Oh, Where baby. am I? <laughs> What? Mr. Marshall. Yeah, please call me Gary. Oh, of course, Gary. Gary. Gilly, how are you, sweetheart? Oh, you I haven't look seen wonderful. you. Thank you. I've spent some time in my own dimension. Wait, I just want to right off the bat. Gary, are you an alien? Let's not get into a bunch of questions. <laughs> Let me ask you, how are you doing, sweetheart? I felt a void in my heart, and it's been filled now. Oh, oh. that's very sweet. You're a sweet young lady who wants to marry me for my money and wishes for my immediate death. <laughs> Who's this guy? I'm Paul. Paul, He's hi, fan, how big are fan, you? Mr. Don't to please He's, call me Gary. I love, uh, I love the the Mork. I love Mork. Mork from Mork. Yeah, that's right. Nanu, Nanu, Shah's body was a fun alien, uh, and then uh, he got married, and they had a baby. Wait, and, uh, it was their baby sterile? <laughs> <laughs> Who, Mirth, played by? Uh, Jonathan, Winters? Jonathan Winters? Yes, what? he was sterile because, of course, there were two An different alien, species. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, they didn't, yeah, they didn't yeah. go into him being sterile quite as much as I wanted them to. <laughs> no, it, you know what? Show. It it made it, it was mentioned in every table read that it was cut <laughs> for the rehearsal draft the next day. But yeah. every, it bummed people out. They didn't like hearing that this old baby was <laughs> sterile. <laughs> the old baby part was hard every enough to Every other swallow. aspect of it, people were fine with. They were totally on board. Yeah. Jonathan Winters was a hero of Robin Williams. That's yeah. true. That's why heroes. they worked together That's on that show. That's very true. Let's stop talking about it before it gets sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, this is Alan Thicke, of course. You remember Alan. Uh, yeah. Hi, Alan. Uh, Gary. Please call me Mr. Marshall. Oh, oh sick burn, Gary. Ooh, sick Ooh. burn. Sick burn. <laughs> is this an episode of Sick Burn? That was a sick burn. <laughs> Hey, look, we have to take a break. This is... Uh, Fine, what's <laughs> happening? <laughs> We're in the middle of a sh- Been here for one minute. <laughs> we're in the middle of a show. <laughs> Taking a, a break. break. I just got in from my own dimension. I know, but I'm sorry. So you we're... are an alien. Please, Gilly, the <laughs> questions. I'm trying to find out about this break business. <laughs> well, we're in the middle of a show and we need to go to a commercial. Oh, you, fair you took enough. several of them during of, Happy Days. Of course. we. That's right, which was filmed before a live studio, studio audience. audience. <laughs> of course, yeah. Well, Comedy Bang Bang is very similar in the sense of it's not. What's Comedy Bang Bang? Okay, we'll be right back with more of it. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back Comedy here. Comedy Bang oh. Bang! Oh. We're back! You know what it is now. I explained, I remember. I explained you. everything to you, and I showed you all the episodes, and you listened to all the podcasts That's during the right. break. But because you're from another dimension, you did it at super speed. Yeah. So now you know all the inside jokes. You exactly. all You know all the lore. Hey, Nong Man. <laughs> hey, Nong Man. <laughs> we reset. Oh, I think we need three. We Go need ahead. three for Yeah, Russ reset. or Gilly, one of what? you. What? One of you? <laughs> What? No. We need three. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Gilly. What? Hey, say For please, hey, Nong Man. We need to reset. Hey, Nong Man. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're back here, of course, reset. with, with uh, Paul Rust and Gilly and Jacobs of Love mm-hmm. on Netflix this Friday. That's and right. uh, we have uh, Ellen Thick over here. Uh, hello. Of uh, Mercifully Thick. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, incontrovertibly thick. (laughs) Wondrously thick. My reality show. (laughs) Right. And, of course, we have Gary Marshall, who's back from his own dimension. Hey, what's happening? Monday, Tuesday. Happy days. That's right. (laughs) 
Just Have you Monday ever had a sad day in your whole life, Gary? It's been a long time. It's been, it's been, a, been a long time. It's been a long time. Been a long, 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 long time. time. Led Zeppelin. Yep. You know, we wanted to do an episode of Happy Days. I had plans for it to go right up to the 90s. Oh, my gosh. And uh, I wrote an episode where uh, uh, Potsy... Uh, goes to see Led Zeppelin in concert. <laughs> in the 90s? So wait, you wrote No, the, no, in the 70s. In the 70s. Was, oh. We were gonna, we, I, I, had, I had it all scripted out. You wrote all the decades. episodes up to yeah, the 90s? Yeah, yeah, of wow. course. Well, Mr. Marshall, you didn't have a crystal ball, did you? You didn't know that Led Zeppelin would have uh, broken up in the 80s. He no, wasn't it, prescient. No, hold on a second. <laughs> he was writing these. Isn't it percent? Percentile. I say percent. Let yeah. me weigh you in on this. Oh. <laughs> Who? What are you doing? Why? Why didn't you ever make a show about me? Who's this now? It's Bill. The cat. What? Why didn't you ever make a Who? show about me? What Gary? are you doing? Who? Me? This, yeah. Why? Did Stop. I, did hey. I do that? Stop. <laughs> Sit on it. Is that? <laughs> hey, Nong Man. Do. <laughs> All right. Hey, Nong Man. Hey, Nong Man. All right, we've reset, and cause is gone. Have we? Wait, you included Bill Cosby <laughs> yeah, in the reset? Yeah. Yeah, of course. All right. It's um, your show. So so he, Potsy and Led Zeppelin, that's amazing. Yeah, it was, a, it was an episode set in 1970. Potsy goes to a Led Zeppelin concert. He gets to hang out with them afterwards, hmm. and they have uh, crazy escapades inspired by the book Hammer of the Gods. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I was we couldn't was... do it because of animal cruelty problems. <laughs> oh, boy. The network would it not let it happen. Scott Something fucking gross. the dog in oh. the background of every scene. Come that's on. right, right in the corner, like a flip book. <laughs> Is it just one frame in yes. every frame of yes. love? Uh, yes. And you collect them throughout the season and then put them together. And Gotta like catch them up. all! <laughs> that's the, the, the slogan. Well, um, Dog Gary. catcher, sex man. That's your show, Scott. Dog, Dog catch what? Dog catcher, sex man? Yeah. That's not a bad show title. Hey, can I write the theme for it? Yeah, do you, go ahead. Here we Five, go. Six, it's go. Seven, Hold eight. on, please. <laughs> <laughs> that, count is, oh, that count is the worst. That's a terrible time for a, right. a theme song. Dog what? catcher sex man. Dog catcher sex man. <laughs> yeah. He catches dog. He's out there with a net. He catches right. dogs and he has sex. Then he has with sex with them. All right. Yeah, and then he lets them go, presumably, so he can catch them again. And that Benning's in it? <laughs> Some people say I'm looking for love like it's my job, and it is because I'm a dog catcher who catches dogs, and I have some sex with them. But a puppy's all a sterile, cause we're two different species, and that's what love is all about. What's, I don't know what that is. No, you don't have a musical break after the lyrics. It's weird. That's the credits coming up. What? The credits coming up? Yeah, produced by Gary Marshall. <laughs> you want Dog that. Catcher Sex Man you was filmed that. before a live studio. You want, you want that on the very last note of the song. <laughs> That's true. That is weird. But if it's doing. on Netflix, it can be a little bit longer. <laughs> Oh, Netflix. So fancy. What do you Sorry, think about Netflix, I didn't wear Gary. my tuxedo. <laughs> You're on CBS currently. You're doing just fine. I'm, I'm currently on CBS. Yes, What's you're it? at the remake of The Odd Couple That's on CBS. That's right. That's right. I'm yes. raking it in the hand over fist. The diamond of network television. Working with uh, Matthew Perry and uh, the pansexual imp that, that is Thomas Lennon. Here, hold that. <laughs> And you, I mean, you've been away for a year. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know that must be the first thing you're going to do when you. I got to <laughs> check in on the odd couple. <laughs> gotta TOC, sure. got to get in there. Got to get in. I got to see, because here's what they do. If I'm not, if I'm not watching, mm -hmm. they switch out the Trader Joe's uh, 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 snacks <laughs> with, uh, you know, big name brand things. So like, you, oh, you know, like a yeah. cereal mm -hmm. bar that's like. Uh, Jojo in the AM or whatever the fuck they call it. Oh, <laughs> oh, Gary. Wow, Gary. 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 Never oh, heard you swear very before. Profane. <laughs> but Santa walked in here. I get upset when I think about the money that's wasted. <laughs> And then they put instead they put those kind bars in there. Yeah. Like anyone, anyone who's catering anything and buying those kind bars, you're flushing money down the toilet. I bet that when you're not there too, they start switching and just like making it the even couple where they're too much like each other. 
Which, by the way, I mean, these guys, it's like the new odd couple with, mm-hmm. with love. Over Hold here. on a second. Yeah, what? I just want to understand this. Yeah. Nod couple. Do they write it like it's the even <laughs> yeah. couple, or do they yeah. change the name of the show the both. and call it the, the even couple? They do both. They write it so where Felix and Oscar walk in and go, hey, this apartment is ex- exactly as clean as I would like it to be. And then the other person says, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and then they changed the title. What a strange thing to say out loud. <laughs> this apartment is exactly as clean as I would like it to be. <laughs> I agree. Because that doesn't mean it's clean or dirty. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. So we don't know if it's two Felixes yes. uh, or, yeah. or two Oscars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, now that you're back, yeah. uh, uh, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, your whole life's in front of you here. Well, I'm going to check it? on that. <laughs> I mean, everybody's whole life is ahead of them. Mm-hmm. However long that is. Well, yeah. That's true. For mm-hmm. any of us, it could just be an hour. How close to you are you? But some future? people are closer to the end of their whole lives than uh, other people. Mm-hmm. I guess that's true, too. But uh, some of us are not as young as they think they are. Oh, sick burn, Gare. That was a sick burn. It would be interesting on if, me. if we all were exactly as close <laughs> to the end of our lives. Wouldn't that be interesting? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> I feel like we should acknowledge that... <laughs> Way after the word burn was spoken, Uh uh, this young lady, a full, I want to say half a minute later, said, knee Sanders. Oh. Because he is sick. Sick Bernie Sanders. Meaning he used to have the name Sanders? (laughs) Or is that nay? Nay as in (laughs) nay to this bit. (laughs) (laughs) There we go. Uh, Oh, Mr. Red, I would have liked a piece of that show. That would have been good. That was a big hit, and I could have catered, saved some money on uh, catering with a peanut butter. (laughs) (laughs) You were at the peanut butter dimension. Yes, the best. We are in the peanut butter. It's great to be back in the (laughs) peanut butter dimension. What dimension are you from, by the way? Yeah. Have have we talked about this before? I don't believe so. Well, I hope not. (laughs) I don't think we have. I'm from a dimension (laughs) (laughs) that you wouldn't understand. You know how many people think there's seven dimensions? Oh, right. right, As many people think that. Yeah, Alan Thick thinks that. Yeah, there's seven dimensions. (laughs) Peter Butter, which we're in right now. Sure. Right? (laughs) Tipsy Topsy. Tipsy Topsy. (laughs) Melon Bank. Uh, 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 Egg Town. Little Egg Town. Sure, that's five. I forget. There's two that I forget. <laughs> Alan, you well, forgot them too. Yes, I did. Uh, why are those two so hard to forget? Remember. Remember. <laughs> nee Sanders. <laughs> Remember Nee Sanders. <laughs> That could be the, the title of the episode. Could be the title. Remember the <laughs> battle of Knee Sanders? <laughs> wounded Knee Sanders. Mm-hmm. I left my heart at Wounded Knee Burn. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, this has stopped being a human speech. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I'm from an eighth dimension. <laughs> You're from the eighth what? dimension that people don't know about. Oh, okay. Are you an alien? Uh, it's complicated. <gasps> one of my favorite films. <laughs> oh, did you it's like that? One. Did you make that? I did not make that. It was not themed around a specific day. <laughs> That's more my bailiwick. Uh-huh. I like to take Are you a day. Are directing these films? These day films? Yeah, he's Am I, Of course I'm directing course. them. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Is Hector Elizondo in every single one? <laughs> then yes, I'm directing them. You know what I really loved of yours, uh, Mr. Marshall? Was, Please call me Gary. Oh, I'm sorry, Gary. Uh, Exit to Eden. Oh! oh. Now hold on a second. Movie, that, that was a movie that I was in, but I did not direct. That was directed by my sister, Penny. Penny. Oh. How much money does Penny have? Penny does okay. You How know, many she, pennies? <laughs> she, you know, she has her money converted into pennies. She's very vain. She's what a lucky She's penny. a maniac. She pennies, has pennies with her own head on it? That's right. She has many copper statues of herself all over her estate. Wow. Do you think Penny would marry me? Uh, as a matter of fact, she might. Uh, I don't want to spill any family secrets. <laughs> all right. But, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's for another it's, show. Uh, yeah, that's, well, yeah, this isn't that kind of show. <laughs> Is that a t-shirt? 
I don't know if that's a T-shirt. It's good. Uh, now. You know what? That is a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, thank it's you. not that kind of show. Yeah. Why haven't you done that yet? I don't know. It's, it's weird. I think it's the thing you say more than anything else. <laughs> um, well, what, what what are your plans? What, what are, are my plans? Well, of course, uh, I'm going to direct some more movies. Sure. Uh, I'm going to keep making television. I'm going to keep collecting uh, money for my existing television properties. Sure. And um, let's see. What about all the, the things you're hunting? Oh, all the monsters. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ooh, I hope there's not any new monsters since I've been away. Well, <laughs> The Jersey Devil. Oh, is that one? Oh. <laughs> What's this little gremlin? I've been here the whole time. Hey, it's Gizmo. Catch him. Oh. Gotta catch them all. Oh. <laughs> He's singing the Gizmo song. Oh. Where's Hoyt Axton when you need him? Oh. I'm Stripe. By the way, oh yeah. Oh well, no, somebody got the I forgot gremlin. to mention Wait. we're taping this at 12.01 a.m. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Paul fed me! Did you do this? I did. I had some peanuts in my pocket. and uh... Ooh, I have a peanut allergy. That's uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, I feel my throat closing up. <laughs> oh no! Yes, yes, yes! Oh no, he was the closest to death. my death. Oh my god! Bye. Bye. What a horrible thing! Bye. Oh my god! Yay! Oh boy, that was unpleasant to watch. Wow, he, is he still breathing? No, he's done. I put a mirror up to his mouth. Why do you have that little mirror? Mouth. Well, you know, it's in case I see a vampire. What? Can you not see a vampire in a mirror? Vampires can't see themselves in mirrors, so if you hold the mirror up and you can't see the reflection in a vampire, then you know it's a vampire. <laughs> Wait a minute, vampires can can't see themselves, but we can see vampires in mirrors? No, hold on a second. Listen, I'm trying to remember what I learned from the Underworld series of films. Oh gosh, Len Weissman. <laughs> yeah, where's Len these Can we days? talk about Len sure. Weissman? What about him? He's a friend Cupertino. of mine. Cupertino. He's Cupertino a good, High. look, he's from Fremont, California. He went to Cupertino well, you know, High. He's a good looking guy in his 40s. <laughs> You've been gone for a year. Yeah. You haven't heard about what's going on. Oh, guess what, what happened? Gary, 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 guess what? Is there some gossip? Hot goss coming some in. Goss. <laughs> some A little sip. Get ready to choke down this hot goss. Well, that's not very appealing. <laughs> Get ready to choke on this sip. Choke down this hot goss. It burns on the way down and puts a hole in your stomach. But then don't tell me. He's going to be divorced. What? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Are you okay? Len is, is div he's divorcing uh, Kate Beckinsale, the Correct. beautiful young actress. Yes. Ugh. Who's going to star in the next Underworld series she of films? She is. She is. So they've worked it out it's where. It's apparently an amicable split. Mm. Oh, that's weird. You know, Len, he seemed like such a, uh, a normal, know, normal guy, guy who from likes. Cupertino. <laughs> from Cupertino High who has sex parties in his house all the time. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. There's a dead body in the room and none of us are really talking about it. I, I mean, you know, death is uh, comes to us all. What are you going to do? Will it come to you? Uh, eventually, I imagine it will. But are you an alien? Now, why are you so <laughs> hung up on this question? Because I don't she inherit be... the bulk of your estate until you die. So if you're an alien who cannot die, I don't... And she doesn't want, you know, your offspring or potential offspring to be sterile. Well, now, Gilly... She doesn't want him to be shooting blanks. <laughs> <laughs> who just walked in? <laughs> who was that guy? <laughs> I'm not sure who I am, but I gotta go, too, because I'm a gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, a gremlins to the new batch. Yep. Yes. Uh, these gremlins, they all develop personalities. Yeah. But this, hobbies, interests. Yeah, they all had uh, defining characteristics. Sure. Um, why did that happen? <laughs> How come? What was different with this batch? I can't remember the it film was a, that a well. New batch. If you feed them were vegan food, they develop personalities. <laughs> <laughs> did that happen in the film? They were fed vegan food. <laughs> I believe there's a lab, and a scientist gives them different personalities with injections. Oh, and sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Just like mm -hmm. at birth, we're given personalities through injections. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're oh. called. Is that how you do it on? In and your a dimension? lot of times, your name. Uh, is also your defining physical characteristic. <laughs> yeah. Right, like if you have a stripe, you're called stripe. Yep. 
Uh, but I would call him Mohawk if I was naming characters. Yeah, it's a little strange. Well, but a Mohawk is something that you make yourself. Oh, what about, you know what I mean? What about Some of those dogs naturally have Mohawks. Mm-hmm. What dogs? Paul. I mean, Scott <laughs> why, knows. Why, Scott why are you gesturing to me and saying Paul? <laughs> Scott knows. Oh, Those are his favorite yeah, you dogs. Know all it's nice about you've been on the show for four years. You barely remember my name. <laughs> <laughs> He's on uh, four years, once a year, like clockwork. <laughs> now, what do you? What are these dogs? She says you know yeah, about. I'm this. having sex with ten of her dogs. <laughs> Only oh, ten, Gary. I'm Is turning my one, skin. I thought we were out. talking about. Mo- <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I'm turning my skin inside oh, out this year, too. Oh, that's a major turn on. <laughs> what do you like it? Oh, I love the inside of people's skin. Are Is you everyone me? in your dimension, do they have reverse skin? Better not tell you now. Okay. When are you going to tell me? <laughs> so later. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. you. Well, um, so are you guys going to get together or what? <laughs> Gilly, here's the thing. Lay it on me thick. For <laughs> How thick? <laughs> Unquestionably. <laughs> We've been uh, we've been having this crazy relationship, uh, you know, on again, <sighs> off again. Paul, please, <laughs> on again, off again. Come on, uh, and you know, it's uh, there's uh, I can't deny that uh, you have the, you have a youthful vigor that is exciting to me. It makes me feel young again. But I also got to acknowledge this uh, part of our relationship where you just want my money and you pray for my death. Yeah, that's a bit of a bit of a sticky wicket. But she's been honest about it. She has, Paul. You make a good point. She has been, been honest up about front. it. Please continue to call me Gary. <laughs> oh, wow. Everyone will die except for aliens. <laughs> so, no. oh, that's why this. she's trying to figure out if you're. I said it all. No, she said Scott. it. She came right out. I'm and not said listening. It. <laughs> so, Gilly, I gotta say. Uh, <laughs> that aspect of things. Uh, Please, Killian. It, <coughs> no, she can cough. Oh, she, wait, I, don't, but- I don't like what Paul coughs. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me sad. It hurts my feelings that, uh, you know, I can't deny that, uh, you know, uh, after a while hearing somebody pray for your death <laughs> and root for, actively root for it, uh, you know, it, it builds up. And, uh, you know, I got to say, I, I think it's the end of the road for us. No, 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 no. Let me plead my case. Here's what- sure. <laughs> this is how breakups what usually a, work. What a good, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> like there's a perfect speech that you can say that'll make a good, someone go. Oh, I wait a minute. From Why Gary's don't you, movies. What? Hey, you know what? For all my movies, people critique them. Whatever they say. Derivative. The, the unoriginal. Corny. Okay, okay, dear. All right, all right. <laughs> At least I never had a scene like that. Love Actually, where the guy, a creep, has the cue cards, and he's uh, like, uh, "You're my best friend's wife, and I love you." Uh, and, uh, you know, whatever. The old cue and card she, creep. And then she kisses him. Like uh, that's horrible. Yeah, terrible. Anyway, go ahead. Just right. wanted to get that off. You my did chest. have that movie about a hooker. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. It's turned out nice. <laughs> well, She was a hooker, you know, self-employed hooker. No John in the picture. No uh, pimp in the picture. And then uh, it's like a Pygmalion. She becomes a yeah, nice lady. I don't know. All right. Plead your case. <laughs> what is this face that's being made of me? Anyway, Gare Bear, here's what I want to say to you. <laughs> a, number one, I realize that there are wealthier men than you, so it's not just about the money anymore. I could be going after... George Lucas. She did fi- figure out, though, that George Lucas gave most of his money away. He's oh. got to be making money off these new Star Wars movies. Yeah, yeah but he's giving it away. All of it? He, saw, he sold Star Wars to Disney, whom he referred to as white slavers. <laughs> <laughs> and he tried to walk it back, but guess what? It's still out there. <laughs> That's a weird thing that you said. <laughs> and why white? I don't know. Does You're going to have to ask him. Does well, he look, consider Star Wars so, to be white? Somebody sent me this link, and then it said, for the full context, watch the video. And I was like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All you you, you said, still get emails and texts in your dimension? My, my grandchildren are always sending me everything. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, they want to keep me current. Oh, that's very interesting that you have grandchildren. So does that mean Barbara is also an alien? Because otherwise your children with Barbara, a human, would be sterile and you couldn't have grandchildren. First of all, I'm pleased that you remembered her name. <laughs> uh, Barbara is a human being. And, and of, currently in suspended and animation. currently in suspended animation. Wait, so that means you're not an alien then? I never said that. So you are more 
at all. I never said that either. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, here's my case. Okay. I'm going to turn my skin inside out this year. You Ooh, love I that. I do like that. <laughs> I've realized this is the year of Gilly. I'm betting on me. This is the year of Gilly? I thought last year was the year of Gilly. Didn't you talk about this before? Did I? I think so. <laughs> Haven't we all talked about all, all of, of this, this before? <laughs> <laughs> Our, Paul we, being here is new. Thanks for freshening <laughs> things up. Just my giggles. <laughs> I like your giggles. It's good. Hey, on every show that I do, I have a giggler. I always make sure there's somebody there yep. who keeps it light. Somebody's like well, reminding this. us this is all fun. Hee hee hee. I could be your giggler. Cool. That reminded me of Michael Jackson, <laughs> Unpleasant Association. People think Did I look like Michael Jackson. someone say my name? Hee hee. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, oh what a mess. You're Don't giving me a bad name. Together. <laughs> <sighs> well, wait, was that your whole case? You're going to no, turn your skin I'm inside gonna out? I'm going to turn my skin inside out. This is the year of Gilly. I'm betting on me. Right. <laughs> I realize I'm not marrying you for your money because I, I could be marrying... A, a Silicon Valley billionaire. Todd yeah. Solid. I could be marrying Todd <laughs> Solid. Is he very wealthy? Very wealthy. Is he really? Todd Hayes. Yeah. They rock the box. Or like office. Far From Heaven or whatever? Yes. No, no. Uh, Which no. ones Welcome does he do? Welcome to the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. That money He's maker. Of course. It Those blockbusters. He's got a new one that coming out. Quadrant. The Return of Don Wiener. I think played by Greta Gerwig, perhaps, in this latest incarnation. Heather Matarazzo refuses to reprise the character. Why? Why is that? Because she, <laughs> she has so many other acting opportunities. <laughs> Care. Gary. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, well, Gary. Claws me in, out. cat. <laughs> You're mean, but I still love you, Gary. I Care. like to do some deadline snark every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nikki Fink. Look, we. She's not there anymore. I oh, know. Told you she's not there anymore. <laughs> I know. All right, this well, is the. Here's the deal. I could do better than you, frankly, Gary, but I still want to be with you. Can you say the same of me? Hmm. Can I say, I, I want to be with you, but I could do better than you. Can you say the same of me? Uh, no. Then I, I'm a, because I'm already a married man with a <laughs> wife in suspended animation. Let's do it, Karen. I hear wedding bells. We don't have to get ding, no. dong, ding, dong. Stop ding, pushing ding, ding, marriage, dong. Paul. We no longer have to get married. This is the I'm year of Gilly. I'm a traditionalist, Gilly, and you know that about me. Well, wait. <laughs> oh, what, what if she was just like a kept woman? Like you paid for her... Well, now, yeah, I'm trying to, I want to ask a question. Yeah. Gilly. Gary. Would you still be with me if there were no uh, monetary remuneration whatsoever? If you just Like, be you're not even going to pay for dinner when we go out on a date. I'll pay for a dinner occasionally, but a lot of times we'll go Dutch. Will you ever <laughs> buy me um, very expensive gifts? Uh, like, define an expensive gift. Like the Hope Diamond. No. <laughs> Whoa. The Bob Hope Diamond. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. If this is going to work at all. All right. I need you to be with me for me and not for the money. So we'll do, we can be together, but we'll do things that don't cost any money. Like we'll go to the park <laughs> and uh, feed uh, bread to the squirrels or whatever. Oh, Jesus. All right, Gare, I'm in. Really? Yeah, I love you for you. That's what I realized. Wow. She likes right. you for you. You like Not me. Not because. Wow, this I'm is amazing. Wait, hey, wait, wait. Are you having an episode? What was this? <laughs> she likes me for me. What's Not that? You changed change look... your octave, but I, <laughs> it doesn't make it any clearer to me. I was trying to introduce a new uh, comedy bang bang singing a song lyric. You remember that she likes me for me? I do, Paul. All right. Oh, these young people. The, who did Glenn <laughs> Miller do that one? Why would I know that? 1998. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is great. So you guys are together. You, do you want to waste your one kiss on each other right now? No. Oh, what are you doing? One kiss? Are we getting... <laughs> did you just oh, fart there? Who did... <laughs> What's I heard happening? kiss. I heard kiss. I got excited. I'm <laughs> and you sorry. fart when you're excited. That's, that's the manifestation of your excitement. Yes. All right. Well, look. Guys. Why don't we hold on a second? Shut up, well, hey. <laughs> Gilly. Let's try this for a year right. and see how you feel at the end of a year. <laughs> what? So you what? guys will be together. Really? That's, that's, right. we were at that's, that's how we do things. Okay. We that's take it a year at a time. That's right. Take it a be... year at a time. Well, do that you promise to sequel. come back in a year and tell us what you've been up to this entire year? I do. I do. Wait a minute. Did you just trick him into a wedding? Oh, 
my God. Charles. You both said I do. Yeah. And by the the laws of the Universal Life Church, that means you're married. Wait, uh, oh my God. I did say I was a universal <laughs> minister and that if you wanted to get married, you could. And you both said I do. I guess I'm forced to marry you both. Read There's the not Bible. More. There's not more to this. Read That's the it. Bible. <laughs> no. All right. Bye. I Laws. Oh, the bylaws. I'm sorry, but you guys are married now. Sorry. All right, well, I guess. We've entered into a consent decree. <laughs> All right, but you get no allowance, <gasps> and we don't touch any of my money. Or your body parts. That's right. We're going to be celibate <laughs> and penniless for a year. All right, let's see oh, how this goes. Oh, this is like goes. Overboard, right? Is that what that movie is? Yeah, your about? film Overboard. That's not what it, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, I, of course, that seems like a movie I directed. Sure. Any <laughs> shitty film. <laughs> hey. No, it is. Right. It is Gary. Hey, that's my husband you're talking about. Yeah, she's a good wife to defend oh, me. All right. Uh, okay, guys, uh, this has been an amazing yeah. show. An amazing it has. Been. Yeah, an amazing opportunity for me as well. Some real friends, <laughs> some good friends. Yep, some fun, some good time pals, with fun times, good pals. There was yeah. a death, one death, unfortunate. From That's a, very just unfortunate. By the mere mention of me saying I had a, some peanuts in my pocket, <laughs> yep. it brought That's down right. a legend. That's right. He never instantly. even opened. It. That's right. I didn't even know he ate we, them. You could have been lying. <laughs> just he, the mere mention. He decided to die. <laughs> Is that what happens in Final Destination? People die from fear. No. <laughs> well, there's two schools of thought about that. There's some people you could look at the movie as it's a manifestation of death. Uh, you know, it's a it's a horror film. And then there's a psychological aspect to it. You could say these people, uh, they they uh, get so hung up on the idea of death that they uh, they fail to actually live. And so their lives uh, are like uh, a walking death. God, this director always talking about theme. Hey. Who cares? No, it's he not about themes. Come on. There's a lot of underlying things you don't Speaking know about. Speaking of themes, Alan thick he's dead it's too he bad. sure is yeah. it's sad it's very sad but at least you have a new love theme why do we right. continue <laughs> doing this show with a dead body in the room? i mentioned it earlier it's a People little weird to move on we never stopped and we did move yeah. on well guys that's gonna be it uh closing thoughts <laughs> everybody should just be friends with each other mm. everybody should just be friends with each other Everybody should just be friends with each other. Everybody should be friends with each other. It's build I'll, a song. I'll provide the beat. All right. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> That's a hell of a beat. Okay, I'll do the bass line. I'm going to add some clinking. My name is Gillian Jacobs. I need a lot of money. I have a lot of debts. My credit score is shady. Take it away! Who? My husband. My name is Gary Marshall. You can call me Gary. I'm a film director. And I invented all of television. So we're just, it, Scott. We're just saying things now? We're not <laughs> yep. even rhyming? That's right. Her name is Gilly and she's at it again. Causing lots of ruckus like a barnyard kid. She's always bringing trouble. Her hair looks like a bubble. Not, not, who's there is Gilly? Barry. <laughs>